Oh shit, what up everybody? Welcome back to another Degreelessness Let's Play featuring myself, the adorable, the cuddly, 21st century digital boy and people's champion, Shanghai Pete. With me today is my intrepid Star Wars companion, Uptown Bobby. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And today we're going to be oh, tackling boy. a classic survival horror game from 97? Is it 97 or is it 99? 97, 98, Hit start. Hit start so the thing I, pulls back up. And I would love to. It, is it not focused? There. But, okay. There you go. There you go. Hit start. It'll say it on 1999. 1999. Wow. So 23 years ago. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking this game God. Came out, this game came out to such fanfare. I would like to just say that I had this game pre-ordered at a local Funko Land. I was in, like, eighth grade, and I had quarters... And was going to the payphone, go, going to the bathroom to go to the payphone to call them to be like, is Dino Crisis in yet? Because I was so hyped for this game. And yet I never have finished it. Because at the time it was really challenging, limited FAQs, no walkthroughs and stuff, a lot faster than Resident Evil, which I love so much. And I never gave it a fair shake. And I didn't go back later and say, let me really try to work through this with a guide or anything. And I feel like I've missed out. Look at this screen. Look at the, this pixel also, art. What is what is happening with this toe here? I don't know. Is, is it, that what the Velociraptor toes look like, like in Jurassic Park? But though? is it broken here? Is this one no, broken and like turned what, up? That's, that's in Jurassic Park. That's the one where Sam Neill's like, oh, and he got you in oh, and his testings or <laughs> whatever, you know. <laughs> that's not what he sounds he's, like. Yeah, he's he like, oh, I might. Like that. Oh, I might. You get you no, in he No, he takes the Velociraptor claw and he's like caressing young Donnie Darko's tummy with it. And like describing in detail how it would That's like. It's not Jake Gyllenhaal. It looks like him. <laughs> it's not him. Dude, if you look, pull. You know what? For when I edit this together, I'm gonna pull up an image of that. I swear to God, that motherfucker, that pudgy little bitch, all right. looks like Donnie Darko. All right. I swear first to God. of all, <laughs> insulting children in the first five minutes of well, the I mean, podcast. You know, you also, know that I mean. kid is probably old enough to come after us now. <laughs> That kid's probably like 40. He probably is. He probably is. Anyway. I, hey, um, hey, kid, in that scene, I thought you were great when I was <laughs> like seven. So I'm a big fan. Uh, regardless, I didn't have quite the same love affair with Dino Crisis when it came out as you did. Um, I don't know what I was doing at the I time. I was very excited because I was such a diehard Resident Evil 2 fan. I played Resident Evil 2 so much, I, I would buy disposable cameras and take photos of cool stuff <laughs> uh, in Resident Evil 2 because I just love that game so much. And just I would I, that was the first game I ever speed I run, dude. I had a speed guide of RE2 in it in a like bound manual, and would have that someone printed out from game. Fans. Correct, and would have would have one of my homies who also liked RE2 read the speed guide, and I had it down under an hour and a half when I was probably like twelve Wait, or thirteen. In RE2, you did in RE2, Leon A. You were down to like barely over an hour, under an hour then. and a half. Just beat it over and over and over and over and over again. Because, I mean, once you get it down to a science, but having a fully printed FAQ, I was very hardcore into it. So the fact that this RE3 did not do it for me. So this coming out, it'd be like, whoa. No, first of all, sidebar, RE3 did it for no one. Yeah, let, no, let, us, let us be clear. RE3 did it for it, nobody. I was really excited about it. A lot of people it, will like to tell it, you that, no. oh, no, the original RE3 was great and it was so cool. No, 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 no. The original RE2 RE3, is a vibe. RE3, RE2 is, is a vibe. The, ori the original RE3 and the remake of RE3 are both I think, fucking hot garbage. I think I think there's some interesting aspects to it. I think there's there's I can tell why I was charmed and interested by it. It was locations similar to what I'd already seen at Jill. Plus, you were seeing the events of Raccoon City and, and RE2 another, from a different which perspective. Which is like one of my favorite. That was cool. One of my favorite cool. uh, devices in storytelling is tell the same story from another perspective at the same time is so yeah. awesome and it was a cool idea I'll give him that and I, I like the mix too. I like the making your own bullets and shit that was kind of cool too uh, but it's overall, crafting the, <laughs> <laughs> but overall the idea that like take it first of all let it also be said that I never liked the idea of Mr. X in RE2 to begin with 
I thought it was annoying. It made me feel rushed. Indestructible I didn't like Indestructible enemy that follows you around yeah. everywhere. I don't... Yeah. yeah. Indestructible well, enemy that follows you around constantly. That's part of the constantly. reason Leon A is my favorite scenario. Yes, because, because you, you don't, don't have to fucking no, deal no, with it. You can yeah. just vibe on it without having to be yes. like, all right, here's this dude following me who's not actually a threat if I put the most minimal effort in. But like, but it's I enough to make to me feel it. on edge like I have to deal it's with seriously, it. Yeah. It's seriously... It's totally like, shitty. It's like a hunger system in a game. Yeah. It's like, it, all right... It's totally shitty. I need to just It can be circumvented with just a minimal amount of effort but it's like a fucking timer but it does that require you some, to put in there the are some good moments. there are some good yeah. moments okay which there is not to moments. say that there are not some good moments but, oh, as a result and of that Leon A has none of it which yeah, is why I think that to me Leon that's why A, Leon a is, is, is the, the scenario best. I have played the most as even well. though you don't get to fight the final 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 yeah. boss I still think that you get so much out of it and it feels like a complete game and that final boss fight is more than satisfying enough without doing the train boss yeah. oh a hundred Hundred percent, a hundred percent. Which is also, it's also a lot harder than the trade ball. So, in summary, Mister X sucks. Nemesis in RE3 sucks. Overrated. Interesting concept. Overrated and doesn't actually work in execution. No, it doesn't work at all. And and you can see that in the you. RE2 remake also. And so now, which, like, do, is this a game full of nemesises? Nemesis <laughs> is the plural nemesis or nemesis? It, uh, I bet it's nemesis. Neither sounds good, but nemesis no, sounds nemesis. better than nemesis. I'll tell you that. But I I'm wondering if it feels like that because we're gonna have a bunch of dudes. What makes Resident Evil work is that the sloppy tank controls and the goofy ass graphics and the weird camera angles. I'm pointing that to you because you're so far away from the mic. That I'm, I'm pretty close to it. I'm, I'm, I am, this is my not, lips on it. Well, let's this not is, do that. This is a, this is a pretty, like, this is about as close as I can be. All right. Okay. So the thing is, is this, is Dino Crisis going to be as good as you were hoping it was back in the day? And as people, it's, this is a weird one because I feel like you see all this attention for Resident Evil games and stuff. Nobody gives Dude, attention to this. No one talks about no one fucking talks about Dino they Crisis could easily, ever. They want, like, the, and the big question that has come up, and this has been new because it's, they were like, why not remake Dino Crisis instead of this? So what we're going to find out is, is this game dope at all? Or, or is have, it total trash? Does it have cool set pieces? Does it have interesting concepts? Or is it just Garbo? We're also going to do it on fucking easy mode because I want to get through this. And yeah, with this a is, guide. Yeah, this is more of not a, a science. Speed guide. This is for science more than anything yes. else. So we're going to play it on easy. We're going to play it on easy. So we, we, can, we have confirmed uh, the so only... we can analyze it as best as possible. Confirmed the only difference on easy is like a, a enemy health or whatever and like how much damage is done to you so that we don't have to deal with like dying. And like this isn't a matter of uh, like skill and speed running and stuff. This is... No, we want to infest... The game. Investigate the game. I want to be able to like go into other rooms and not feel pressured. So yeah. let's get it popping, and we can, let's keep talking about it as we roll. Record. First time seeing Dino Crisis in all these years. You know, what's interesting is uh, this came up because after the last time I had the privilege of being on this show, I dug out my PS1 system, uh, the one with the screen that I had since it was the like PS came out. O-N-E. O-N-E. Uh, bought a power adapter and a controller and a memory card, which all were so awesome to get in the mail. And... Uh, fired this game up, which I obviously have had since launch, and realized that this was the game that we needed. Wait, to play. that was the copy that you were firing up? Was the one that you got oh, oh, at yeah. launch? Oh yeah, on launch oh, wow. day. It's a launch day My copy of this game. My first experience trying to play this was using the disc swap trick to play burned CDRs in a PlayStation. No, where you'd have to put your ear next to it and wait till the motor started whirring at a certain point, and then try to hot swap in a burned disc from a, with the real one. The idea being that you would let it read the copy protection off the real disc, and then at a certain point, yank it out and toss in the burn disc. Yeah, I, mean, I actually got it to work a couple times, but it was too much of a hassle, so I never played it. 
No, dude. I mean, I was using this shit all the time because I had a little device that I put in there, like made out of a bent straw, and I had a game enhancer. Yeah, because exactly. I was playing import yeah, games. Yeah, you That's had to the use a game enhancer it. to do so that, do that shit. I don't remember uh, that. But with, uh, <laughs> with this, the Dino Crisis I had, it came. Or also, another big motivator to get this game is that it had a demo disc for RE3. Oh, it did, and right? And that was a RE3, big motivator to get this pile. because it was so hype. Yeah. RE3 was so hype. We are not really getting much of this story right now, but. Dr. Kirk proposes the ultimate uh, source of clean energy. Oh, okay. So <laughs> that's what's, this. Think I'm going to give. I'm going to give us a second. Twenty three years ago, yeah, and they were still talk talking about clean energy and all this fucking nonsense. Uh, I'm going to give a bit of a spoiler what? about I, about what the story of this game is about. I know what the game is about. Oh, I don't. All right, here. Tragic uh, Dr. Kirk disease following accident during the experiment. The, what do you think happens in the accident during the experiment? I think that Dr. Grant got eaten by a velociraptor. What, at what, all right. Park. What That's happens? What, 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 what happens during the experiment? What do you think occurred that could possibly make it so now there's dinosaurs here? I don't know. They got out. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Is, isn't the experiment the fact that he was fucking with dinosaurs? No, he was. Ex <laughs> I don't know. You think you think that you think that somehow his clean energy solution was dinosaurs? <laughs> I don't is that, know how is that what you think? The secret? Do you think that well, he was gonna well, come out like at the G seven <laughs> summit with a raptor on his arm and be like, "This is how we're gonna solve the energy crisis." <laughs> this thing's like snapping and eating live I mean, chickens. I can, Are you I can only hope. What, no. Did he like tear open like a dimensional portal? Essentially, to the past? yes. Wait, is that true? Yes. Oh my god. That's Shocker, awesome. look at this guy. Why is he wearing that? Well, he looks like Bane. Yeah. <laughs> you I don't was... know us, but you know our plan. <laughs> I was born in a copter. Wow, look how impressive this is. This is some serious top notch CG this for the day, This is just folks. really. just. so great. Move out. We've got this crack team of three oh, people. This is the point you're supposed to be shocked that it's a woman and that she has this ridiculous red hair. Wait, wait. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know if I can play this. There's a female protagonist. It seems kind of woke to me. <laughs> I don't think that we're going to be able to play this. I think it's too woke. It's too woke. It's trying to push its agenda on us. <laughs> We're, and we're gonna find out what that agenda is. I couldn't tell you, but it seems woke, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play it. I think it's some kind of anti-dinosaur agenda. That sounds likely to me. That sounds likely to me. Why is he running like that? He's very afraid. Wait, is he one of the super soldiers? Who's got? Who else was with them? This guy's got a mask on. Oh. Oh my god. Good <laughs> thing they set this CGI scene at night. I mean, I guess it probably does make it look better. Oh, yeah, that, like, that it doesn't does. look bad. It really doesn't. It, that it, does not look bad. I mean, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look modern, obviously. But, like, for an FMV, that's good. They bit the Jurassic Park T-Rex sound, probably, like, licensed it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Boom. PSX, baby. You Barbed know, wire. Look at those I muddy textures. I would say textures. that this might be... Okay. This is definitely this is the first survival check. horror game that has Playtime fully rendered. Really Right? It's not pre-rendered backdrops. It's fully 3D, and the camera follows you. It's a big deal. Big deal. Um, Look at this the, guy. This it changes the game with the camera following you. you know, I really wish I knew what they were saying. There's no way to know. You said that it had subtitle options. I, I feel was like it does wrong. Not. Yeah, I feel like it does not. Stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he being a dick? So he's with two people on this remote island. And he's insulting one of them. Hey, did you hear what he just called me? Forget about it. Just let Gail handle this. Yeah, forget about it. Seems woke. All right. It's, this game is far from the in the first five minutes of this game. The the the, the older white male protagonist in charge insults a minority. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't Within think we the, can have the that. opening moments of the game, I don't think we can have that. Facility <laughs> and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. That sounds fantastic. Let's do that. Let's go with that. 
ridiculous. Like, there was no regard for any sort of decorum. <laughs> Let me guess. This is some of your handiwork, right? What? what? Why what would you presume that? To <laughs> what? What is this oh, supposed to mean? But in the in the three minutes since you, you left me, you, you gunned you, down you, people and tore yeah, a hole yeah, in you, the fence. Yeah, you ripped, you so ripped through this it? fence, and then you're bleeding well, everywhere. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced. Yeah, How would you know that? Whatever they were shooting at came in through there and ripped right through the steel fence. That's a steel fence? <laughs> well, the hole is nice and clean. But I still say you could you tell that. Steel? I still Very say you could have done this. What? How? Still what sort of relationship does this here. man have with his subordinates? With, That's what I want with, to know. But how? how I still think you could have done this. With what? <laughs> yeah. How could he? In the moment? Okay. So she was here. <laughs> <laughs> and she's suggesting that in the moments that that guy complained about being insulted by his superior, and which she should be telephoning HR at this point, <laughs> that this guy ran over here and fired a bunch of uh, fired tore, a bunch of bullets, tore a giant hole in the fence. Why? As a prank? <laughs> They're on this serious okay. mission. They just like. Halo dropped <laughs> yeah. onto this island, and, and she thinks they're insane, but like insulting a subordinate and playing <laughs> pranks on her with <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you got the BG area key. Okay, great. Run uh, for and take the B the spinning BG key. Uh, After yeah. that, turn around and push that silver crate. Uh, uh, behind it is a box. You'll want to take note that uh, you'll find all kinds of supplies. Like common ammo. essentials for maintaining the facility? <laughs> yeah, like like That's bullets funny. and health. Yeah. W will you take yeah. the resuscitation? You can return to life with your health fully restored. Will that automatically revive what? me? Will that res me? Oh, oi, oi, we got some slag bullets here. Oi. <laughs> all right, bro. She ain't no slag. Regina ain't no slag. But you know what if she is? Well, good for her, all right? No slag shaming around here, all right? Don't say spaz, though. <laughs> You'll get in trouble. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, boy. Take it, head back oh, out to the previous area. Head oh, back the phone, out the the phone area. lines are lighting up. <laughs> you you really done it already. Now, I'm, now we're in oh, trouble. Oh, my God. I haven't even seen one dinosaur yet and already okay. we've gotten canceled. <laughs> here, <laughs> here head for, for the door where you originally entered the area from, and another scene will start. Oh, hey, dude. He is checking the ground. Dude, this guy is following in Barry Burton's Wait, footsteps, I'm dude. going back to the start? Is that what you said? Yeah. A scene will start. It looks like the scene is starting. Rick here. I'm in. Wow, her face is really frightening. <laughs> it's <laughs> not, not even uncanny, Dally. It's actually kind of good. I feel like it's kind of good. Is it, though? How's the progress going with that security? <laughs> I mean, her mouth also doesn't move. I don't know move. what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in this facility <gasps> Same, same here. here. Uh, is it though? Because there's lights the on everywhere. <laughs> there's lights everywhere. Why don't you see if you can gain access yeah. to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm Come on, on it. it. What are you doing here? What, around the corner? <laughs> <laughs> he was ten feet from her. By the way, I found a key. Hand it over. Let's head outside. Hand it over. Like Hey Regina, may I please have the key? That guy's obviously gonna get fucking eaten. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Fall him back outside and enter the door on the top of the screen. You'll enter passageway to, to the backup, backup generator. generator. Oh, dad. Passage to the backup generator. Here, just run Jenny. through the straight path until another scene starts. Gale will be crouched down with a dead body. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Wait, this is where this is where I heard the dialogue. That makes, dude, wait. I want you to just take pause. Hold on. This is where I believe this scene is meant to showcase really the... Because look, up until now, I think, there's been a little chase... So like, the, the camera's moving, which is notable. But like, this is when it's like, okay, this is some different shit here. Like, you're it's fully following her from behind, from down low. Here we go. That's pretty impressive. Wait, hold up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, that wait, is wait. great. <laughs> this guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestines straight. That's up. her response. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move the on. 
<laughs> That's Nothing disgusting. more to be done here. That's disgusting. <laughs> like, that's her awesome. response coming across this guy torn in half. That's disgusting. All right, go enter the door to the backup generator. What are you doing? I picked up a med, cap, med kit M on the body. Did the FAQ not tell you to pick up a med kit M it did, on that it body? It did not say that. No. <gasps> I'm starting to mistrust this. Oh, God. I feel like it's an important detail. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's only on I'll easy mode. Guard here. You go inside and take a look around. All right, so now, now he he insisted upon taking the key from me, <laughs> but wants me to go in first. I'm also having a lot of trouble, actually. Oh. <laughs> just go in the door. Wait, I want to just... Oh, cool, dude. There is a turnaround button. Oh, a quick turn. Oh. Oh. So. Here, run forward and check on the machine at the very end. Sir Regina, who are you wearing? Battery charger. Love it. Uh oh. It's a puzzle. <laughs> All right. Hook me up with the solution, please. Solve this one. First, look at the four levers on the le on the side of the wall. See the order of the colors they are in. Red, blue, oh green, God. and white. Now check the machine. You will have to rearrange the four conductors in there to match the color pattern of the levers. <laughs> the fact author notes that he doesn't think this will be a hard one for you guys. <laughs> but he won't do it. After you've matched the color pattern, exit out and check on the levers. Sky... Is a real piece of work. <laughs> That's two strikes. There's a switch. Will you press it? Oh, I don't think it'll be too hard for you guys. You know what? Whoever wrote this, the 14 year old that wrote this in 1999, huh. kiss my fucking grits. <laughs> All right. I'm just kidding. If you ever hear this and you're listening, I appreciate you, I guess. I don't know. I mean, he just, Comment. Well, this is a pretty thorough fact that I'll, he wrote of his own volition. Ah, you know what? This is a person who knows about Dino Crisis. If you ever hear this, like, he should, he or she should be a guest on the podcast. <laughs> because they know about Dino Crisis, and we're going to know a lot after today, and so are all the viewers. Quickly run back to the passageway. Right. Yeah, he screamed. Somebody screamed. Oh, I hope it was Gale. I think that Gale's probably dead, because... We can only help. Yeah, I definitely hope he's dead. I'm so confused. Oh no, I have to deal with the flyers, dude. Uh oh. Oh, more Gale pranks. Classic Gale. Classic, <laughs> classic Gale. Oh jeez. <gasps> oh boy. Oh. Don't bother shooting the dino, even though there's. Don't bother shooting him. Yeah. Just it's run. It's easier to avoid it. Oh my god. Swing around the dinosaur's left side and make your way to the backyard. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh geez! Oh, Holy oh, shit! Wow, dude. That's awesome. Oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Wow. Dude, okay. That was pretty impressive. That was great. That was super fun. Uh, it jumped. That was great. Oh my god, is it not gonna follow me through the door? Oh! <laughs> Head to the facility ASAP. Is that the facility? Yeah. Okay. Whew. <laughs> is it going to follow good. me here? No. It's a great raptor. I mean, they bit Jurassic Park so hard, but like, who didn't? Did. Who didn't? That like set the standard for dinosaur design forever in cinema. That's what you go to the cinema expecting to see dinosaur. Maybe it's a Jurassic Park movie this year. They all look exactly like that. It's Gale. I lost him. I love the moths around the uh, light. That's it's such there. a great touch. It's a, ni it's a nice little touch. You're not gonna believe this. It's a great he touch. He was attacked by some kind of <gasps> dinosaur. This isn't a joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big ass lizard. She pregnant? <laughs> 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 I 
Head for the far door, the one where Rick entered originally. You'll be in the office hallway. The one where Rick entered originally. What does that even mean? I, I can't tell you. What I can tell you is what's written here. After giving back control, head for the farther door, the one where Rick entered originally. Okay. You'll be in the office hallway. Okay. The farther door, the one that Rick entered originally, will be in the office hallway. What the fuck does that mean? This is the machine room. I don't want to go. Oh, here we go. Office hallway! <laughs> Run forward. Do you think she gets drug tested at this job? Oh, 100%. How do you think she does? <laughs> she's still here. So do you think, think she just pulls her gun? <laughs> Anything happens. <coughs> uh, dude, dude. This, is, this, is pretty, this is pretty good looking, dude. Look at the, the lighting effects. Dude, it's moody. It's pretty good. I like the office environment. The camera tracking is sick. It's very Japanese feeling. Uh, the camera tracking adds a lot to the vibe. Did we ever get a Resident Evil? Like, yo, Code Veronica. Code like Veronica's this. like this. <coughs> but Code Veronica's on Dreamcast, so it's really crispy it's and sharp. It's got a very um, kind of parasite Eve. Am vibe I going to in here? Also. Yes. Am I going in here? The camera does move with that. <laughs> no, you need to go. You need to move forward <laughs> until you check an open vent. There's an open vent. I think she can check her open. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's I apologize. Especially yeah, that was that was crude. It was crude to our vent bearing listeners. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Yes, you do. I, I, the answer to that is always yes. <laughs> yeah. Piping check passageway A one F. Hell that sounds yeah. like an Aphex Twin song title. It really it absolutely does. Run forward, run around the corner. This looks great. It really does. Dude, I'm the, impressed. These, these devices seem to control the power distribution of this facility. Like I just found them. I just stumbled upon them after going up into the ventilation system. Great. Just just flavor text. Will you climb down? Will I climb down? I'm pretty sure do that you I, will. Do I? Do I dare? <laughs> Run forward and turn around the corner, run forward more, drop down the first vent and you come across to Regina's left side. There's another vent a little further ahead, but that one's useless for us. Control room hall. So Good thing, look, she's got a grappling hook, like... Hell yeah. Now you'll drop down into the control room hall. There'll be a door right behind you, but don't enter it. Instead, run to the opposite direction and turn around the corner. Okay. Don't enter the door yet. There'll be a box in nine millimeter rounds. Got him. Further ahead. Good. Boom. Nine millimeter parabellums, baby. Now it also says take note of the green box on the wall. <laughs> yes. Take note. Perfect. <laughs> now <laughs> turn back and enter the door you just passed. You can store You'll medical supplies in this emergency app. box. That's awesome. You need turn plug around to and enter it. the door you just passed. I need plugs. Control room one F. Yep. This game is after Metal Gear Solid. What's our status? Yeah. Mm, or oh, the same year? No, it's Metal after. It's after 97. 97. 97. Yeah, no, it's definitely 97 or 98. 98, I think. I was think it was 12. What exactly happened to Gale? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's I feel like I know whose anyway, voice actress is. Anyway, priority is to complete the mission. What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get but what is it with that down. keyboard? That's, that's a good like, idea. Those are ergonomic keyboards. Remember yeah. when Microsoft I mean, sold those split yes, ones back but, in the day? Yeah, but with your hands so far apart and some weird, like, hey, 16 key configuration in the that's middle? The security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So, so I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area. Exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground. Do they have no ground support? We can investigate. Where's their Apparently backup? Not. They're not talking to HQ. No command. No communication. Nothing. They're all on their own, dude. Who? Very severe situation. Who are they even? I don't think it's even explained. 
Like, who sent you? <laughs> now you'll have to find the generator for B1's area for surveillance. After you're back in control, exit the control room. Yeah. Now what I want to know is where those things are coming from. It's not bad. All right, once back outside, head for the vent again, but this time enter the door that was behind the vents. You'll enter management office. I've lost control. Oh, got it. Thank you. Management office. Once in the management office, first thing you'll notice is a silver box right next to you. Check it, and you'll find a shotgun. Yeah. Oh, I noticed they collect the code disc with the same. The guy follows the this shotgun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Proclamation by saying booyaka. <laughs> Wait, where's the shoddy? A silver box right next to you. I got the plug. I got some other shit. I did not get a fucking shoddy, though. Excuse my little language. Are you, in, in, here, are you in the management office? Hell yeah, I'm in the management office. There's no silver box. I'm gonna find it though. Don't worry. Look at that. Did you see that camera swing? That was good. That's cool, man. Maybe a little sick that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Something's gonna happen, and I'm not gonna have the fucking shotgun. How do you not have the shotgun? I got the panel key too. What? No. Like, why every time? Was that the silver box? It is locked. There's a panel on the door to release the lock, but it isn't working now. No. Where? What? I got a bunch of items. I got a plug. I got, uh... Does it say anything about the plug? He has been gouged did in the torso. Did you take the DDK input disc? I think so. Yes, I did. I like it zooms in. Yeah. He has been gouged in the torso. <laughs> it's nice little... Dude, just the zooming feels a little more you, high budget. And you got the plug? The computer has not been turned on. Unlike me. <laughs> I got the plug. I stuck it where the sun don't shine. I'm really, really upset about the fact that someone was like, oh, get a I'm upset guy. about the fact that th this guy is, has, in this fact has said that they're... Booyaka. Yeah. He said, first of all, I'm upset that he said that, first of all. But I'm also upset that what caused him to make that comment, a shotgun in a silver box, appears to not be present here. That is concerning. Yeah, it is concerning. Switch. Oh, shit. I, oh, the computer has been turned on. Oh, good. Just like me. Yeah, computer and you sharing a lot of things in common. Will I read the email? Sure. Oh, I hate you when they do this. Please avoid the new employee assigned to this department about the DDK system as follows. The digital disk key or DDK is a system that secures the most important areas with an advanced locking device. Oh, I don't care. So that sounds dumb. To release dumb. the locks. That sounds dumb. Prepare as and set the following two data disks in the locking device near the door. DDK code disk X, DDK input disk X. This type oh of DDK God. you need blah, indicated blah, A, blah, B. Blah. DDK you use doesn't match. You can't release the lock. Make sure your DDK type matches the door. So Stop talking about that, please. I hate it. I don't want to hear anything more about the DDK. Will anything. I read new employee education? God. All right, where is the booyaka Check on the status of the switch. You'll turn the power for the PC on. Go check the PC. You'll be given handy information about the handy information on the DDK disks. That you're going to use throughout the Whoa. game. Now check the little inlet did, office still in the same room. How did I get room. a save point though? That was interesting. Oh, excellent. Well, save. Good. Oh, can you hit me with save state too maybe? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Like you want me to fucking hit escape and fucking pause the emulation just so I can fucking do that shit? That's was I mean I figured maybe like hitting F5 so you took the it. panel key t no you're thinking of quick save and quick load from a fucking FPS uh, take the panel key two from the ground and check on the locker here you'll be asked to input a code but you don't know what it is yet now head back out and exit the door near the switch you can save the game if you wish you'll emerge in management office hallway I'm still a little disturbed about the fact that there's allegedly a shotgun in this room and, I am also disturbed by that. And I'm apparently walking right past it. Uh, anybody in the comments? Once in the management office, on. the first thing you'll notice is a silver box right next to you. 
it. Check it and you'll find a shotgun. Maybe it's not on easy mode. Maybe. I'll save again. Why not? I, I'm, I'm on, I'm on my own when it comes to saving here. Continues. Five left. Oh my god! You get limited continues in this game. <laughs> wow, that's cool. That's or, cool. Or that sucks. Or that sucks. <laughs> It's, in it's interesting, I'll say. I'll say it's interesting. <laughs> it. <sighs> Not having save states, I gotta set my game up. Here's what I'll say. We don't need to worry about save states until we're like down to like two continues. Regina, I took care of the shutter. You should be able to access the control You should be able to access the control <laughs> But I'm not sure. Already? That was quick. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey girl, just kidding. All right, first turn to Regina's left from where you are. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. Oh fuck, God, I wasn't ready for that. Where am I going? Oh God, clearly not there. It means you can open the door. Oh shit. Wow. Maybe we should put him down. I don't need to. Okay. Right. It means you can open them and close them at one. What? Alright, here we're good. Turn to Regina's left from where you were and run forward. Enter the white door you see in front of you. There was a raptor here, so watch for it. You'll enter the locker room. Are you in the locker room? Yes. Okay, great. Is in here, ignore the posters on the wall and check the blue file on the table in front of you. It's the it. journal of the guardsman. Yeah. Unlike RE, you won't be able to save files, so you have to read through them carefully, blah, 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 who cares. Um, reading through the file, you'll see that the code for the weapon storage is 0426. It doesn't, where does it say that? I don't know, that's what it says here. Look at, look at the, like, the nudie pictures of ladies on the walls. Is that what those are? Yeah, look, those are nudie pictures. Look, those are, those are nipples, it's actually a pixel of nipple. Oh my god, I love a pixel of a nipple, dude. Nipple pixel, look, she's posing with a nipple pixel. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Look how far we've come in 23 years, baby. <laughs> That's where we were back then today. They get canceled for that shit. <laughs> Even Hideo Kojima was doing shit like that in 2001. <laughs> where you could, like, call Otacon while looking at the picture. And he'd be like, Snake. Before leaving the room, take the DDK code disc H from the top of the locker. I got a tranquilizer dart. And I got the code disc H. Oh, great. Now exit back to the hallway. Head back into the management room. The management room? I yeah. did not get the code for the safe, but... It says it's 0426. It didn't say it anywhere. I don't know where I'm getting that number. I, <laughs> I can dodge them. They're dodgeable. They're, they're really not that bad. Now what am I doing? Go to that back room and enter 0426. Oh! Oh, snap! What are you doing? Astute viewers will know. Snap. <laughs> Main entrance are carved into it. It's funny how they carve all the names of everything. Resuscitation. Is that going to bring me back to life? Is that going to wake me up inside? <laughs> I can't wake up. I can wake up. <laughs> okay, take the items and exit back to the hallway. Now ignore the raptor once again and check the switch next to the laser shutters to open the shutters. Run to the other side and check the switch here to close the shutters so the raptor <gasps> won't be able to come and enter the door to the main entrance. <coughs> Done. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After a brief view of the main entrance, when you're back in control, run forward and turn in. Turn to Regina's left. Take the large doors, and Regina will use the entrance key. Go How through do those I, doors to the wait, front wait, area. Wait, of wait, the wait. Hold up, dude. Wait, hold up, bro. We need to slow it down. Here's the main entrance. Dude, okay. This is pretty impressive. Yeah, actually, I love the facility. I think it's great. I like the music stings. What I don't like is that I have no idea what my HP is at. She's like putting her hand on her hip a little bit. I think she's fine. I think she's fine, dude. Oh, what? There's a mix function? I don't like crafting. That. It is crafting. <laughs> I'm not into that at all. 
But how do I know her status? It doesn't say caution or anything. I have no idea. It hasn't said. I don't know. Oh, she's trailing blood. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, you know what? That oh, makes, me God, like no. makes me feel like I should give her a... Uh, oh, stops the bleeding, but will not recover your health. Oh, great. Oh, God. There's a few things that I really don't like, and that is fucking one of them. What, that bleeding? is that shit that I don't like. Where bleeding is a stat... And you have to like it's because the use raptors, a separate the, item, dude. Well, in this case, the raptors follow the trail of blood. So I think is that, that is true. Really, I think that's why you have a trail of blood and why it's important. So I, that to me is interesting. well. If there's actually some, oh, game, oh look, I got. If there are gameplay consequences game. to it, that's a different story. Yes. I believe that's why. I believe Whether or not those are fun gameplay consequences, I don't know. I yet, don't think but... it's going to be gameplay consequences that affect us. All right, I'm in the main room now. What do I do? Okay, great. Alone because the, the the super useful men who I jumped on this island with, where the hell are they? Well, that one guy got dragged off the cliff by the raptor. E you know what? Even though I look like a Run Miranda, and make no for... mistake, I am a Samantha. Okay? Uh, everybody's a Samantha, bro. Excuse me. Excuse me. Dude, who the fuck is a Charlotte, bitch? No one's a fucking Charlotte. Wait, did you just say you were a Miranda? I said, shh. She doesn't she looks like a Miranda? She's I mean, a, she looks like a Miranda. She's a, she's a Samantha. Everybody wants to be a Samantha. No one she wants. She is. To be a Regina is a Samantha. Obviously. Obviously. Look, where are the men in her life? <laughs> They've all abandoned her already. We're like ten minutes into the game. Typical. This Samantha. also looks typical. Like, Samantha. This looks like the seventh guest main hallway. I love the stairs. Am I going up the stairs? Where the fuck it's am really I going? Impressive. Well. Tell me lies. <laughs> All right, when you're back in control, run forward and turn to Regina's left. Check the large doors. Regina will use the entrance key. Go through these doors to the front area of the entrance. I'm going to the front area of the entrance. Okay. I do appreciate that this guy... Turn to Regina's left and head all the way around the walkway and keep on heading forward until you come to some huge doors and a dead guy. Oh, boy. The dead guy has a file and a spinning box. First up, check the box, and you will find this some SG rounds for great. your shotgun that oh, we don't have. We don't fucking have. Lame, 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 lame. Oh, shit. That's bad. That's oh. great. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's great. Oh, I grenade bullets. Oh, I've got no, I've got, oh, I've got slag bullets. Do I really need hemostat? It's not necessary to use it now, but I also can't fucking drop it either. Great. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Evil. So it, is that going to happen to this too? Or do I have different... In oh, the anal aid I can't hold. What about the... Do the okay, great. At least I can take the DDK disc. Lord of mercy. The file <laughs> of personnel changes. Well, I read the file of personnel. That's, that's what I need to read right now. Uh, registration number 57036. Oh, Mark, Mark Doyle. Hey, Doyle. <laughs> Dude, you can use the an aid or multiplier that, uh, that you just found here to upgrade your medical items or increase them in number. That's interesting. You can, apparently, it's the mix function. Check it, and you'll be prompted to mix two items together. You can only mix the medical items. Darts are also included in it. You can make literally tons of varieties of medical items or stronger darts. It's really hard to explain in words, so it's better that you just experiment them. Great, that sounds I'm doing it. fun. I'm Okay, great. Look, dude, I, I mixed one med pack with one an aid, and I got two M pack M plus. Oh, that's cool. That will completely refill my health. And oh, also, like dude, they stack with the med pack M. What? Oh my god. Yo, oh that's op. That's op. God. That's op. Uh, uh, uh. And that I have not. I have right. not. I will remind you. I have not fired a single round. In anger. <laughs> Uh, or or else I have not shot only an arm and upper body remains. I have not shot this gun. I am a pacifist. If I could do it, once you're done in this area, head back it. to the main entrance. Am I right, people? Wake up, sheeple. NYPD <laughs> is. Uh, oh, if I try to do this, it might fuck me over. All right, All right go back to the going? entrance and go up the fucking stairs. Take the stairs to the second floor, run around Fuck, the stairs, and push the big box there. I SG you, rounds. What are you doing? I want those SG rounds, dude. Well, you don't have a fucking SG. I'm going to get one. 
What can I, I mean, mix we can only assume that. With? Let's mix it with an anal dart. <laughs> what's it gonna What's gonna happen? It made three an anal dart plus one, but I bet I have room for the SG rounds now. Yup, <laughs> boom, <laughs> buckshot, <Great. shot>, baby. <laughs> Fantastic. Problem, Go a, back in the entrance, dude. I'm a problem solver. That's why I got high marks you in are. second grade. In second grade. She was like, you are. Dude, I think it needs to be really mentioned again that this looks Look, good. It looks awesome. Look at this environment. I really like the lighting. The lighting is comparable with the kind of lighting effects you would have seen in Half-Life 2 the same year. Also, keep in mind, I'm almost, I'm relatively positive that Majora's Mask came out almost the same time as it this. It came out in like 2000. It came out after this. But, but like within a Wasn't year or so, Wasn't it like 2002 right? it came out? Maybe it was 2002. Like, this game looks so much better. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah. That's even, that, that further like, strengthens, strengthens my point. This game looks Majora's so Mask much looks like a pile of shit. Well, because, dude, remember, dude... N64 games, it really is N64 true. N64 games they always si looked like Dude, shit. They were, those carts were only 64 megabytes. Yeah, they, were, and they these always discs looked like shit. are 640 plus, probably. Yeah. But at least 640 megs, so literally 10 times the space to have better textures, models, everything. It is so N64 obvious. N64 games always look like a complete ball sack. This looks decent. It looks cool. Like, it, I don't look at this... I mean, yes, I like this style, but I think that, like, it it's works. It's even capable... The, that it's even capable of having a style. I don't think it's ugly. I think, like, the muddiness and the textures and everything gives it a vibe. Get up to the second floor, please, for the love of God. I had not heard that instruction, but... Well, that's not because I didn't say it. Somebody's... All right, you'll run around the stairs, push the big box thing, and you'll find an aid, an an aid. <laughs> so phantom. There you go, get the an aid. Uh, oh, great. All right, now go in the door. You'll enter hall 2F. Something bad's happening over there. She's looking yeah. at it. Like Run this. straight to the door. Oh, that's bad. On the opposite side of the one that you entered from. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus <laughs> Christ. They really are nipping at your heels, man. <laughs> are you in the right place? I Where am. are you? What did you say? I don't know. But give me the next instruction. Straight to the phone. It says go, to the, go directly to the other end of the hall. There quickly. should be a box with a hemostat near the door. Take it, enter passageway to the communications area. I think maybe it's not this. But this is rad, though. It is rad. <laughs> go back. Well, I'm happy to go back because it's cool. Look at this. This is dope. It, it looks is. cool. This is, this, dude, this feels like Metal Gear. That looks yeah, really I think a lot of that is the fact that the environment is fully 3D that it's makes it feel like the that. The environment is fully 3D. She also kind of looks like Meryl. <laughs> she does look like Meryl, and they definitely did like the Meryl booty situation although the Meryl Booty situation is nothing always an happened is situation. no power to activate it I'm like I don't you need to run straight to the opposite side of the uh, I got the you combination 8159 so much about the DDK oh dude, code you're like, you're two, dude you're two paragraphs ahead of me I don't know how to deal with that alright well then let's back up you know, we need to back up because you told me to run to the door directly across Dire uh, but yeah. I think on the opposite side of the I'm in the, the passageway to the communication area Take it and enter passageway to the communication area. I'm there. You're in that right area the, right now? I am in the passageway. There is a path area. leading back there, but for now, just enter the door right in front of you. Ignore the patches completely. You'll enter the communications antenna room. That's or antenna right. antenna tower room. Just was. I'm going back oh, there again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I am there. All right, this room will serve as a very important purpose for much later in the game, so remember its location. Great. I will not. Okay. For now, walk forward and read the memo in the yellow file. It will t uh, it will tell you some useless stuff, but you can find the code in there, which is 8159. Remember the code, as we'll be using it in, the, in a little while. Be sure to read through the file at least once because uh, of the DDK info. Exit, the, exit back to the previous area and then back to Hall 2F. That should literally say, don't worry about anything that's in there because I'm going to tell you all this shit when you yeah. need it. Pro right. tip, you know what? Are you I back would... in Hall 2F? Tell me, are you back in Hall 2F? I think Hall 2F is where the, yes. Tell me quick, where, where do I have to go? Because the Raptor's in here. Tell me quick, where am I going? 
Uh, hold to F. Run forward once more and enter the double doors you see on Regina's right hand side. Nailed it. You'll enter the lounge. I'm going in. Dude, you know what? Master of tank controls right here. Master of tank controls. This is this is 25 plus years. Oh, oh fucking <laughs> sack and cheese. <laughs> Is and there, there's a raptor right in front of you. Now in the be um, beginner advice, you have to kill it, but it can cause trouble on the way out of this room. Wait, did she say kill but if it? you're confident with your skills, carry on. Are you confident with your skills? Wait, I think you it? should probably cap it. There's oh two. my god, there's two. Oh, oh very nice. Dude. Three bullets each on easy? Hell yeah. Dude, hell yeah. All right, that's not bad at all. Easy rule. That's not bad at all. Easy rules. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm fine with that. Those things are threatening enough. Three bullets each is fine. I don't want to have to be worrying so about, like, ruining my day. All right, check day. the panel inside the shelf here. You know how long it's been since I saved? Check the panel and enter 8159. Did they bite me? I, I don't know. I, I think don't they think did. so. 8159. I don't know. Hold up. You got to enter 8159, G. I know, but I, what I need to do is make sure my health oh. is capped off. I'll cap off your fucking health. We'll it's really nice that they stack, I'll say we'll that. We'll recover completely. We'll completely recover your health. We'll completely recover your health. Okay. I, I mean, I don't even know what my health is. No yeah, indication. it's weird that it does not say. But. Whatsoever. What, okay, so I'm sorry. What am I doing in this room? Where am I entering Find the, the panel, enter 8159. Where's the panel? I'm just, just killing dinos. I think that's the panel. Oh, yeah, yeah, give me that. Oh, nice. Wait, look, you have the shotgun. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Did you combine the shit? Hang on, slides. Combine. There. Hang on, custom. You have Great. To equip them both. That's weird. Great. Uh, Hold up. Oh, so in easy, you also start with a fucking grenade gun. Oh, nice. Uh, dude, sick. Meanwhile, the downside I'm leaving the grenade gun on. Door. Equip the handgun parts, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully you escape the room on scratch and are back in hall 2F. Here, run exactly in front of a joiner. Take the box, check the box near the couch for some more SG shells. Now check the door with the flashing panel beside it. Check the panel rather than the door. And you will be able to put in, input the code and input a DDKH disks. Wait, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna need that again. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Are you in hall 2F? Uh, yes. Run exactly in front of- I set of the DDK, I need to input the password. And paying attention of all the files and information. Here's a little troll finger off the queue. Here's a little illustration. You know what? I don't need to be condescended by this FAQ. I'm reading this FAQ so I don't have to pay- Excuse me. I don't want to have to pay attention to the files or- Oh, the answer reading. is head. There we go. Answer is head. I'm sorry? Head. Like? Like top, like dome. Like flesh. Oh my god. I would be infuriated by this if I didn't have a fac. Insane. Like, I would already be tired of it. Yeah. Which is why it's great. And that's why 2022 is a good time to replay games. Because there's nothing wrong with playing through a game with an FAQ to experience it. Rather than struggling through it miserably. What's happening here? Do you know where I can find Dr. Kirk? Kirk. That fool. What's he plotting? What's he plotting now? What are you talking about? Here. Take this. What's this for? I, I, I don't it's know. It's a used condom. You told me <laughs> extremely vital. It's got my. It's my last Fire. one. Please <laughs> make me a son. <laughs> Shove this up in your um, as a last gift to me. Once back in control, check the box on the top side for for more SG bullets. Now check the area behind the chief's desk and in the corner. Please. 
Make our bloodlines one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got the panel one key. Uh, did you get the bullets? Now check the area behind the disc and the counter. By the big room, you will find a panel to ask you to enter the two panel keys. Uh, before you enter the panel keys, you take the con check the control box. And before you enter the panel keys into the control box, check the panel keys and you will find some marks. Whoa! On them. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. That was sick. Do I need to fight this thing? Holy Jesus! Do I have to shoot it? Is it gonna fucking kill me? I don't know, it doesn't say. Are you fucking joking? Oh, I'm gonna do the only thing I know how to do. You oh to shit, oh shit! You have to enter the panel keys into the respective slots. You'll be asked for the code. Oh, bitch. Smoke him. Yeah! That's right! That's right! That's right! <laughs> I learned from Sam Neil, baby! Uh. <laughs> Man, it's very... I must say, Word. It, is, it is very to pleasing me. to be playing a game and being pleasantly surprised. Like, I thought Majora's Mask was going to be sick. No, or, this is or it. at the very least, I thought Majora's Mask was going to be tolerable, but like, obviously well, it also, fell far no, short no, from no. that. But this is sick, and also, honestly, I, th I would recommend that if you're playing through this... I, I already rec would recommend people play through this just to this point. Put it on easy where you get all these weapons right out the gate. Like, honestly, if you want survival horror and you want to struggle, maybe play through this on easy and, like, get it going. I could see myself learning the the fact that they give you an avenue to learn the route of this game and learn the game. I just don't want to be stressing. frustrated no, more than I'm No, I'm not going to die. For, dude, I, there, it's very likely that that thing could have Resident Evil 2 alligatored me if oh, I got stuck. It would wouldn't surprise me if you sit there for 30 seconds and the T-Rex will one-shot you. And you know how <laughs> yeah. long ago I saved? Like, back in the computer room, like, ages yeah, ago. Yeah, I would kill myself. It would be like 20 minutes of gameplay. It would be really annoying. And yet, because I had those grenades, I don't know how many I have left now. Probably all right, First of all, many. can you go into your inventory and check the panel keys? You'll find some marks on them. These marks are actually numbers written upside down. First, read the yep. numbers on the first panel key. Then read the numbers on the second panel key. You'll get a six-digit code. 705037. Now enter the, both the panel keys into the respective slots, and you'll be asked to input the code. And the code in question is 705037. Right. Here's... Put them in the fucking thing and enter Wait. 705037. Oh, he just said it? He said it in the FAQ. In the fact, yeah, 7035. You know what? I, I don't need him to explain the puzzle. Do yeah, you, that's, that's what's annoying me. Do you also, need the puzzle like, dude, explained I don't in the FAQ? This, dude, seriously. Would I be I, reading it? I had to go through two and a half paragraphs oh, shit. Oh, shit. of expository nonsense just to see 705037. Like, dude, I don't need to know why or how it works. I just need to know the fucking answer. Oh, my God. I messed up. Oh my god, dude, seriously? Well, it... <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> this is... This is PlayStation. <laughs> this is what it was really like. Back when people were like, Whoa, the Radical 90s. It was struggling with menus like this. Where, like, the programmers barely understood how to get the input. Oh! 705037. <laughs> Zero, tres, siete. Are we sure we're recording and everything? Do we know for like a fact that everything is like? Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Just checking. All right, are we good? Uh, let's see, seven oh five through seven. Okay. Um, uh, panel open, revealing the key card L. I got it. Take it and also take the DDK input disc N from the same table. Did you get that already? Oh yes, I did. Okay. Try to exit before you can. Big T Rex will break from lunch for you. Spots the dead Oh, so that should have happened after. Yeah. 
I just happened to accidentally trigger it. They equipped the shotgun, loaded shotgun shells away with the TRX head to open its mouth, and with its lunge forward, so you shoot it, blah, blah, blah. We're in a second slate, the TRX scoop been in its scale, keeping the thing above. I still have three grenades. Oh my god, because if you're even a second late, the T-Rex can scoop Regina for a quick and instant kill. You are totally right. You absolutely could have gotten one shot there. But I could, I could have used shoddy shells. Yeah, instead of that. But whatever. But either way, yes, if I are, had not taken swift action, I would have been one shot. You 100% could have gotten one shot. And this is, and this is why shot. I also am like, okay, having Resident Evil 2 knowledge and stuff like that made me feel the imperative danger right, of that situation. We know what we're doing right now. What are we doing? What's going on? Are you doing a safe state? Yeah, we're safe state. Thank God. Because that was close. It's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I did not panic in. Well, I the know slightest. that it's time to save a state where I start feeling like if we have to start over, that I'm gonna lose interest. We, we would've, it would have been really far back. We'd have it would have killed. Yeah, it would have killed me. All right. All right, Pappy. All right. Once the TRX is gone, just head back to Hall Two F. We have both the input and we have the, both the input and code DDK disk drive N. We only need to find the door. So, um, go back to Hall 2F. Go back to Hall 2F. Hall 2F. Perfect. Head for the door, which takes you back to the staircase, and make your way to the first floor main entrance. Okay. Dude, I... I, I feel it, bear, it bears mentioning again. The way this handles camera tracking... And great. switching is really, it's really great. good. I mean, I also, I'm very good at tank controls, but like, there is no point at which you see me awkwardly banging into stuff or being confused about here, how here, to go where I need to here's go. Here's why it's good, right? Because it's not a full, you know, use the right or left shoulder buttons to swivel the camera. For the most part, it's a 3D rendered environment, but it, it handles the camera for you. I don't, I can, there is no camera control. That's why it works. That's Was why it works. Am I supposed to go here? Unlock the shutters near the entrance. One more thing. I just caught a glimpse of something on the monitor that looked human. It should be somewhere near the front of the training room. So check there first. <laughs> All right. Well, T-Rex is gone. Head back to 2F. Now we have the input code. Head for the door, which takes you back to the staircase. And make your way to the first floor main entrance. Here, run, just run behind the stairs. You'll find a box with another and aid in it. Try to get near the double doors, and Rick will radio in. Yep. He will tell her that the humanoid figure on the monitor should be near the training room. He asked for Regina to check it out. It might be a good doctor there after. Okay. Once you're back in control of Regina, check the flashy panel beside the door. And it's time for another DDK puzzle. Oh my god, I'm already I'm already sick of these things. And this is what this it's stuff like this as to why I did not finish this when I was young. Yeah, because it would have been impossible to I find an easy answer at the time. I would have needed to sit with an FAQ, and I'm sure there were people in Game Pass, but honestly, there wouldn't have been an FAQ for it when I was playing it at launch. And I never gave it another yeah. shot, I guess. It would have been an absolute fucking nightmare. <laughs> Is it the input disk N? The password is newcomer. Oh, here we go. This that also, by the way, is fellatio adjacent. Newcomer? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? The uh, Latin newcomer begins with an I. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? That's a great sound, by it the way. It is a great it's a sound. a great sound. Okay, you Am will I now enter through? the elevator room. Okay, uh, elevator hall. Thanks, guy. First things first, check the box near the red box on the wall for another plug. Okay. You got it? You yeah, good? should I use the red box now? Now, if you have sufficient plugs or wish to do so, open the box and you'll find some ammo inside it. 
Take it and deposit your useless stuff like extra ANs and or extra ammunition. Whoa! Uh, whoa! Hey! Whoa! Hey. What do I need a poison hey. dart for? Darts to the shotgun. Hey, I'm fucking it. Kills the enemy in a single shot is poison dart for shoddy. Ooh, that is fucking fantastic. Hey! Oh! Hey! 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 Oh! Hey! Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. oh. I'm walking here. <laughs> Dots for the shotgun. This makes the enemy sleep. I don't need that because I only like murder. <laughs> Give me the poison dots instead. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, poison dart. Kills enemy in single shot. Indiscriminate murder. I love it. Select the mix icon on subscreen before use. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> god. Can you get out of this, please? Hey, 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 hey. I'm getting ammo here. Okay? You want me to, uh, to die? <laughs> I want you to get the fuck out of the screen. That is what I want. Don't you want me to get some ammo? I mean, if if don't necessary. You want, don't you want daddy? If it's ammo? absolutely necessary. Well, doesn't daddy deserve some ammo? Would you? <laughs> doesn't daddy deserve a no, little dude, ammo? No, dude. At this point, I'm gonna have doesn't to say daddy no. Doesn't daddy deserve a little bit of ammunition <laughs> in his fucking life? Don't I sleep? How are you possibly still on this in screen? In a fucking coal mine, just <laughs> to come home and have mine. you tell me I can't use my plugs <laughs> to get in my emergency box and distribute my ammunition. <laughs> I see there's, the there's a dead body over the there. Company stole. It looks like my friend. Where am I going? Check the green panel near the center of the room, and you will find the map of the facility. You can now view the entire map from your inventory menu. Oh, that the is. elevators here will be useless for now, and you won't have access. Really but excited. don't forget to move the shelf behind the map panel for a hemos hit. He is wearing white. Possibly a researcher. Interesting thing to notice about the uh, <laughs> massacred, mutilated, eaten corpse in front of you. He's wearing white. He's wearing white. And it's past Labor Day. What an idiot. Save the map data? No, I hate maps. <laughs> a cartographer broke my fucking heart. <laughs> now exit through the only other door you see in the room. It's a flashing ele ele elevator. This, I see so many doors in this fucking room. This key is useless now, discard. Lecture room hallway. Check the box in front of you for a hemostat. Open the laser shutters and run past them. Okay. I'm gonna pass them. Ignore the door besides them for now and carry on down the hallway. Suddenly. Oh. Whoa, boy. Can I hit this switch? You easily run past them. Swerve around the dino in front of Regina and make your way down the hall. Turn at the end. Check the dead body before entering the double doors for a pluck. Whoa, Jesus! Fucking bit me. Check it. We need the plug. And then? Wait, hold on. Uh, make sure we're down the hall. Now enter the door to enter the lecture room. Oh, nice. Jesus. Sick. Go in there. How bad are you, Gina? Oh, she's not doing great. She's bleeding. I think this will, I think resuscitation will literally just bring me back to life if I die. That's pretty cool. I think easy mode is like really easy. Just run forward and in the front room, take the BG room B1 key. In the lecture room? Yeah. Run forward and in the front row, take the BG room one, BG, B, B1, BG key. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. I used that med pack, it didn't stop me from bleeding. All right, I took the BGB one key. Oh, Christ, on the cross. Start mashing buttons. Start mashing buttons. Mashing buttons. Smash the buttons quickly enough, the dinosaur will not attack you. What? What? Oh, oh, it's Gale. Ugh. I didn't need to be saved by a man. I was doing fine. Good timing. What is it? Another lizard? That's no lizard. It's a dinosaur. Dinosaur? Look, 
Something's really wrong with this place. This whole mission has gone sour. Hey, it's always eat or be eaten out in the battlefield. No matter who or what you're up against. Any word on the dock yet? I've got to hook up with Rick again. My radio's dead, and he's the only one who can fix it. Operation was really poorly planned. Once back in control of Gina, exit back to the hallway and run back down the hallway. This time, enter the door, which was next to the lasers. Wait, I'm so sorry. One more time? Are you even holding the controller? No, I was thinking about how Regina's in Saskatchewan. <laughs> That's awesome. I was wondering if anybody out there is like, yo, any listeners in <laughs> Regina? Shout out. Post in the comments. If you were listening from Regina, this is very important. Word to you. Word well, to you. Well, if you consider that like 90% of the Canadian population lives in this like really tiny area that's in like Quebec and... Dude, I can't believe that the farthest south that you can get in Canada is North Dakota. That's insane. North Dakota is it's mad north. It's not for me. It's, yeah, it's not for me. Where am I going now? I'm sorry. Exit back Out to the, the hallway doors. and run back down the hallway. This time, enter the door which was next to the lasers. You'll enter the office. That was fun. Office. That's good. In here, check the red file for some information about the key card system. Oh my god. You know what's insane? I definitely made it at least this far when I was playing, because I remember all this shit. Run more forward, and in the opposite corner of the door you entered from, you'll find a computer terminal. Three years ago, the third energy destroyed the facility and killed as many as 150 personnel from a single overflowing accident. Uh, someone used a terminal in the room, you have forged a fake ID, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna have a strategy meeting. Like, who leaves memos like this just lying? <laughs> <laughs> they have computers! Oh, here, 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 he has a phone. Telephone extension covers the whole facility. Find a computer terminal. This is almost useless for now, so ignore it. I like how it says, oh, go yes. over here and find a computer terminal. That's useless. This is useless. Like, Thanks. great. Fucking asshole. What, where are we going? So ignore it, but do take note of the note on the notice board. It will have some numbers on it. Uh, not useful now, but it will be in a little later on. Now exit. Like, if I'm following your fact, why will I need... Don't, yeah. Do you will, just tell me, just breeze on by? Yeah, are you not going to tell me to go back here? Are you teaching me... I like, Even if you're teaching me the game... If you're teaching me a route, what you should be teaching me is to memorize the codes. It, it, like, no speedrunners are coming in here and being like, don't forget to check out the whiteboard. They're like, no, the codes That is useless for right three. now, but you might use it later, right, so remember the point. Like, you find a computer channel, take none, do some numbers on, not useful, no, 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 no. Now exit through the only other door in this area. You'll come out in the office hallway. Is it a different door? It's your dad's hallway. Get in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to dadshallway.com. The best Where door. Where you find all dads. All dads. In all hallways. hallways. <laughs> We've got dad floors. Dad this is the walls. same hall where you first found the oh, first yeah. time in the game. Love now it. Now what we have to do is find the B1 backup generator, and since we already have its key, we just need to find the door. Now make your way to the area where you first entered the facility from the start of the game, which is just one room away from... Uh, which one room away from you? <laughs> uh, once oh. at the backyard of the facility, head through to the area where you and Gail had the first chat. Continue farther in that direction. There will be a wire, a wire meshing door here, and the door with the B1 key on it that you had. Enter it. Here, pick up the AN aid and use the ladder to go Bro, down to the backup generator like, B1. Really need to like. Uh, what? what? I is lost it? you. It's it. I lost you way back when it was like, you need to go back to the start. It didn't give it a clear direction. Like, so I'm, I'm in the hallway, and I also had just picked up an item, which it didn't say was there. So I was doing a little inventory management. 
to get healing items. So I'm still in the hallway. Once you're back in control of Regina, yeah. exit back to the hallway okay. and run back down the hallway. Like we, This in, time, in direction. and I, I'm reading what is okay. here. And this time... If it doesn't say a direction, it, oh. I don't know the okay. direction. This time... Once you're back in control of Regina, exit back to the hallway and run back down the hallway. This, this time, time, enter the door, which was next to the lasers. Ding, 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 main entrance. You will be... You'll enter the office. In here, <laughs> Wait, I'm in check the, main the red... Entrance. That, I mean, there, maybe there's two different lasers. This is the office hallway. Wasn't I just in the office, though? Isn't that what this is? Yeah. All right, I'm in the office. Yes. Okay. Check it, the red file for some information... We already did all this, ...about no? the key card system, yeah, we which did is this. useless for us right now. Yes, we did all this. Then you ran forward to find the computer terminal, which was also useless. Yes. So ignore it. But do take note of the notice board. Yes. Now exit through the only other door in the area. You will come out in the office hallway. Yes. That is where I, I let was. Me know, let me know when you're in the office hallway. I am in the office hallway again. Again. This is the same hall where you first found the first vent in the game. Great. Now, what we have to do is find the B1 backup generator. And since we already have its key, we just need to find the door. All right. Before now, we do that, we're going to take a moment to appreciate how sick this screen is. It does it's look rad. fantastic. We've it got, does look absolutely We've fantastic. got these foreboding video game like Ninja Gaiden clouds moving in the distance. These really kind of cool lighting effects coming in the window like that's moonlight and it feels it like moonlight impressive. there's no real lighting other than no moonlight. i absolutely it's agree this is it very is, impressive it is impressive it is moody it's not scary but it's moody and it's really the design is cool the 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 fact that they managed to pull off this much atmosphere it's with atmosphere. this kind of technology is very impressive and i really feel like the follow camera uh, adds tremendously to it. And I think that's why they did things like long hallways. So you could really appreciate like the cinem it is, how cinematic it is. It is crucial that you do not have control of the camera, but there is one. That's very important. It's actually very similar to, uh, I told you about this, the horror game me and Jules played last year called The Medium. It does the same thing. Where for the most part, the backgrounds are pre-rendered, but are, they're static but they're fully 3D. So the con so the camera makes its own choices about how to best oh, play shit. that angle. Match the buttons. Great, good. Holy crap. Make your way to the area where you first entered the facility. Make your way to the area where you first yeah. entered the facility. Uh, that's where I'm getting set. Is that, should I go back through the main entrance hall to get there? I'm Once you're at the backyard you. of the facility. Wait, hold up, hold up. I'm trying to figure out how to get back to the. It's right through there. Oh. <laughs> oh. I wonder if they can kill you, probably. One shot took him out, and the other one took three. Alright, let's see if I can find my way. They really, I really feel like this part should have, like, a here's exactly how to get back. Oh, I'm doing it though. Is there a cutscene or we, you, you need to get to oh. the backyard of the facility? Yeah, wait, can you click back, please? Oh. Uh, I'm pr I am going in reverse. I'm going doing everything in reverse. Yeah. Get to the backyard oh, of the facility. Oh, thank God. This is the Is this a safe room in this game? Maybe. Yeah. 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 
not much of a save beam, I gotta say. It's alright. It's okay. It's not like blowing my mind. No, it's not. Not at all. It's not like RE2. Nothing Which is, is like, to be fair. Scary and sad. To and be like, fair, nothing really is. Really isolated. Like, this is the other thing about this game is like you go in with two but with two other people. Well, I mean, like, this you game, went in with isolated. Barry Burton and your boy. Well, in Resident fucking... Evil 1, but I don't think Resident Evil 1 is scary. Like, RE2 is, like, scary in the field. RE2 is scary because of the sense of extreme isolation. All right, where am I going now? Back you need to out. get back to the fucking backyard facility. The, the backyard facility. This is control room 1F. I'm thinking maybe I can get back to the backyard facility. Through here. Oh, word! So how goes the search for the doc? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. I didn't find any sign of him on this level. That leaves the underground area then. It's the only place left. But there's no power down there, right? Not yet. That'll be your job, Regina. Restore the power to the underground area. Wow, Bossy McBosserton. What are you guys gonna do? Sitting here and play. <laughs> fucking. Play diddle your fucking pig. Grabby ass. Just finger popping each other, asshole over here. While Regina's out doing work, what do I do here now, bro? It's, it's a, according to the walkthrough, you're not supposed to be here. He's checking something on the monitor, and this dude is filing his nails, or he's playing violin. Look, at, does this guy not look like he's filing his nails or playing violin? Oh, 100%. He is repairing Gail's communicator. What is a communicator? You mean it's like walkie-talkie? <laughs> Like, what the? What the fuck, dude? Are you in the office hallway? I feel. I believe so, yes. You need to find the B1 backup generator. Yeah, yeah. Now make your way to the area where you first entered the facility from the start of the game, which is just one room away from you. Oh, it's just one, one room away? Uh, that's what it says. Cool. I don't think this is where you're supposed to go. Does, do you see anything about management office? No. No. What's it? Give me another room name. Gail tells her his radio is broken and goes off to find Ricks to get repaired. Once back in control, Regina exit the hallway and run back down the hallway, this time entering the door that was next to the lasers. You'll enter the office. In here, check the red file, some more information about the keycard system. Okay, after all that. Exit through the other door in this area, you will come out in the office hallway. Yes. This is the same hall where you found the first vent in the game. Yes. Now what we have to do is find the B1 backup generator, and since we already have its key, we just need to find the door. Now make your way to the area where you first entered the facility from the start of the game, which and is just run w one room away from you. Once you're at the backyard of the facility, head through the area where you, ha you and Gail had your first chat. So, so <coughs> far this whole time... We have been unable to return to the backyard of the facility, that is, and that is the problem. That is the problem. It, I would bet it's one of these doors, though. Which one? I have no idea. It doesn't say. I was more looking for your opinion. Well, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't been watching. I've been reading the facts, so I don't know. <laughs> Let's see who's in the toilet. Do I want to climb to the ventilation opening? I have no fucking idea. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Remember I did this? I do remember that. Whatever so, you need to if do. If I need to go back, it stands to reason I need to go this way. Whatever you need to do to get to the backyard of the facility I believe is this what is needs it, dude. to happen. I believe this is it. I believe I went through the vents. Lecture room hallway. Great. That hasn't been mentioned at all in this, but sure. They're not mentioning shit in this. Dude, we did something very wrong at some point. I don't think so. 
I well, mean, I still do not see the backyard of the facility, so I find that to be confusing. What the fuck? <laughs> That's not the backyard of the facility. It's the front area yeah, of, entrance. of the entrance. It's almost the complete opposite of where we need to be. Well, it is. It, am I wrong or not that this FAQ should have some sort of instruction as to... It has had the... complete instructions for everything so far. I don't know why it now is making no sense. I'm just trying to recall. Did I go down the stairs at any point? No. You have to. What's Maybe through here? What's that? Yes. This is where I went originally. I went through here. Fuck. Whoa. Shit. You'll come out in the office hallway. This is the hallway where you found the first vent in the game. Yes. It basically says from the office hallway, you need to go back to the area where you first entered the facility from the I, start I of the understand. game. I understand. Okay, but so so I, so be aware that that is the extent of the information. I totally, I, have. I totally get that. All I am trying to do is get your perspective. So I have not been watching what is happening on the screen, so I will be next to useless in okay. that regard. All right, in that case, it's just gonna have to be trial and error. Can you go to the left? No. Great. Can't go to the left. I think this is the toilet. Which is there a you... map, perhaps? There is a map. How do you view? Great. So we don't even know where you are on this? I'm in the blue. Oh, you're in the blue. Completely useless. Terrible. I, it, it, none of that means anything to me. No, see, so the locker room's a dead end. I have to do. I have. No matter what, I'm gonna have to do. You need to find the office hallway first. If you can find. I, I mean, I am in the management office hallway right now. This is the main entrance. That doesn't help at all. Now I'm in the. I can go to management office hallway. Which I originally got into via this grate in the ceiling. Oh! Do I want to climb into the ventilation opening? Perfect. Different piping passageway. Let's see if maybe this helps. Yes, see, this is the one I went into originally. Now if I go all the way back here, this should lead me back to the backyard. See, listeners, I never lost hope or patience, and here we are in the office hallway. But you know what, to this FAQ writer? This is the shame same on hallway you. Shame. where you found the first vent in the game. Now what we have to do is find the B1 backup generator. Make your way to the area where you first entered the facility from at the start of the game, which is just one room away from you. Once you're at the backyard of the facility, oh head through the area where you and Gail had your first chat. Right now, that where, play, where you're going is only one room away from you. What they say? Yes. Oh my God. Head through to the area where you and Gail had your first chat. A memorable location if I ever saw one. Continue farther in that direction. There will be a wire meshing door here. Open the door and use the B1 key. 
Is it this way or is this too far back? No, you know what? I know where we're going. That would be a pleasant surprise. Booyah! B1 backup generator. B1 backup generator. Uh, uh, uh. Now you must use the ladder to go down to the backup generator B1. Oh, I'll go down. Oh, oh I'm God. Going, I'm going down. All right, this bro. room is similar to the first generator floor room. You'll need to use the same method to solve the puzzle too. But before you do that, check the green light along the way and take the red battery out of the recharging socket. It's fully charged. Great. That's or rather, I'm sorry, news. it is fully charged because we don't use contractions. Because now, fucking why the fuck would we? Now, head for the puzzle panel at the end of the room. I don't think put, I first, put the battery in its slot and then do the same color pattern matching routine as you did before. Red, blue, green, white. Check the panel next to it and activate it. The backup generator will activate and the power will be back on. Mensa, baby. <laughs> what? Wait, what? What is occurring? Oh, there we go. Finally, I just had to drag myself along the wall. Classic. Dunk on, dunk on, dunk on. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Someone you know who always fixes power? A dad. Regina is a dad. Oh, dad, dad, yeah. dad, 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 dad. So, do we have power yet? We're in the green, thanks to you. Look, I need Dude, you to Dude, I should have took that fucking sand. I'm like falling asleep. You, you dumb dumb. <laughs> It's also making me want to eat ice cream. I might need to go get some ice cream. <laughs> Wait, where do I need to go? What did it say now? What? I have to run all the way back up now? <laughs> oh my god, you son of a bitch. I should have given you half that. Dude, I should, I should like, add a quarter of a bar at most. That half was fine. Well, you said give me half. I wasn't going to babysit know. you. I thought it was a bad idea, but I wasn't going to babysit you. At first you were like, give me a quarter, and then you're like, oh, fuck it, give me half. And yeah, I was like, whatever. I and I was like, well, it's My probably a bad idea, My fucking tolerance is slow as fuck. Leave me alone. You better caffeinate. My god, I'm trying. Shove an Adderall up your ass. I don't think I have any Adderall anymore. Shove an Adderall I sold all the food um, uh, Where am I going now? Backup generator's well, on. <laughs> what did you do? I turned the backup generator on. Okay. Like a G. Why? Okay, Rick will radio again until you Regina has the power back on and they can view the V1's camera too. But then he asks Regina to come back to the control room because he has something important to talk about before entering. Uh, before exiting the generator room, push the shelf right next to the lever we just used to find another plug. Take it and make your way out of the generator room. Oh, I didn't do that. But, oh, you know, piss. I, I'm okay with that. Piss. I honestly don't need it. Because that's are you just sure? To, those, the plugs are just to open item boxes, and okay, I, okay, I'll be okay, fine okay, okay. missing Great. a plug. Excellent. Fantastic. Now make your way to the control room. I think you should know the way there by yourself. <laughs> that's what he said? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What an asshole. <laughs> That's a little bit presumptuous, dude. I think dude. I'm you should know lie. the way. If I'm not I did, lie, dude. that's a little presumptuous. If I did, why would I be using this FAQ? <laughs> oh I mean, my god, that is so rude. You know what? I was trying to be nice, <laughs> but you know what? You were trying to be nice. Fuck to this fact you, writer. fact writer. Now you're being rude to me. Guess what? 
Guess what, Fuck bitch. you. Like, we're still using your shit because, like, I think making a statement by trying to find another FAQ at this point would be foolhardy. So I'm not going to. Let me to. know when you're back in control room. By, by the way, oh, along shit. the path, when you reach the office hallway, you will be attacked by a raptor breaking through the window, and it will become another danger screen. Quickly mash the button so the raptor will not be able to damage you anymore. Quickly exit, make your way to the control room. So basically, you're going to the control room. I don't know if I'm in the... I'm not seeing... I know what the control room hallway looks like. I'm not seeing it, though. But I think I'll get there. Unless the lecture room has only one entrance. Oh my god. If I can hear you falling asleep in the bathroom, it's ridiculous. Are you good? Have you found your way back in? No, I will find my way to the control room though. I just I can't believe that it doesn't tell you what her health status is. That is intense. What you could do is save state, though, for me before you go, please. Because it's been quite some time. Was that it? Yeah. All right. F1. F1 racer. That's not a thing. Have you made your way back to the control room yet? No. Oh my god. I seriously think I'm in the same... I feel like I'm in this... I feel like I've done a loop and I need to get back up in the vent to get there. Probably. I, yeah, I think I need to go back into the hallway that I just... Yeah, jeez. Man, you know what, FAQ writer? Anyone listening, if you're trying to do anything to help other people, don't, like, halfway through... Just be like, I'm gonna abandon you now for no reason. Oh, cause you should know the way. Like, bitch, I don't want to have to remember the way. Say, That's why I'm reading right. the fucking facts. Say up front, like I'm gonna drop off from giving you advice sometimes, and just leave you completely in the dark, out of nowhere. In a game where the rooms don't have labels and don't have maps, but you know what? Fortunately. I've got it under control and I'll figure it out. Um, it don't, I think I could probably go to the one That's encouraging. This. Well, in, it's the ventilation shafts are the key that binds it all together. Hmm. Oh boy, what was that? Oh jeez. Alright. 
What's um what's popping here? <sighs> Trying to find the control room. Are we uh I would not say we're approaching a Majora's mask situation, <laughs> but I'm I'm saying that I am annoyed. There is a place where it says entrance and control room on the wall. And I'm just trying to find that hallway. There it is. Thank God. Wait, How is that the control room? Annoying. Bubba! Oh, thank God. What's the emergency? I, the emergency is going to murder you. <laughs> Gail just told me he saw someone on the underground monitor. It's Ada Wong. Flash, that would be how dope would that be? Ada! Ada! <laughs> Rick, open the shutter to the underground area. What is it? It's a distress signal from one of our team members. It must be Coop. Oh, it's Coop! Yeah, or it might be Tom. He oh, this or Tom! Posing as one of the researchers. Can you pinpoint the signal? It's coming from outside of the building. To the east of the rear entrance we came in from. Look, we'll deal with it later. Our first priority is the survivor in the underground. It could be the doc. What are you talking about? He's asking for our help. We don't leave our own behind. And what if it's a trap? Would you want one of us to come and rescue you? Don't bother. I'm willing to take that risk. Remember our mission. We're not here to babysit. That's your way of operating, not mine. What? <laughs> Back to typing! Right. What? You have your access to the underground, Gail. So get moving. You handle your things your way, I'll handle my thing. My what? Yeah, Wesker. Your thing and my thing? Oh, that punk is really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Is this guy gonna end up you being know, like Wesker? Heading out to investigate the it like it's certainly broadcasting that yeah, really heavy trying to, like, yeah. Uh, I now have to investigate the underground. Oh, whoa! Choose the idea you believe in. What does it say to do? That's cr that's cool. If you choose Rick's method, then it will be faster. So choose Rick's method. That's what we're doing obviously. Save the frames, baby. <laughs> All right, how do we do it? If you choose this method from the choice screen, then the game will take you to the map and prompt you to go to the area where the game began from originally. Oh, no. Guess what? It's time for now I think you should know about how to get there. Okay. So make your way there ASAP. Wait, did they say that? Again? Yes. yes. Oh my god. What an absolute prick. <laughs> so basically go back to where the game began again. Ignoring any and all dinosaurs on the way. Once you reach the backyard, you will see Rick enter through a through a as of yet unexplored door. There's gonna be dinosaurs along the way. That's what it says. Can I use my ammo to make more ammo? I have no idea. Mm, no, I don't. I think I can only mix. Oh, poison dart, maybe. I don't see any dinos yet. <laughs> All right, back to the, back to the start of the game. Yep. Backyard of the facility. Yep. Classic. When you reach the backyard, that is when. Are you in the backyard? I'm in the backyard of the facility. You will see Rick th through an as of yet unexplored door. That's as of yet unexplored. Nope. You should see Rick enter through the, through a as of yet unexplored door. It was behind the place where the three were standing when the game began. Here's the backyard. Okay, there we go. There you go. Good, good, good. <laughs> Do 
Whoa. Oh, snap. Jesus. Keep on busting. Whoa. Keep on busting. Whoa. Woo. There you go. Woo. Not even a nip. Okay. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, Whoa. You will Dude, see I made it this far when I was young. I remember fighting these guys. That's crazy. And I remember it sucked. Oh, it just fucking... Dude, it just fucking tore the ass wow. out of her. Oh, shit. Danger. Match the things. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that was great. Did she drop her gun? Do I have to go back it and pick like it up? It looked like it. I do have to go back and pick it up. That's interesting. They kill when the scene, the flying dino will knock her on Gene Downey, fall back, flashing danger, get out of nowhere, smart from after the buttons to escape the death claws of the dino. He also called serious damage. Once you're back in control, first head back for your gun and take it off the ground. Even if you only have a dropper one or a single gun, all the guns from your inventory will have been will have disappeared, so be sure to pick it up. Uh, run in zigzag patterns to prevent the flying beasts from causing I any killed serious them, bro. damage. Once you have the gun in hand, run around the control room of uh, on the large elevator in accessible yes via enter the door behind the three side what? Enter the door behind their large size elevator control room. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. I'm here to see him begin. Oh. They came out of nowhere. Didn't have a chance. Is it Dr. Kirk? Tom, can you tell us what's going on here? Kirk's insane. His experiments have nothing to do with energy development. Uh, Tom! <laughs> Here, take this. It's <laughs> a, a used condom. His wounds are pretty bad. We have to move him someplace safe immediately. Get the code disc L. Yep. All right, when back in control, first take the other DDK input disc L from this the nearby desk. Bad. Listen, I'll take I did it. it. Great. Now make your way to the other door in this room. Through it, check the map on the back wall, and you'll find the outdoor map. Great. Got it. Now exit through the door at the other end to enter the passageway to the power room. Passageway to the power room entered. Yep. Immediately head around the large turbine fan on the ground and make your way across the winding path to the door at the far end. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. That was not good. Wow. Did you just get scuffed? Heal right now, please. Oh shit. Oh shit. Make your way across the winding path. To the door at the very end. Then go down the el go down the ladder in front of you and run to the right side of the screen. Here, go down the ladder in front of you. Run to the right side of the screen and take the B1 crane Got card. It. Excellent. Push the shelf near the card to find another hemostat if you want. Then head to the central part of the room to find six big yes. control panels. I got this far when I originally played it. I think this might have been where I gave up. Okay. On each panel, there are three switches. Red, blue, and green. Yeah. They correspond to the colored pipe that they are going to drop. Right. 
What you'll have to do is arrange the pipes in a certain order so that they all reach from one end to the other without interruption. Once you do that, the puzzle will be over. That sounds like a fucking ball sack. Are they going to tell me how to do this? Okay. On one press... Uh, well, wh how are they numbered? Hold up. This... They're like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. So... Got press it. red on panel four. So that's panel four. How do you get this info in the game? I have no idea. Red. I guess probably from just experimentation. Because I, I remember... I think yeah. I must have finished this. Okay, now press green on five. That's five, yep. Press blue on six. Now press red on uh, three. Green on panel two. It's not exactly a hard puzzle, I suppose. And finally, blue on panel one. Finally, blue on Python. Oh no, that's fucking ridiculous. And now we've got this stupid pipe puzzle. If you did the above steps correctly, I did. You, you will then, FAQ. Uh, uh, then the cool pipes elements. will be in the correct order, and you will have another scene in which the elevator generator will come back to power. Great. Der Wilsurmacht. Once you are done with the puzzle gig, make your way back outside of the passage. Because I don't really care about bleeding. Okay. Once you hear another scene will start, Regina will be at attacked by the Petrodons. I think you need to go in there to go back to the fucking passage. Yeah. Wait, hold on. What? Hold on. Mash buttons when danger appears. Mash buttons, mash buttons, mash buttons. It would probably drop her in the turbine. Yep. Oh, cool. Whoa. Yep. They went in the turbine. That's sick. It's a very nice now touch. Now make your way to the large size elevator rope and check the control panel once. Check the control panel just one time. Don't do it twice. It'll feel too nice. After activating, wait, 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 says, check on the control panel once. That is the entirety of the information. Wait, what's the name of the room I need to be in? Large size elevator room. Ah. Ah, capisce. Now check the control panel once. Ah, capisce. Eh, hey, control panel. Ah, si. Hey, I have power it on. After activating it, you will have to go back to Rick and Tom. Rick. Tom. Is Tom a zombie now? This is gonna be like a Will Smith scenario. I'm have access to the elevator outside. Good. Now we can head straight down to the underground. Ugh. Large size elevator will start moving and take the trio down to the carrying out room B. So you saw the beast, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pteranodon, wasn't it? I meant 
you saw that it was a real dinosaur. It's unbelievable. Didn't, didn't I tell you? This is just like that movie. That's a nice shot. Oh, I thought for sure a T Rex was going to come out of there. Okay, so we're now in the next area of the game. Uh oh. Regina. We have to hurry. Tom's not going to last much longer. I'll clear a path by moving these containers. You just keep an eye on Oh, great. A crane move the containers minigame. If there's, dude, if there's one thing that everybody fucking loves, two of these without a doubt in a row, whenever it appears, big mistake. It's to use the crane to move the shit. Big mistake to put two of these in a row. It's a good thing we have an FAQ. Good. A God. control card is required to operate the fucking crane. Check on the control crane panel on the crane. The game will ask you if you want to use the crane. Select yes, and you're on. What? Did I get a crane card at some? Oh, you know what? I bet I have to use the. I did get a crane card. I have to use it. There. All right. So let's see. Okay, I see. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. This is. Hey, it's it's insane. So first choose up. The crane will go up to the top. Did it go up to the top? Then choose down. The crane will come one block down. Yeah. Okay. Down the crow home. Then choose hook. Okay. Now, do whatever you need to do to make that start. Okay. First, choose left. Then choose drop. Then choose up. Then choose down. Then hook. Like, immediately after doing the pipe puzzle, this, th I guarantee this is where I gave up in the game. Oh, Maybe I did the yeah. pipe puzzle and then, th then it was this immediately after it and I was like, are you joking? This is not like a Resident Evil, like, oh, the Bishop Plug puzzle. This is, this is some BS. But, in the modern era, we can just do it like this, and this is fine. Alright, uh, it should be good, right? If I'm just clearing a path, then yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Head back down the elevator, and another scene will start. It's happening. Should I? Will do. Prepare on the to fill my pants. The rest to me. Right. Oh yeah. If Gil gives you any more of his bull, be sure to beat him down for me. Okay? What did he say? <laughs> be sure to beat him down for me. Who, Gail? Yeah. Beat him down. <laughs> yeah. If you see our CO, go beat him down. Yeah, because you know what we really need in this scenario is one less person with a gun. Yeah, beat him <laughs> down. Whoa. Word. After the scene is over, check through the path you just cleared. Check the file for the dead body. Check the dead body for the file. Okay. Completely useless. <laughs> Why did you just tell me to check it then? Take the not-so-powerful darts from the box. 
head through the large doors at the corner to enter the hallway for carrying in materials. Hallway for carrying in materials. Yes. Oh, snap. Chew on this. <laughs> Once you control Gina, you will find yourself in a straight hall. Ignore the electrical shutters on the right side of the screen as they are nothing but useless for us. Ignore the dino here too and enter the door at the very end of the hall to enter hall B1. Okay. This is the same room where the ga where Gale sh where the Gale scene would happen if you chose his way, but we did not. But nonetheless, the shutters are still closed, meaning you cannot check what's on the other side. Once you're in here, run to the medical room hallway door and enter. Done. Once in here, walk a bit forward, and Regina will spot some... Whoa, compies. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, Great. shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> the fact author would like you to know that he thinks that's gross. What? The compies? Yes. Ignore the compies as they're nothing but a small-sized nuisance. Head down the hall and enter the first door you come by. This is the medical room. It is gross. Dude, look at this. Yeah, it's horrible. Blood is seeping out from hundreds of small cuts. Look, the oh, dude, that's a dude, that's, that's a little off raw, bro. the hook. Yeah. That's, oh my god, another angle on it. Oh, dude, that that is great. It really is. That's violent. That's gruesome, and it's a it's a, it's a tore up dinosaur. That is fantastic. That's really good. There's also no reloading in this game, which is really cool. Is it the music room? <laughs> I think Regina's is a bit of a psycho. <laughs> And no, not because she's a woman, because she's just a like, oh, dinosaur. Regina will please. find Rick standing in the doorway. Wait, 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 where am I going? Into the medical room? Wait, once in here, another student will start. Rick will find another. Once in where? And time to upon it. It doesn't matter. Are you in the medical room? No. I'm going into the medical room right um, now. That, that's gross. You know the compies? This is nothing but small size. Susan's head down the hall and to the first door you come by. This is the medical room. Rick. Oh, shocker. He's dead. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's the fault of the dinosaur that slashed the shit out of him before you even found him. That was the guy that videoed us in the intro of the game, I think. Got it popping. I'll take the key card from the desk in, or, uh, in front of where you... I got an ID card. Is it Sandy? Um... Instead, of take the key card, but it's probably the same thing. Probably. From the desk in front of where you are and read the file nearby for some more information about this key card you just picked up. The card will come in handy for us at the very I end. I can seriously not take Tom's Uzi. <laughs> I'll tell you that in advance. Now check the medical cabinet inside or besides the table with the card, and you'll find a med pack M if you want. Check the adjoining office where Tom's body is, and here you'll find two small boxes on the shelf. You cannot open them now. God damn it. But later you will find a key which will let you open one of them. Now exit out of the medical room since this is a uh, since this is a save room, you can save the game here. So it suggests doing that. This is only the second save room I think we've found in the yeah. game. Also extremely difficult. Okay. So now from here we're gonna take a brief intermission. And we are back with a playthrough of Kickle Cubicle for NES. <laughs> We're going to play this followed by Snow Bros. And Balloon Fight. Uh, we're going to play uh, Rainbow Island, the actual sequel to Bubble Bobble. Not Bubble Bobble 2, but Rainbow Island was the sequel to Bubble Bobble. I think Bobble. that's better than Bubble Bobble 2. Uh, I really barely ever played Bubble Bobble 2. In fact, I... Let's say Bubble Bobble again. Bubble Bobble. <laughs> All right, what's Remember, back? if I'm not mistaken, the last boss of Bubble Bobble is named Grumple Gromit. <laughs> I don't know if that's a Mandela effect thing that I made up or if it's true, but I no, believe the, the last boss is in the sand crawler in a Star Wars New Hope say that too. But Grumple Gromit? Yeah. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they say that. All right, Regina go, Grumple Gromit. is Grumple Gromit. grieving for Tom and his Mac 10. 
It's a very sad day for all of us. All right. So now Regina Very needs, sad day for Tom and Indeed we the World. We now are looking for You have to go back the to the MC hallway. Once back device. in the hallway, turn to Regina's left. Now turn to the left. Now turn to the left. There's my best friend. He's good. Let's get another look at that. That hot dino. Dino action. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Go to Regina's left and continue down the hall. Head up the stairway and you'll enter the control room hall. That is one of the more violent it's pretty good, dude. images. It's almost like because it's a dinosaur, we accept that it's like so ultra violent, but that is like extreme violence. Dude, this is like whole rib cage is like paired apart and shit. It's pretty good. All right, the once here, ignore the control room for now. Oh, bro, as Brick has no bro. new information for us and head straight for the management office. Hold on, I'm gonna just use this med. It's not necessary to use it now because I'm at full HP. Word to that. But check this out. I'm gonna do a little mix and match. I'm, I'm gonna mix it up. This I'm, is I'm, very complicated. I'm cooking it in the K-Chan. Boom, I got more med packs. All right, let's go. Look at this, this is a beautiful stairwell. It's got this red trim and stuff. You turn around, there's a duct work. Like, they probably looked at magazines, went to offices and stuff to be able to figure this out. All right, where am I going? You didn't, you didn't listen to my instructions before. I got in Head I was straight for the management office. I think that's this. Nope. No. Ah. Sack. I said, you said ignore the control room. That's the control room where Rick is. You don't want to interact with Rick. No one wants to interact with Rick. Head straight for the management office. Rick, please be management office. Thank God. Management office where you can get managed. <laughs> oh boy. In here, it's exit bloody. out the other way. Save your game if you wish. It's bloody as fucking sin in here. What are you? What are you up to? Oh, I'm checking out this guy. Oh, cool. He has been it is really before, nice so. how the camera just zooms in and that out and is, stuff. Well, it's like that. That's only pretty advanced for a PlayStation here. game. It's pretty really. advanced for a PlayStation game. I'm grieving. <laughs> and I'm grieving. I'm grieving. How I grieve. On a jet plane. <laughs> I'm a good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a shitty place to grieve. Not ideal. No. Will you save your progress up to this point? Sh sure. Sure. Absolutely. I will override the data. Should I safety save? Will that be necessary? I, would, I think you should safety save. You think I should? Yeah. Safety save with your friend named Dave. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, are you in the management office hallway? I think so. Turn to Regina's left and turn around the bend. Done. And I was ready with my gun okay. out. Also, you can walk with your gun out in this game. We haven't talked about that. Can't do that in RE2. That is or cool. Or RE4 for that matter. Uh, right, you can. In yeah. this game, you can... You can't run. That's but nice. you can walk while you shoot. Because Regina knows... Enter the door at the end of the hall. Ignore the other door as it's completely useless. Like, it also can be like yeah, this guy then editorializes, believe me. Like, dude, I would not be reading your fact if I felt that Believe you were, like, a, not a truth teller. Believe me. I'm in the strategy room! What, what? Oh my god, thank what, god. What? Okay, what, you'll what? find plenty of key items in here. You'll also find, uh, let's see, take the, alright, there's a DD, god, dude, seriously? I got the DDK. Dude, Dino Crisis might as well be called DDK Code Crisis. That's what- It's really, it's really a little out of hand, dude. Like, um, like, gee, there's- all right, well. There's really a lot of DDK code discs. I feel like I have said that phrase so many times. I got the FC device, bro. Oh, thank God. Uh, Did you get the DDK code disc E? I had, I'm pretty sure I'm going around the table. And he also <laughs> adds, we will use this later. Oh, will we? Is that why we're picking it up to use it later? That's... I got the DDK code disc E. I got the Diamond Dallas page code disc P. <laughs> Multipass. Check the um, check the box for a plug. And I use got it the on plug. the item box you buy if you wish to. And Rick method. Why not? I'll I'll stick a plug in it. <laughs> I'll I'll plug it. Wow, is that is that really? Oh man, 
you're gonna love what we do next. You're gonna love it. Oh, oi, oi, who are you calling a slag? Oh, oi, these is just my bullets. They ain't gotta be called slag bullets just cause they is All right, mine. Boris. Just All cause, right, Boris. oi, just cause they is mine does not mean they is slag bullets. All right. Ah. Uh, no, just let me know when you're ready to 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 be filled in on the the great thing that you're gonna do next. Oh, I was not trying to be filled in like that. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I is not. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Just go eat some hemostat. Uh, wait. Fucking hell. Oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? I, I'm i having a surprise because I'm thinking- You're having a crisis right now. It's not a dino crisis, it's an item crisis. The worst kind. I prefer dino Oh, there crisis. we go. What the fuck? Like, this- this interface that we're looking at there Garbo. is a, that is a pile of fucking shit. Yeah, right? it's like, the, somebody looked at that and was like, oh, we did a good job. You know what? You didn't. You, did, you, you didn't. didn't. You, you did not. That person is not in the games industry someone. anymore. Someone. <laughs> Whoever made the menus, the item menus in this game, not the person who did the item system in Resident Evil 2. Uh, and probably, Dude. again, it looks like, like a Jurassic is Park Is this computer. Windows 3.1 or something? It's, it's horrible. It is so confusing. It's I'm so bad, glad you're holding bad, the controller bad, and not bad, me bad, because bad, I would have gotten bad. frustrated with this quite some time oh, ago. Well, it's a good thing that I understand the people who make <laughs> these menus. Are, are you ready to hear what you need to do? The great thing that you must Let's do. Let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> go back to the main entrance. <laughs> okay, okay. Does it give any other instruction? No. No, oh, it says where the stairs take you to the second floor, but don't go to the second floor. Well, I went into the toilet. <laughs> Instantly. Perfect. That's excellent. Uh, but you know what? I might be able to get there pretty easily with the ventilation opening. Piping check passageway B1F. Like, pi like again, that's like a, definitely it's like a Japanese translation. Piping check passageway is like, the I'm sure, the direct kanji that were on there. And somebody used their, like, kanji first year book <laughs> to be like, oh, piping check passageway. Lecture room hallway. Okay, this is more acceptable, but piping check passageway is not. Oh, boy. I, I mean, accurate at the very least. I will say there's not, like, a hell of a lot of tension because there are not a hell of a lot of dinosaurs. But I still think it's atmospheric and fun, and it's still a fun adventure. Like, I don't need the dinosaurs I mean, all help. over the place. All right, here's the elevator room. Can I get this This dude's... Are, are, are you in the elevator room? I am in the elevator room. Yeah, can I use the FC okay, this, device to get his fingerprints? Yeah, the there will be a scientist, but okay, yeah. Well, get next to the body and use the FC device. Oh, I'm, get, I'm in the right place. I got his fingerprint data. I collected it. Oh, my God. Excellent. All right, well, I didn't go what to the main entrance. Surprise. I didn't even go to the main entrance. I went where you need to go. Now what? That, that's great. Okay. Um, now we need to just find this code on terminal. Take the door on the right side to the lecture room hallway, and from here, Boom. take the first door into the office. All right. And then he says, remember, I told you to keep an eye out for the notice on the notice board. Read it, and it will this guy's. Great. It will. <laughs> great. Pr nice, nice fucking proofreading. All right. Well, fortunately, I know that we need to go here and use the computer because this is where we were. All right. I'm glad. I'm glad that it tells you all this and it does not give you a prompt to use it. That is 2022 life <laughs> where it's like, I'm so used to it being like, would you like to use this thing? Even Resident Evil is like, would you like to use okay, this? Okay, so now enter uh, 58104. Five, eight, one, oh, four. That was a terrible melody. What, what the computer just played? No, what you were, what you were singing. Entering I wasn't five, even singing. Oh, really? I thought it was a five. No, no, that was just, it's, well, that's it was why too, it was, it was terrible. Atonal, it was that's atonal. why it was terrible because I was just moaning. <laughs> oh. God. I really like that the um, the ports on that computer look like they're curved, weirdly, because of the way that like they rendered, they rendered this, look at this model. Look at CD-ROM drive. Look at that like, CD-ROM drive, dude. It's what we're looking at is pixel art, but it's not. But it is. It's just really low res polys. <laughs> is what it is. 
Like I can count the number she of triangles in that. She took that hand. filthy, bloody corpse and she stuck his hand into that machine that looks like it's the Nitro Fifties. Oh, Paul, good old Paul Baker. Will I rewrite the? Will I? I will erase Paul Ra Baker's. That's it, Paul. That's that great, is a great, great sound. Great sound. That's a great sound. Sample that. <laughs> Yo, y'all gonna hear that dubstep on the <laughs> drop floor? Wow, wow. Now we can go use the elevator. Go to the elevator hall. Check the elevator Boom. with the green panel. Go to the hold up. Go to the elevator hall. Is that where we just were? I wish it said where the elevator hall was. Check and do what with the green panel? Now we can go use that elevator. Yeah. Go to the elevator hall and check the elevator with the green panel. Thanks to the ID card, it should open. Uh, okay. Uh, I wish it said where the elevator... Oh, EV... That says EV hall. Yeah. I, I, that, I don't think it means... I don't think it stands for Tesla, so... I think you're probably right. Oh, uh, oh here we go. I oh, have heard snap. that Regina was a lover of Elon Musk at one dark point in her life. She seems kind of like it. She seems like the type. She seems like she'd like to get musky with the Musk man. <laughs> Absolutely. I have, think she probably has more respect for her body than that. <laughs> I would like to hope so. Oh, oh snap. snap. Is he going to drop from here with me? He better not. Oh, God. Really? Jeez Louise. Dude, she really takes a lot of fucking... She takes a lick and keeps on kicking. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Oh, he's back. Dunzo. Two <laughs> hits. That's awesome. It's over. It's over. You are no longer threat neutralized. Once you're out of the elevator, quickly head for the DDK lock on the double doors oh, in front of you. Oh my good dude. Lord. DDK fucking crisis, dude. I'm telling you. Well, Dino Crisis uh, <laughs> would be DK. You should have the both. You should have both the L DDKs from the area where you found Tom. All right. All right where, uh, I'm, where am I putting those? Now you'll see a new kind of code, one with Wait, numbers well, in it uh, rather than uh, alphabets. Uh, I see. <laughs> you'll see a new kind of code, one with numbers in it rather than alphabets. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, gee, you gotta... See here. Alright, what's the what's password, bruh? Laboratory. Really? Yep. Yeah. Laboratory. <laughs> That's, you know, InfoSec would not be happy with them. No, that's bad wow. OPSEC. <laughs> Alright, I'm going through the door. I'm in main hallway B1, baby. In here, you'll immediately hear the noise the raptors make. But run forward and you'll see an electric fence. See, the two raptors here can be a nuisance. You can kill them for the safety of the fence with a handgun once you're done, or even if you want to kill them to the fence, you can dash through and ignore the door Whoa. right in front and instead turn around. Okay, cool. To the uh, right hand corner. Super into this. Put him down. I love how she holds it one handed. That's so good. Haha, bitch. This is for Tom. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My boo! Dude. Oh, I burned my boobs. See how much I paid for these? My doctor's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> the dude just fell over. The awesome. di dinosaur was like, what the fuck is that? Turn the fence off and make a dash for it. What does that mean? Why do I need to make a dash Ignore for it? the door right in front and instead turn around the corner. Okay. Turn around the right hand corner. Then left. Here's another fence. Just equipping the shotgun for safety. Alright, here's another fence. Got it. Here's another fence. Open it and close it from the other side so the falling raptors will be left prayless. Well, the dead raptors, because I yes. murder all of them. I probably could just use a med pack given that I have so many. It's not necessarily. You got a surplus of meds right now? I have so many meds and I have full health. That's good. That's good. I'm in the computer room. 
Soy en el cuarto del computador. At the end of the hallway use the door is a door with a red box on the wall. Uh, spare plugs, open it because this one has awesome ammo in it, namely slag and SG shells for your shotgun. Uh, the baby wait, 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 hold up, hold up. All right, so you're in the computer. A supercomputer is installed on the wall. This computer is used to simulate the energy efficiency of the third energy. Should I know what the third energy is? Uh, I've I'm going to go out on a limb and say no. The plot. Experimental area. Wait, what? Will you Just release head around the, lock? the computers to the other end of the room and exit through the door. Enter the area number to be released. Oh, shit. All right, I'm quitting it. Hold up. Just head around the computers I'm, to the other end I'm of the room it. and exit through the door. I'm doing it. Okay. So I don't need to do anything with picking up slag bullets or whatever. I mean, you can if you want to go back out from the. Oh, I don't. Room. I got the screwdriver. I probably needed that. Oh my god! Did it mention the screwdriver no, at all? No, it did not. Are you serious? I'm serious. That makes me really doubt. I got, did it mention the plug? Nope. But it mentioned SG bullets. Maybe this is an easy normal thing. All right. So the next place I need to go after this room is the name of the room after computer room or research whatever. area hall. You save your progress up to this point. I will. Boldly. Exit back out into the research area hall. Research area hall. Entering. Run forward and unlock the shutter. Done. Then enter the first door you come across. Meeting room. meeting room. Excellent. <laughs> oh, what do you know? It's a DDK disc. Oh, yeah, dude. I got the DDK input disc E. So stupid. S dude. <laughs> this game loses points for just dude, endless this, DDK It loses this that. game. Like, right now, like, if I were reviewing it, it would be losing the most points for the nauseatingly fucking extreme usage. Of the DDK. Hey, could you guys come up with anything that was less motivating and more? Like I understand that, like the heart key and the spade key is sure, like sure, but you like know, DDK disc E B C. No, it's dumb. It's. I would much rather have a spade key and like that's a diamond. That's fun key. and interesting. I don't know if it's fun and interesting, but it's definitely. I think it's interesting. I think having I think having chess pieces as keys is cool and suits. Oh, you mean like the rook plug? Yeah, 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 the yeah, bishop yeah, the plug. plug, bishop plug. Okay, did you get the DDK input disc E? I've got a, I have a, I've got a Did rook. you check on the shelf in the corner to find another plug? I have a rook plug in me right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now check the blue Beat lighted corner. Beat the Caesar! Did you, <laughs> now, did you check kidding, the blue lighted corner of the central table? I checked. It will inform you of a yes. lock code, which is 7248. Right, yeah. The so. door behind you is locked by the computer. It cannot be opened normally. Check the yellow file before exiting. If yeah. you want, now go back to the computer room. I am going back to the research area hall. En route. Enter 7248. Where? In the computer room? Yeah. I'm in the computer room. That's excellent. That's excellent. That's fantastic. Now, let's see where there's a place to put uh, code in, though. You were just oh, looking at it a second ago. Oh, I was, wasn't I? It was this this yep. little fella right here. <laughs> That's your boy. 7248. It's my gang number two. Are you a crip? Or a blood? Uh, my lawyer has advised me not to answer that on the grounds of incriminating myself to the other organizations. That's understandable. Where am I going? I I entered the code. Okay, now before actually check the yellow file on the terminal we just used and it'll tell you some new advanced kind. Oh my god. If you check the yellow file near the terminal that you just used to enter that number, it will tell you of some new advanced kind of DDK coding. <laughs> Okay, exit back to the research area hall and make your way to the research meeting room. DDK, the electronic lock system of this oh facility, my God, has been updated. Stop. A more intricate code system has been introduced which improves the level of security. You will need to be aware of the following information when entering the password. Oh my fucking God. 
It's it's DDK stands for Dad Dad Key. <laughs> <laughs> Like, dude. Why is he yelling at me? Save data. Yes. <laughs> if you would imagine playing Memory this card, why? on launch. I did. No facts, nothing. I, yeah, and why do you think I never that, finished and it? seeing that DDK shit and knowing that if you wanted a prayer of beating or playing through the game, you needed to pay attention to it and figure out what the fuck This was game saying. is unbeatable without an FAQ. <laughs> so I'm not I I understand why I've never finished it now, but I think I think that it's this insane. is not a reason to not play this game because you need an FAQ and this game is still great. Where it's, am I going? It's not a reason not where to play. Am I, where am I going? You're going back to the room you were in just in before. Where, I am. where you got the DDK disc, you're going back there. Oh word. Okay. With the research meeting room. Yeah. This time take the door on the back wall. Oh, okay, this time take your dad. To the back wall. <laughs> oh, it opened the gas experiment room. Oh that's boy! What my, oh boy! That's uncomfortable. That's what my bedroom is every night. After run forward and through barbecue. the glass, you'll see that there's a live scientist trapped in the gas chamber. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Heavens. Whoa! 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 Too soon. <laughs> God. <laughs> No, oh, there he is. Um, what indicates to me that he's alive? He looks pretty dead. I think he's moving a little bit. There are three buttons. One will gas this man. <laughs> the other. All right. Just what's the what's the first solution? press For red poison, first. Poison level. First press red. Will this kill this asshole? Did you press red? Yes, I did. Now press green. Green. Now press blue. Blue. He will die and I will get game over if I do this wrong. Now press green. Green. Now, I think we're now press him. blue. Blue. Okay, the meter's going down. Now press red. Red. The meter went down to zero. Success. I think this man will live. That's he, good. He looks a lot like Tom. Dr. Styles, that's good. Oh, she's gonna finally make a living friend. I've wanted this for her since she was like eight. You're gonna be okay. What happened? Oh God! God! He's got COVID. I, 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 dude, I bet he's not gonna be okay. Well, he's Who got COVID. are you talking about? What are you planning, Kirk? I'm here with the rescue team. Where is Doctor Kirk? Here. This will give you access to his personal. Wow. Personal lab. <laughs> oh, it's personal lab. He didn't make it. Uh, you gave me some like RAM. Awesome. Thanks for the RAM. It's DDR2. <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the free RAM. <laughs> Look at this asshole. What a dick. Oh, I got a small size key on him. Sup emergency case. Surprise, surprise that it's small size on this guy. Just kidding, listeners. It's the motion in the ocean. <laughs> Alright, now exit. Whether you've got a small wang or a clit the size of a pie, <laughs> do just fine. Oh, God! <laughs> a clit the size of a pie. <laughs> Yikes. Oh god, he's gonna eat the body of Dr. What is, what's his face? Dude. Dr. Dude. Dr. Dad. Dr. Dad, yeah. It, like, the suspenseful music is playing, but like, that was it. You can increase the, the gas to kill the raptor. That's awesome. That's obviously happening. Yeah! Oh my god. Dude, that is very That's satisfying. Awesome. That is very satisfying. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, I wish I'd gotten him to die right on top of the dude, but it does look like a Romeo and Juliet style <laughs> that situation. You see that, yeah. and that's what you think of. I see Romeo and Juliet. I see in Fair Verona these star crossed <laughs> lovers 
They, they're what fucking like yonder window fucking window. breaks, dude. It is the east, <laughs> and Velociraptor is the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, my! That whole story is like, oh my dad doesn't. <laughs> my, my dad won't let me have a play date with you. <laughs> my dad won't let us fuck. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now exit your way back to the research area hall. That was, that was a very fun. Dude, that was excellent. That was an excellent little sequence. Very fun little sequence. That was a great little sequence. I think it's regrettable that it's regrettable it had to happen in a gas chamber. <laughs> That's like, what's is the next great vignette going to happen? Are, are you in, in the research? <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> Just, <laughs> it's not going to happen in, in fucking in section 731. I thought it was going to happen in like two very similarly shaped tall buildings. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at Oh, dude, he's okay, creeping. Okay, he's creeping. Okay. See, all right. There, the enemies, maybe, maybe in normal mode they're a threat, but like they don't really show up enough to be a threat. They're not really around. I feel like there's a good amount of them. There's a good amount of them. I feel like we've seen like 10 raptors in this game. Just in the last 30 seconds, we've seen three. Well, it so been, it's definitely been more than that. It's been like four. Yeah, so All I right. turn off the fence. They're dead. They're like extraordinarily dead. I love that she doesn't have to reload. Go to the very end of the hall and then the door at the end. You want to pray that it says library room when you when you go in there. I don't need to pray. It's gonna say it. Okay. That's right. And that's why I'm not superstitious. Because of dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's mix it up. Are you in the library room? Uh, yes. Check I'm the box in front of you for a med pack. M. I'm trying. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try mixing two anal aids. Oh, great! They gave me three anal dart S's. I don't want any of those anal darts. That um. I can't believe you're leaving. I don't want the anal darts. They're fucking waste. All right. What are you in World of a terminal Time to yeah. manage the information of key chips that are used to open data storage. You can put a key chip oh and use a data storage. Oh my god. Do, what? What? Is something bad happening? Oh, key. Oh, B one key chip. Should I use it? Use B one key chip. Should I overwrite the B one key chip start data? With a small puzzle. First, the computer will ask you to enter a number, which okay. is thirty six ninety five. Oh shit. Oh cool. All right. That's how many lovers I've had. <laughs> <laughs> That? Yes, this is oh, a puzzle. Oh, Lord in heaven, dude. I mean, I can do this. All right, do you, do you see it over here? Empty, white, empty, empty, white, white, empty, white. Don't make a joke. <laughs> here. <laughs> it's halfway out of my mouth already. <laughs> empty, white, <laughs> empty, empty. Empty, white, empty, empty, white, white. It was empty white, empty, empty, white, white, empty, white. <laughs> empty white, empty, empty, white, white, empty, white. Yep. Empty white, empty, empty, white, white, empty white, empty white, empty, empty, white, white, empty white. <laughs> this is seriously, that's bad. It's gonna end up so far. So far, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Nation. <laughs> okay. No, that empty white, empty, so, empty, white, white. So far, white. this game loses the most points for its ridiculous fucking puzzles. Oh yeah, oh for sure. Like I like I. All right, empty white, empty, empty white, white. It doesn't tell you how to do this puzzle either. Empty white, empty, empty white, white, empty white. Empty white, empty, empty white, white. Empty, it it white. literally says you have to handle it on your own. <laughs> I think I got it, dude. Empty white, empty, empty yeah. white, white, empty white. <laughs> I'm dude. I'm your dad. I'm dad. Hey, anybody watching this who needs a dad, guess what? I won't be yours, <laughs> but I am one. <laughs> so, I hope you know. 
That didn't after serve you finish any this, <laughs> after you finish this puzzle, the computer will tell you that the data storage is complete, and it will mark the library locker which we just opened up. Run around the library and find the unlocked locker with the green light on it. Open it with the key chip, and inside you'll find key card R. Like, dude, I'm oh sorry. My, this so is so not creative. This, dude, this is just too many. Whoa, 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 whoa. A critical hit will inflict tremendous damage. This is like, dude, this is just fucking pissed. It's too many key card items. Like, there seriously have been so many different keys, key card items, DDK keys. I it's agree. Just, it's absolutely look, ridiculous. Dude, look at the handgun with the sight on it, though. It actually changes the model to put a sight on it. That's hard as fuck. That's word. That's hard as fuck. I love that. Um, I absolutely agree. I think it's ridiculous that this game, the keys, the keys in this game, the puzzles, they're a mess. They're you're confusing. But but they, graphically, I would give this game top marks for PS. This for a is PSX this is game. a great this looking PlayStation game. Top this marks, game, dude. I really, I bet this game looks pretty great on Dreamcast. All right, what does it say? Is, All there is a port of this for Dreamcast. Apparently. Oh, but wait, we did we find it was never that. released? We found out it was it was I canceled. Bet I, find, I bet I can uh, find it. We found out it was canceled. If it was finished, I bet it's out there. Uh, all data storage is electronically locked. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, 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 oh I shit with the, the fucking key. key card L. Or key I card to, R. I have to set the key card L. Oh, no, oh, no. You open it with the key chip, and inside you find key card R because you already have key card L. Like, gee, I don't even know what I just said, but I know that it's fucking ridiculous. I have key card R. Now you have key card R and L. Got it. You have keycard R and L. Yes, and there was a memo. Dear Paul, <laughs> I finally found the clue. I finally found the clue. This is the keycard that you need to enter his secret lab. The only chance to enter it is during tonight's experiment. Obtain the other keycard without hesitation, because that's how people talk to each other. Without hesitation. Obtain the other keycard. You need to obtain it without the hesitation. The other keycard is in the chief's room. I heard the secret codes for the hidden safe are written on the panel keys. Now. If we find Dude, out where the laboratory is, everything will be solved. I was to decipher this shit with just based on the information that the game was providing me. I would have blown my I, fucking brain I mean, brain I never. This is this is NES level complexity. <laughs> like this is like Legacy of the Wizard. Dude, yeah, this has the level. obtuseness. Le this oh. uh, this this is as obtuse as back Sanity. Yo, I, for, dude, yeah, like, this it's is ridiculous. So confusing. Where am I going? I, I, I did everything. All right, there'll be a file inside. Exit the locker before exiting the library. Check around the row of lockers. Admit them, you'll find handgun parts. Got the handgun parts, parts all them. done. Equip them if you use the handgun off and return back to the research area hall. Returning to research area hall. Yep. Make your way back to the compute room. Oh, shit. I should Oh, I should block those over. Oh, I should block that. Him a lesson. <laughs> God, that was so dramatic to be over so quick. Well, it's over so quickly because it's on easy. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, I'm sure those dudes take more than two shotgun shells in the other mode. I, I wonder if I would be annoyed if we were playing it on normal and it was requiring. If you had. Like, right now, it seems like you're not really managing your ammo or anything at all. No. I feel like if we had to be doing that, it would be a real fucking hassle. I feel like this game is, like, I, I feel I, I, you need to get to know this game on easy because it's so confusing. I would, dude, I would never try to speed run this until I learned the whole route and everything on easy dealing with all these ddk keys i'm Dude, in the computer room by it's, the way seriously it's making my fucking brain it's hurt. insane i'm in i'm in the computer room bro all right once here you'll notice that there is a map on the wall near where you came in from just now and there are two slots on either side head to either one and use either one of the r or l key cards oh yeah I'll, i love using slots <laughs> That's I invest heavily in casino properties. Will I call Gale? I don't want to call Gale. You're gonna have to. Gale, I finally bitch made ass. It to the entrance of the doctor's lab. Good work. The door looks like it I'm needs doing literally two people everything. working in tandem to unlock it. Sit tight. I'll be right there. Like you didn't tell him where you were. So what's our status? <laughs> Here, take this. <laughs> Ready? This is Harry Potter. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Oh my god. 
<coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> Whoa. Wait. Shh. Oh my god. All right, great. It's another DDK situation, dude. Regina would never, never in a million years. You wake up from a dream and you're trying to hook up with me. You better apologize. <laughs> You'll see a door behind it. The door has a DDK lock on it, bro. It sure does. I'm setting, I will set the DDK. The password's energy. Dude, look at what we're looking at. <laughs> Oops. Misspelled. <laughs> That's when I have a cybernetics company, that's what I'll be selling. I'll be like, new by the Energine. <laughs> new from Fleshlight. Energine. It'll really get your motor running. Energine, coming soon to a cal door near you. Bingo. Dude, there's no one alive now who knows what the fucking cal door is. That's okay. They, if they're not, if they don't, then they're not old enough to buy Energine anyway. <laughs> Energine purchases are meant for Energine users ages thirty nine and up. <laughs> it's very specific. Here, take this. It's very, very specific. It's because of some of the laws of American Samoa. <laughs> specific laws surrounding virtual. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Real Doll has such a contentious relationship. <laughs> if you go to realdoll.com, you try to try to sign up, you'll notice out of that drop down list of countries, American Samoa is not there. Are you serious? It's that, is, that is a shame. It's that a, is an affront to the dignity of the proud people of American Samoa. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, they deserve to bang who they want. <laughs> Even if it's a doll. What are you talking about? American Samoa fucking <coughs> get down on the real doll. <laughs> and who doesn't get down on the real doll? Apparently American Samoa doesn't. Yeah, they're It's a really tense situation. <laughs> <laughs> That's diplomatic yeah, fucking. I can't get into that. Oh boy. There. Is it from the movie Sphere starring Tim Sharon Stone. Jackson. Sharon Stone is also in Sphere. And Dustin Hoffman. And is Sharon that the Stone. Three of them? Is it Sharon Stone? It's Sharon Samuel Stone, Jackson, Dustin Hoffman. Hoffman, Samuel Jackson, Dustin Hoffman, Sharon Stone, Liev Schreiber. Liev, that's that was the odd one out. That was the fucking. That was the one I couldn't think of. Liev Schreiber. Except the movie sucks compared to the book, which is awesome. The book is fucking fantastic. The movie is garbo, which, dude. Which should I play? Press? Movie is garbo. Which is such a shame because everyone was so hard up on like Michael Crichton's dick after Jurassic Park and shit. Remember they tried to make the all those movie fucking is garbo because you can't have a giant squid in your movie and not show the giant squid. The giant squid shows up in the book, is in the book, and kills people. Oh, dude, it's cannot... dude, it's living large, dude. It is it is absolutely there's, severe. There's the sea snake is really good. I got obs I got obsessed because of that book and movie. I got obsessed with sea snakes. Oh my god, to an alarming degree. Right, you got anyway. obsessed with sea snakes. Because of that? I, I was I got obsessed with Michael Crichton books because right. of that. Not so, sea snakes. Oh my god. What year was that? Like ninety six ish. Um so to the point where, yeah, I had to um I wrote a song to the tune of this other old American standard about sea snakes that was then <laughs> selected by among like 60 kids to be the song that they would all perform. 
what? for the other classes. What? So they performed this song that I had written that essentially was like a parody of an old American standard about sea snakes. <laughs> you, uh, can, we, and, can we get some of the lyrics? Uh, um, no. Oh, no. that is a fucking, that is a letdown. But, no, no we, we, we cannot because you do not wish it or because it's not possible because you forgot. We cannot because I do not wish it. Because this song is so the uh, the standard is too cheesy for this, and I'm not going to start singing some ridiculous hyper cheesy. <laughs> so it's more. So what American you're saying song. is that it's more cringe than funny. Uh, I don't think so. Because I don't think that anything. I I think I think <laughs> I, I think I I think that uh, managing to have <laughs> no. I think it's fine, but I just would I, I would I would prefer I to fine. not actively relive that <laughs> in this format. Okay. But simply to to illustrate how extreme my obsession with that animal was because of sphere. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um where <laughs> what are we doing right? I need to press switches alpha beta or which what is this epsilon are you in the experiment simulation room I, I think so probably okay and here a small scene will happen the small scene will happen which will trigger a flashback and we'll talk about sphere well that didn't happen that didn't happen I did not have a, <laughs> did not have flashback Regina will oh wait <laughs> you're talking about okay Regina will <laughs> All right, yeah, keep going. Which switch will I press? Re Regina will see a simulation of the third energy here, or aka sphere, but yeah. it soon disappears. Besides that, there is no Kirk in this room either, so check the red file nearby to read Kirk's personal journal on the far side of the room. Push the shelf aside and you will find some handy parts for your shotgun. Did whoa, you do whoa, that? whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, dude. Back on up. I was waiting for you because I was waiting for you to tell me what to do with this switch. I didn't tell you what to do. I with know, that I know, I know. So there's his journal, which I was just mentioning. All right, now right, continue, blah, blah. please, because I need to know where to get these shoddy parts. Oh, okay. they're behind this shelf. Holy shit! Oh, fucking dad! Oh, snap! Wow, the time lag for reloading is eliminated. <laughs> Um, there is no reloading in this game. Does it mean the time between shots? Probably, but is eliminated? Is, I, again, Wait, horribly so translated. Are they suggesting that now I have a machine gun shotgun <laughs> where I just hold, hold LR1 That's how it and, X, and it just will fire That's shoddy rounds endlessly? That's well, I will tell you this. I have a suspicion that adding this will give me some ammo, but maybe it won't. So well, you're thinking of how re how attaching the handgun parts. Yes, will give you a new. But that's a whole because new there's mag. reloading, and that doesn't happen with this. So let's just do it. It's okay, fitted cool. with the stock. All right, fantastic. Does it change the look? Oh, it does change the look. Look at that oh stock. Oh my god, dude! Oh, oh, look at that shoddy. Oh, dude, yeah. Energon is fucking rocking some serious uh, guns. Uh, dude, Energon <laughs> as energized investors. <laughs> And you need to get in. Bullish, dude. Bullish on Energine. VC bro. firms Bullish everywhere on want in on Energine. I am I am booked <laughs> solid with meetings. You are lucky you got me here this week. Because Energine is popping the fuck off. All right. You know those rings that you wear? You got to wear one on your pinky on both hands. And then it gives you the magnetic. Uh, Energine does all that shit. <laughs> All of it. All of it. <laughs> That's what it does. All of it. You don't have to wear that shit on your pinkies all day. Just put your dick in that thing once in a while. You are good to go. Throw those rings out. I'm destroying that industry. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fucking disruptor. I'm, I'm a disruptor. I'm a disruptor. Dude, that's what VCs like to hear. They like to hear that you're a fucking I'm a a disruptor. disruptive technology. I'm going to be like, all right, everyone in the room who's wearing those magnet rings on their hands, raise your hand. And I'm going to be like, now throw them the now fuck throw out. Them the fuck throw them out. the fuck out. And I'm going to throw an energite at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take that in the bathroom and go fuck that thing. 
And all the ladies in the room, I'm going to give them like $10,000 each because they can't fuck the energy. I'm going to be like, but you're still going to get in on this make mad money. I'll be like, you got, you got so many sex toys already. You're good. Like, dude, you got... And this, this, this one's for the this, boys. There's this, this plenty... And there's so many Energine solutions for females already. I respect that. We need you don't se- think that that's going to cause a problem for your market cap? The fact that you can't market to females? No. Well, of course you can. The market is. Because a woman wants to buy that. She wants to, she wants to use Energine for her man. She wants to be like, yo, want to try Energine in the bedroom? Yeah, but Spice there's not a up. his and hers Energine is what you're saying, though. There's, there is only I mean, one type of Energine. There's, I mean, there's certainly... There's not a his and hers. And I'm saying that's going to affect your market Energine cap. technology in a more phallic format will be a fast follow. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that's, All a, right. that's a Kickstarter. So it's on the roadmap is what you're stretch saying. Stretch goal. That's a roadmap for it? Let's call it a stretch goal. Okay. All Let's right. call it a stretch goal. We had 200% funding. We could do it just like Bad Dragon. You know Bad Dragon? The Yeah, the weird dildo company. Excuse me. <laughs> we... We there's no kink shaming on this podcast. If you want to fuck a dragon shaped dick, that's awesome. And if you want to be able to pump, of course, of course, pump special cum, synthetic cum that you can only buy off that site through that thing, is that, that rule that, that must be a thing. it. Absolutely, is an addition that you can add on to these. And if you want to get it 32 inches long and like 15 inches around and have it shoot all that, fucking that rules. And Energy is going to do that for you too. We're going to put them out of business. <laughs> Now, now we're also taking out Bad Dragon. We're gonna, you know what? I'm ready to announce it right here. Dude, I, I am to understand our, that Bad Dragon is a beloved company. M&A, I don't know if that's a great strategy. Bad Dragon is, happens to be a beloved company our from M&A what I hear. Our division is proud to announce that we're going to acquire them. <laughs> and a fantastic deal. Dude, Energine has quite the saga so yeah, far. Yeah, we're doing real good. <laughs> we care a lot about how energized your, your private saga. <laughs> I mean that's a good slogan. That could be a good slogan. And it's slogan is I could see I could see TikTok viral videos about that. I could see it. Thine privates. <laughs> Energize thine privates. With energine. In here. I mean, for the woman it has to be called it has to go like Enerpeen. <laughs> see, this is but that's what I'm talking about though. Is that you're gonna have a difficulty reaching the full potential as it were. If there's only one type, you know? Yeah, no. You, and I don't think you could split the branding like that. And, what, Energine and Enerpine? Yeah, I just, I think that's sloppy. Wait, Energine is anyway, great, but so having... So you want, t- like, having, you want Energine for women also? Yeah, I think, and you I'm, should be all I'm saying Energine, is I think that that would be a like smart thing Like, Energine ladies, but it's a dick. <laughs> With the Energine. Hey, I mean, I'm not head the of point R- is I'm that not head of R&D here. I'm just trying to help you with the marketing. It contains the third energy technology that put, effectively puts the magnet ring companies out of business. That's the important part. And Bad Dragon, apparently. And uh, Bad Dragon we're going to acquire. I'm going back into the computer room. Okay. He's not here. Oh, did you get the darts? This operation Gail's is here. taking way too long. Oh, I, I got the darts. I don't care about the darts. Gail sucks. Why? Gail missed the fucking I, investors meeting. <laughs> Gail missed the Energine investors meeting. I can't wait till Gail gets eaten at the end of this. What's going on? Oh, Kirk must have tripped up a security system. I'm fooled. Man, he's quick to point fingers. <laughs> he really is. He has like absolutely he just, he has no. This suspicious sort of Kirk must have tripped up a security up. system. Why does he think Kirk is still even on the island? Like if Kirk, if I were Kirk, I would have been out this do. bitch. Plus, look, what is even happening? There's no this one on, on this island in this facility. Can't we'll they just like turn outside. stuff off? Can't I mean, they just be like, all right, just turn off the system? You're telling me this one dude is continuing the crisis? And by the way, what is the crisis? I think the crisis is that there are dinosaurs. That there's like 15 dinosaurs in this <laughs> little island? I mean, it's, it, it's clearly enough to cause a problem. Does that qualify as a crisis? Because that sounds like I don't kind know. Of I feel like one dinosaur would qualify. Considering there shouldn't be any, I even know. one would qualify as a crisis. All right, in the level of crisis where a one, <laughs> a one is girl, I've got nothing to wear. I'm in a crisis, and a ten <laughs> is nine eleven. <laughs> what number would this crisis fall at? On that I mean, scale? I would, I would say at least a six. A six. <laughs> You'd put this closer to 9-11 than not knowing what outfit to wear? There's dinosaurs, There's like eight of them. <laughs> There's more than eight. <laughs> Is 
like eight dinosaurs and one See, there crazy was way doctor. more than eight. Holy shit. Oh my god. There was almost no planning involved here. This one doctor's Wait, so you're telling exercise. you're telling me that dinosaurs being around murdering people is closer to girl I've got nothing to wear than a bunch of people getting killed in a terrorist attack? Yes. I don't know. I mean, this is... <laughs> I'd put this leg out of five. <laughs> what? After, after all that <laughs> hemming and hawing about my six, you're saying that the, the radically different all assessment right, well, let me that ask you, you would have made let me is ask the you this. five? Let me ask you this. What would you put RE2 at? Oh, like a seven or an eight. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's it's an entire city. I'd put RE2 at a ten. By, by... Oh, so you're saying you would scale it up. I'd scale it up. I'd say RE2 is 9-11 level. I think I might just be uncomfortable with comparing a fictional event to 9-11. I think, I think <laughs> it would be a really good thing. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's this battalion. Well, some zombies go out. When you get back in control of Regina, of Energine, <laughs> near the exit which leads to the research area hall, you'll find a red box. Check it and you'll find a screwdriver. Did you already I already did that like 10 years ago. <laughs> feels like a long time ago. Now check the machine to the left of the box and you will see that there's an electric panel in here. Use the screwdriver on it and it shall open. I love that it doesn't say you can do that. You just have to you know have to, to do know. that. That's insane. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'm wrong. That's, maybe I'm wrong. No, you have to you have to know and then use it. That's crazy. That is Monkey Island level. Oh god. This is insane. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Here's hold up. Here's the solution. Just 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 tell me. Look here. Oh my god. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Oh my god. Alright, so this is part A, B, and C, yeah. right? Yeah. Turn the C part right once and place it on the grid. Okay, done. Okay. Do not turn the A part at all and just place it on the grid. Done. Turn the B part right once and place it on the grid. Done. That was extremely easy. <laughs> Warning. The emergency extremely dumb. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was like a also really, really, really fucking dumb. bad, unfun WarioWare micro game stuck in the middle of like not even half for as clever no as even reason. the worst WarioWare. Why would you do that? Like, was this their attempt to do puzzles differently from RE2 and like the library puzzle? Why do these games have puzzles at all in them? I mean, I think that the I think Seven and Village had cool puzzles like the Shadow Puzzle, but still, why? That's a very interesting. Why do they have that puzzles is an interesting at all? Question. Why and sure? where and yeah. when did, did the survival horror of putting puzzles into survival horror why game become a thing? Why is that? If you take the puzzles Forget out, they're still scary. Like I can't yeah, think of like puzzles. Well, there's still, there's still tension. Village. There's still atmosphere. There can still be fun combat. There can still be interesting and engrossing, uh, engrossing stories. Is it incentive? None of those things, which I would argue are staples of a survival horror game or the survival horror genre in general. None of those things are reliant upon the existence of other of puzzles. Why is that? I don't, I don't know. That is so weird. I would I would even go so far as to argue that I cannot think of a single survival horror game that was made better with the addition of a two nonsensical. There's, yeah, there's no uh, there's fucking there's puzzles. No survival horror game where at the end of it you're like, oh, that oh those puzzles awesome. were so fucking sick. It was awesome. Yeah. Can you think of one? No, not at all. I remember thinking, I'm like, I can think about like the RE7 shadow puzzles and be like, well, those were. Which okay. are also just kind of the ripoffs of the RE4 fucking move the, the, the move the turn move the, the, the like, symbol around. But yeah. it's not, not. I don't think about it fondly. Like, oh, that was a fun part no. of the game. Like, oh, that was a thing. You know I what? Had you know to when do. I think about them fondly when I when. I get to one that I know is really easy and yeah, only takes a second. Yeah. That's when I think of the fun. No, it's, it's strange that puzzles are such an integral
integral part of, of okay. survival horror. Why? When it's it like really not... adds absolutely nothing. I understand having to get the different keys and stuff, which bounces you back and forth across different sections of it in an almost Metroidvania yeah. style. The, it, but yeah, the it, puzzles, it, like stopping the action there to do a puzzle, just like in RE2, making you slide bookshelves around, is yeah. like, why? Just give me the thing when I get to yeah. the room. Like no nothing was added or gained from the fact that you made me sit here and press left and right and confirm a bunch of times no. before playing the f before letting the event play out. No, it's crazy. Nothing was gained by that at no. all. All right, wait. Let's. Can you tell me which strategy I should be using here? I don't. I really would rather. I. I hate. Gale, he's not Okay, nice. it says choose but. Gale's way because it's easier and it's okay. easier overall and much easier to do than Rex Bell. Gale. Alright, Gale it is. No, don't you don't need to convince me. Alright, where are we going? It says Gale's method is <laughs> this fucking back rider, dude. Gale's method is plain and simple. Bust some caps and exit the area with guns up laser. <laughs> cool, alright. Where am I exiting though? Okay. Just run for dodge the raptors in here. Will I? S but it doesn't say which room to go in. Let's see. Do I save the state real quick, maybe? Hold on. Oh, it might be too late. Research area hall. Exit into the research area hall. I'm sure take you. Now run for dodge the raptors. Uh, <laughs> he says it can be quite easy, easily accomplished. Believe me, <laughs> dude. The attitude on this fucking guy. <laughs> he just fell right over. Dude, I also again just another honorable mention to the animations of the fucking dinosaurs. They look great, dude. They really look great. They're very menacing and scary. I like it a lot, oh, especially when they flop over with their head and yeah. yeah. They look very like, menacing. Dude, I really like that. He's not dead, and I hate that. He's gonna jump up. I wasted a bullet. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh my oh, god, no! no! <laughs> oh no. I don't want to make him sleep. <laughs> nice. Hold on one second. I capped him. Alright. I'm in the oh, library. Excellent. Once in here, you'll find more raptors, but the design of this from less easy to dodge them. And go where? Head to where the machine was and run to the machine's right. And you'll find doors leading outside. Enter them and you'll merge at main hallway B1. Ooh. Tell me this is the main hallway B1. Oh, oh wow, that was, that was tense <laughs> and awesome. From here, just dash across the uh, open shutters to the Ooh. right. Don't enter the medical room hallway, but go for hallway for the carrying materials door. Oh, oh you, you, you chose poorly. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now, alright, we are at a six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, God. No, 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 no. Oh, God, I guess I need to be. Shutters. You have to open the shutters. Alright, first things first. There's no need for me to die. I have more than enough of everything. Well, then I am. Take care of uh, me. Regina is 1%. She is going to be my wife. <laughs> Regina will just got to make these things extinct. Oh, did you open the thing? Open the thing. Don't burn your bobs on again. Okay. Well, you push the switch, nothing happens. So I. Oh my god, he's not dead. Alright, so I'm going. Tell me the room I should be going to. You'll merge in hallway B1. From here, yeah, okay. dash across the open shutters yes. to the right. Don't enter the medical room hallway, but right. go for a hallway for carrying in materials. You have to go to the. You have to get to the hallway for carrying in materials. And that is through hall B1. Just oh, dash okay. across the open shutters. Oh, look, it's asleep. That's so cute. <laughs> it sleeps. It's. Dude, it takes a little raptor nap. <laughs> a rap nap. I was not aware of that. That's awesome. What a great thing for it to do. It's a little tail. Oh my god, I love it. Hi, <laughs> hey, buddy. All right, 
Let's find out where we need to go and then let's harass it. You have to go right across the fucking way and uh, go for a hallway for carrying in materials. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't know. Go to the I'm hallway for carrying in materials. I'm not totally sure what that is. Maybe this. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, nice. I really want to learn the Japanese. Now, words. run across the entire hall and enter yes. the large area that you can. Uh, I, let's keep the politics out of this. <laughs> Gail! <laughs> You're a lucky guy, Doc. So this oh, is, is that Kirk? Or is that Annette Birkin? Shh, shh. <laughs> yeah. Annette Birkin, obviously. Gave us quite a run for our money. You get around, He's don't beautiful. you? <laughs> Just like a rat. <laughs> he has a nice whole island too. set up as your little maze. Well... I'm glad I kept you entertained, tough guy. <laughs> Shut up. I'm surprised <laughs> wow. they sent someone after me. I had heard they reported me as deceased. If that's the way you want it, I'd be more than happy to oblige. So what'll it be, genius? Relax, <laughs> this agent. This is amazing. My study is nearing its final stages. Magnificent. Isn't it? But I can't leave before I've analyzed the final results. I don't give spit about your results. I'm taking you back under orders, so shut up and follow me. Regina, locate the communication facility and call in the extraction chopper. You can't do this! I have rights! According to command, your government will talk now. I suggest you take it up with them. No! They can't do this to me! They deserted me three years ago, and now they want me back? This is preposterous! Shut up. Why is he talking to Tim Roth? Shut up, you idiot. You lame, flat-top, jar-headed... Shut up. Where's the communication room? Take the elevator up from the control room. I need a card to access that elevator. I know you've got one. Hand it over, Doc. Dude, this is very tense. Oh, fine. Dude, this is very dumb that he's just holding him at gunpoint so, instead of like knocking him out then. and taking his shit. I'll meet you at the heliport. He's sulking. Hey, wait, where are you going? I have a little unfinished business to take care of. I'll drop this guy off with Rick. Now get moving. Unfinished. Like, what? what does that is, mean? Is he gonna assault this man? His prisoner? What what am I doing? Is this back to back of the alley? Head to the afterwards. Okay. All right. Here we go. What's next? When the scene is yes. finished, you would have gotten the key card required to access the area we're headed for. The game will show Did you the I? map indicating where you have to go. Oh, we have to go to the control room where Rick was using the computers early on in the game. All right. You should not be terribly far from it. Ma oh my God! It just says make your way to the control room. <laughs> oh, Dad. What the no. fuck? Do I go like? Do I go it, through the large even, elevator? Don't even ask. Don't even ask because it doesn't say. Oh. Well, let's try the large size elevator. Oh my god, we're off the fucking dude. We're off the fucking rails. It's here. okay. We're doing great. Oh my god. I may. I would imagine maybe we'll be right here, or maybe the T Rex will pop out and eat my ass. I can't wait for that. I can't control it, so maybe it's a cutscene. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> See, I think the control room is like over yonder. <laughs> this is dope. The large size elevator control room. Nope. It's, you got, it's the room where fucking Rick was kicking it in the beginning of the game. Right. But that's close to here. It is on this I mean, part of the island. Relatively speaking. It is on this part of the island. It is not uh, relative to that elevator. Yeah. Oh, shit, shit. Not here, though. What was that? Passageway to the what? I don't know. It just says make your way back to the control I, room. No, 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 no. I was asking about the game. Not that big game. Oh. Passageway to the power room. I just want to make sure it didn't say passageway to the control room. I don't want to fight the pterodactyls. No, you do not. Or the pteranodons. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, maybe this will help. Yeah, oop, oh, yeah, right. As if. As if. I wish there was a clue list in the game. I, I would I not would be surprised so, if So, can you imagine, dude? I would so play a Telltale game where you could choose between playing as Cher, as D, or as Ty. Dude, absolutely. I would... Absolutely. And, and each of them had their own adventure following... Even just following the movie's events... It would be so awesome to go through that with like dialogue treats, and you could go talk to Breck and Meyer and have like a whole conversation, or go talk about the Pismo Beach disaster and shit. <laughs> it would be fucking great. He could be like, "Yes, uh, I love to skateboard. I'm Breck and Meyer. I guarantee we can get Breck and Meyer to do the voice acting too. What the hell is he Isn't doing? Isn't it Paul Rudd that's the love interest in that? Paul Rudd is the love interest yeah. in that, and he's like and the, he's he like was the her ste step he's brother. The step He's your stepbrother. Yes, dude. And I don't know why they made that decision. Yeah. I, they, you, they have to, like, explain it away, and you have think, to overlook yeah, it. I think like, they, why? Need to, they, they needed to explain why this dude who was el – like, also, isn't he, like, in college, and she's, like, a fucking sophomore he, or some shit? He isn't is. that weird? He is. It is. It was it – is, it, 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 is, it is problematic. He is supposed to be, like – Somewhere between he's, 21 and 23, and she's supposed to be he's far 16 enough from and college and law oh. school to be helping oh, her shit. fucking dad out, right? Which means he's. Oh not my like, god! What the fuck have you done? I'm trying to get through here without getting killed. Oh my god. Uh, he, dude, he is far enough through law school to be helping, to be clerking, basically. For her fucking he's dad. He's somewhere between like 22 and 25. I think she says she's 18. Oh, maybe she does. I'm pretty does. sure she says she's 18 but at some point, and that's dude, why they. Still, dude. But it's, I it's don't still, know. No, but it, no, it's still, it's still for so many reasons. It's like, well, like, why could he not have just been some dude that was clerking for her dad that happened to be like in his her dad's like home office all the time? Why did it have to be her fucking stepbrother? Like it's com like it's completely unnecessary. It's it is. Oh, for sure it is. It's very confusing. It, I don't know. It, it 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 adds an element of creepiness to it that like oh for really sure. was not necessary at all. For sure. I mean the movie is gr is good enough so that like you know it's not really that big a deal. Well, I mean but like if you stop to think about it for even a little bit, it it, it becomes, allows it allows it for them creepy. to be to have this like we're f we're friendly but also have like a bit of a rivalry. We have a history and we know each other, but like. Also, Isn't there a way to like, write that you. without, like, you're my fucking brother? There, There's there, gotta be. There there should be, like, he, he could have just been, like, you're an old employee of my dad's, but then it, I mean, I really don't see why it had to be your fucking stepbrother. Ex-stepbrother. Like, couldn't have he just been another Is student it? in the fucking Fuck. school, dude? I mean, I think I think a big part of it was that it would have had to explain about a big part of it was that he was not or that he was just like someone who she never would consider for herself. And that's and and that Well, was, that's an easy way to write that. It was like, like, like they, yeah, they needed <laughs> a disqualifier and that's like the laziest like weirdest one they could come up with. But other than that, the movie is fucking perfect, and I can. And it's so perfect that we've all been able to get past that for like almost thirty years. So, and I continue to be able to get past. I mean, of it course, and be unquestionably, fine it. unquestionably. But it, it, it's still weird, but it's and just, I'm still like, yeah. There's a lot of weird, lazy yeah. writing in it that the movie is, is right. succeeds in spite of. Uh, there is. We have a problem here. Oh. Tell me that the problem is not that you can't find the control. The problem is that I cannot come. <laughs> The problem is that the control room is not down past the large... I, I took the large elevator, and that was a complete fucking waste of time. Oh, maybe oh, not. Maybe no. not. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> large size elevator passageway. Okay, well, definitely, because there's a big crater hole here now. The crack looks very deep. It's too dangerous to jump over it. Well, that was that. that was a Ronald Reagan campaign slogan. <laughs> <laughs> in, in 1984. Did he have Alzheimer's yet by then? Uh, oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> I think you need to go back down the large size elevator. Mm. 
Nancy, where did I put that control room? <laughs> Nancy, I, I can't find the control room again. Oh, Ronald, Ronald is looking for that control room again. Ronnie, we've got it. Just do you think? Do you, do you think Nancy beef. called him Ronnie? I, I think or she, Ron? I think she probably just called him like Sir or Please Stop. Or, <laughs> Get away. <laughs> On that Melania shit. Or, <laughs> ew. Yeah, stop. Stop there. Oh, That's shit. That good. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> the dead man has a memo. <laughs> will you read the dead man's blood-soaked memo? You will not. Regina has no fear of blood war pathogens, <laughs> just like Princess Diana. She that is, is an admirable quality. She is a true hero of it's the people. An quality Regina, share. she will take an aid, and she does not fear an aid or multiple aids. <laughs> just like As she should. the people's princess. You know what would be awesome if, is if the hidden outfit in this was Princess Diana's revenge dress. Say untimely I knew passing. You were gonna phrase it. <laughs> um, it wouldn't be out of the question that they might have been like. <laughs> it's a revenge no dress. It's not out of the question. It's but not. It could, for all we know, that's true. I think we it is po not. It is possible. It's it's Schrodinger's revenge dress. It is possible. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad name. <laughs> that is a bad uh, name. I think it is. It's it's unlikely, but still possible. Oh my god, dude! You have to be close. <laughs> I'm close, dude. I'm close. I'm so close. I can taste it. I can smell it. Like, I love that scene. It, this, this this room is, this is my is favorite room. This is one of the room. best looking rooms. This in the whole room game. is my favorite room in the game for sure. Office. Like unlike all the other rooms. It's like why the dramatic musical sting. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, I know I'm getting close. Oh fuck. Oh wait, you know what? I probably can check the me Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, alright, hold on. Oh, there's no door on this left side. No, there's not. No, go oh, wait, back. Wait, 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 there is. It's from here, from here. If I go up, up into the left. Yes, 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 yes. To that room. So which room is that room? That might be this. That's, I'm almost yeah. sure that's this. Is that where I just came from? Yeah, no, no. Oh, here's Paul. <laughs> here's Paul. Hey, Paul. Oh, uh, hey, Paul guys. Allen, dude. It's Paul Allen. Give me, oh, yes, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, oh, dad. <laughs> Alright, check it out, we're gonna do something so dad-like. Desperately seeking daddy. <laughs> when do you think the last time me first in the Gimme Gimme put out a song? Uh, I bet it. Well, it wouldn't. It would not surprise me if it was within the last three months. I Dude, bet, that I, would be fucking I'm awesome. Sh I bet they put shit out in 2022 or 2021. They're always actively making music. Really? As far as I know, they're still actively making oh music. Oh my god! Yeah, I want to find out. That band is great. Their fucking car cover of Karma Chameleon is so fucking is better than the original. I think, and the original is oh, so good. Uh, yeah, they they have so many without great covers, doubt. but specifically their cover of Karma Chameleon is so unbelievably amazing. Like, it's beautiful. It's really well done. That band rocks. And not enough people know about them. But they're cool. Uh. What the 
fuck are you doing? I'm just double checking to see how. I mean, I have so many med packs. Dude, bro. You're, you've been in this fucking menu for an eternity. Uh, I'm just stocking up, as viewers will know. <laughs> They'll respect me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, I, where am I going? The control pull up, room. Pull up the fucking map for the love right, of God. Right, 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 right. Okay, you need so to exit out the left side to go down south to the save room. Oh shit. So I just came from here, so I need to this go this way. way, yeah. I also like that it shows her opening the door, even though it's not as scary. It's a nice change from Resident Evil. It's interesting. Oh, oh, piss. Oh. You went in the wrong place. Diggity diggity dad. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, oh. so through here, through here. Regina went out for cigarettes. <laughs> she has yet to return. What the? F oh no! Oh, no. All right, we're gonna you turn to go the corner and go. S you have to go south to the save room. Uh, oh wait, we're gonna do the immediate left to, to the yeah. save room. What? No, 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 no. We don't need any of that. We will not do that. All right, the management office. Oh yeah, we're busting. We're doing fucking good. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, like. No, that's I know, I want to check out this guy. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Let's breathe. One time for the dead homies. This song is cool. Yeah. Dude, this is cool. I don't think a beat is actually coming either. I think that was like just a little <laughs> Fucking nice little jangly little melody playing. Yeah, no, but I don't think there's percussion. Oh no, probably isn't. It's cool though. I will say. God, I don't know how long it took us to get back here, but it seems like a really long time. Um, seems like it's been a while. Well, it was because I went down that elevator and. I think might have gotten talking about something I shouldn't have. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. My last safety save was... Well, our play time is 2.50 right now. How, how close do you think we are to the end of the game? I'm sure we're at least two-thirds of the way. We gotta be real... I think we're getting real close. Really? Oh, for sure. I just... It, it, the feel of where right. we're at feels like there can't be that much left. Uh, they, they might open up That's one the new area. Is the that where we're going? Go in the control room. All right. Yes. Uh, control room 1F. Ba -ba. Uh, All right, what are we doing in here? All right, head to the back side. You'll find an elevator, which we've completely ignored up until now. Check it, and Regina will automatically use the key card to open it. Take there is the a button. Take the elevator up to the communications room. You press it. Yes. I'm brave and bold. I'm stunning and brave. I press the button. Gina is a strong woman. 100%. All right, you're in the communications room? I am. There's some slag bullets in that box if you want. Nice. I love There's an it. antenna key in an emergency box. Fuck. Whoops. Oh my, dude. Oh my god. This fucking menu, I swear to god. Trust me, it's mm, not fucking. I, I'm sorry. This was, right, there was yeah slugs. What am I doing now? Just go, leaving. Open, there's, no, no, no. Go. There's a box, an um, emergency box, and an antenna key in it. I think you just passed it. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. That's an emergency box. Oh, is it? Uh. Oh yeah. So if I didn't have a plug, we'd be screwed. Yeah. I don't think so. There's no antenna key. There's a multiplier. It says, in this room, you'll find an emergency box on the wall. Check it for antenna key. I, I mean, checked it. <laughs> 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 Didn't find it. It says, check the red box on the wall if you need some, if you have some spare plugs. Now check the only other door in the room. You'll find an emergency box on the wall. Oh, okay. So it's probably a different thing. But this is cool that there's... It's not cool. Every moment that I'm seeing this menu is not cool. Every moment. 
I have so many shotgun shells. It's cray cray. Just make me stop looking at them, please. Use, I need something. Give me something to shoot. What about that thing? I'm sure this is it. But that's a different. It should. It should be like. This is. It shouldn't call it an emergency. Wait, was box. the other thing called the uh, like specifically called an emergency? These box are called also? emergency boxes. E box. See, emergency that's box a, list. That's fucking. So ridiculous. for this FAQ to call this an emergency box, that's that's poor. It's poor. This is an antenna. I mean, activation I'm already giving this fact writer like like two stars. So. I mean, we should make sure that they're not dead before we do that. I don't think there's a way to find out. I'm sure there is. <laughs> you sound awful confident. All right. Should I leave? Okay. Um, or should I stay? <laughs> you should go. <laughs> Where am I going? Uh, exit out the only other door to passageway to communications tower. Oh, it's asking me to save it again. It says the previous room was a save room, so make sure to save your game before exiting. Why do you say Why that in hindsight after I've left it? It's so dumb. Oh, my God. All right. Passageway to the communication area. I'm here. In this long walkway, make your way across. I don't, why? Just let me enjoy. It's a nice Why one. not it's make a nice your way one. across enjoy, the long walkway? Enjoy the, the view. It looked awesome. It was a dope, long-ass hallway. At the hall other hall. end, you will come to a familiar room. Enter the door to room. the comm antenna room. In here, walk forward, and you will see a slot to put the antenna card on the machine. All slots. I also have had a bunch of passwords. Use the car he card here. I like it. See, there's a slot for the antenna activation key. Does not ask me if I want to use it or anything. I have to go in and find it. Just because they want to make sure to show off their great programming of their amazing system. <laughs> oh, cool. It's the way that they flew the ship in Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> This again with that little Oh, oh, snap. <laughs> oh, oh. I feel like we're going to shoot T Rex or Dr. Kirk with this thing. What is she? We she's getting set up to like nuke somebody. This that is, would be great. That would be an excellent This ending. panel activates the stored antenna. Whoever translated this, <laughs> seriously, it was like their first year. This is probably like the friend of somebody. And they were like, oh, my son studies Japanese. <laughs> and they're like, well, great. He needs to have this all translated by tomorrow. You're fucking fired. And she got home and, and she was like, oh, Daniel, <laughs> I need you to translate. And he was like, oh, great. And he's like, oh, but I don't actually know Japanese. I just watch Ranma one half and <laughs> beat off all day, every day onto the cassette boxes because it's fucking and, and that's how you get a poor translation. And so he used his year one book and a dictionary. And that's how we get the this panel activates the stored antenna. I... Uh, we should probably. I mean, I suppose. Do we have to say that we're joking? No. To not get sued by these people. <laughs> Can you imagine you're the translator of this game and you watch it just to see, and you get to this point <laughs> where he's being relentlessly being slandered so as a Ron the One Half pervert, so maligned. Uh, <laughs> uh, they, judge, they said that I used to fap on the VHS box. <laughs> They said I had Kami Rama. <laughs> <laughs> you have to head back to the same room. Well, let me tell you something, translator. <laughs> the fact that I know about all this says that this might hit pretty close to home. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was generous. Oh of shit! You oh shit! Oh boy! She snapped her head. <laughs> Gina, oh what yeah, happened? that's just the. Oh, yeah, I Oh, dude. Where am I going? I'm a bit busy right now. Do something about it. Don't sweat it. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, my word. Oh, sweet Wait, fancy oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh Jesus. Holy fuck. Oh, shit. Stop and make your way across. Oh, my God. So take out the shotgun. Get ready for shooting the T-Rex. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> oh snap! You used the resuscitating medicine! He two shot me! 
<laughs> they certainly fucking did. That's oh, bullshit. Wow. So what? Was it because I didn't hit him right? Why don't you save state for me, please? <laughs> Dude, that's fucking crazy that, like, I shot at him and he just bites you and you're dead. Yep. Excellent. Is it? <laughs> like, I was shooting at him and he could just kill me. It's kind of, kind of bogue. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe, maybe a little. That's kind of bogue, dude. I just turn around and I can barely Dude, and I'm right shooting now. at Do him, and, him. and he two shot me. At least he didn't one shot me, though. He two shot me. So I guess the message is if he, if he hits you, immediately. Quit out of the menu. Uh, oh my god. Oh, yeah, try, no. Lo yeah, load it so we don't use those. Yeah, see this even even imagine even without any like I would love to know how speedrunners do this part. Uh with consistency. I'd be very curious what the speed strats are for this part. This this so far is the hardest part of the game, obviously. And the problem with, with it being this hard means that the fun and excitement of it you it completely evaporates so quickly. Because you have to do it so many times. So, uh, so that amazing moment of running away, I got to enjoy for all of six seconds. Yeah, it's not ideal. This is great, though. This is a it, very it is, well done. It is, it is. It's really cool, but it's just like the fact that... Oh my god, I almost did the same fucking thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is some that's some bullshit. But I think I think I think what it really is is just that I um I think I need to be shooting at it like consistently just non-stop and not worrying about the menus blasting him <laughs> that's great but what does the fact say just blast him what yeah happened? it says you, you need to be quick trust me <laughs> I'm a bit busy right now like you'd be quipping and not be like there's a fucking T-Rex in front of me of course you'd be quipping, dude. I'm a Gina's bit busy an action right hero. Energine knows how to uh, keep the fans entertained. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How am I still alive? I have no idea. Now I'm alive. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, okay. No, no! <laughs> Boom. Got it. So, four attempts. It's not bad. <sighs> well, considering this is my first death of the whole game, that's not bad. <laughs> I mean, it is on easy. Excuse me, princess. I'm running the giant around of this dinosaur island, okay? So you tell me how hard it is. I mean, that's if you're, true. That's if you're true. facing a raptor, the only survivor not on the team. And you're having to navigate those menus to equip bullets in the middle of a T-Rex fight. What's she saying? Something about ASAP. Something doors. Great. Lock something. Where am I going? Okay. Excuse me. The chopper's on its way here. Great. Don't waste any time. And remember, use the main entrance to get to the heliport. The chopper's on its way, see? We're heading out. We're gonna get to a final fight with the T-Rex, then they'll throw me a rocket launcher. <laughs> and Chris Redfield will swoop in and be like, this was part of Umbrella's plan. 
I hope he does. I would hate that. I don't. Wanna, <laughs> I would love it. I don't want to see Chris Redfield. I don't want him to be in this universe. I love that this has nothing to do with Resident Evil. I love that there's I mean, nothing too, Umbrella I related. Like Chris Redfield. I love there's nothing Umbrella related. I, that's not. It's not. That's it, not lore. Like Resident Evil at this point, lore is like Dungeons and Dragons has lore. It has like shit in it, but it's not lore. Take the elevator back to the back to the control room. I legit. I don't. Not totally sure about what's going on. All right, I've got SG bullets, resuscitation med pack L. I can grab another med pack here. And then I can grab some parabellum bullets here. I think that's probably a mistake. Oh, you know what I can do? Pop these bad boys out. Boom, yes. And then we've got 10, 19 shotgun shells. And, oh, geez, we don't need this many. No, no, we're fine. We can get rid of this. Uh, oh, fuck. Why does it have this extremely tense music on in the... Because that's how I feel every time you're in the fucking menus. Believe me, be happy I'm doing this so that we have the right amount of heal. There is a button. Will you press it? Dude, hey, at least I, he gave you a prompt this time. I am doing this stuff to keep us alive and well. All right. Now, make your way back to the main entrance any way you want to. <laughs> I'm not really sure how. That's good news. The main entrance? It says main entrance. I love this presumption that I know where that is. Um, oh, hey. Hey. What do you know? I'm doing it. You sure, I'll save the goddamn game. But I'm gonna save it in file too, just in case here. Continues. Also, limited continues in this. Does that mean you can only die five times, even if you saved? What does that even mean? I have no idea. This, is this what they think tense music sounds like? Like, it's only tense because they're playing a lot of dissonant notes really fast. I think it's all right. This is like what they make people listen to in Guantanamo Bay <laughs> to get them to confess. I hope they let make you listen to White Snake. <laughs> oh boy, God, these are these guys are tough customers. <laughs> Dude, that thing looks great. It looks awesome. It's beautifully animated, beautifully modeled and textured. There's a lot of detail. And am I shooting at it? Oh boy, am I fighting it? Do I, do I fight these things or what, dude? Yeah. Yes, fight Run them? Run around the top area like we did when we came here for the first time, and when you reach the area of the dead body, check the huge doors behind it to enter passageways to teleport. So, no, don't fight them. No, that's what's up. <laughs> God. One bit me. Make your way through the straight path and enter the single door at the end to reach the hangar. Oh boy! Oh god. Holy crap! That's awesome! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No! No! Oh, god. No! It's no! No! It's not! No! It's not! No! It's not! You gotta go the one on the right side. It looks like. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got them both. Very nice. Hi, Dad. Hanger. I'm Once in the hanger. the hanger, run straight and climb up the small ladder. 
Okay, done. Run across the walkway and you'll see huge boxes on the ground below. Yeah, done. I see a lot of them. This is another puzzle. Uh, I'm not surprised. I... That we're going to solve in a little while. <laughs> for now at the end of the hallway, walkway, you'll find... Um, I got a grenade For now at the end of the walkway, you'll find a grenade launcher and some grenade rounds. Okay. That's because the grenade launcher we didn't already have it. Okay, done. Then he editorializes on how you can expect something big to happen soon. Yeah, great. Thanks. <laughs> Um, after taking these items, head back down, back to the ladder, make your way down. Time to do the puzzle. I love that he took the time to say we're going to do the puzzle. <laughs> and then, Two lines later, we're yeah. doing the puzzle. <laughs> I know. We're at the end of the game. Like, we don't need that kind of foreshadowing, dude. It's like, it, it's, that's, it's, I don't think it counts as foreshadowing when it's on the same page. <laughs> or the same paragraph. It's the same paragraph. All right, hold on. Like, it's not a little while when it's literally the next thing we do after we turn okay. around. Uh, this is also apparently what we're looking at here. This is one one hundredth scale. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, my. So, Good all Lord. right, go back to right where you came down the ladder. I came there. Okay, stop, stop. All right, do you see this thing right here? I, yeah. So, A, B... C, D, E, yeah, yeah. G, E. All right, so because yes. I'm going to be giving you instructions on but which where, box to move. All right, but where's the ladder? What represents the ladder? The upper left. Right here. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, small. All right, no, no, no. The ladder position is right here in the lower, the, okay. the lower left. All right, okay. got it. Okay, so step one from where you enter, make your way to box B and push it upwards or north according to the map. So go to box B, which I think is this. Uh, no. Yeah, no. So you see, this is, that's A, this is B. Yes, it is. Push this up. How far? Can this soft lock the game? <laughs> I don't know. All right, stop. Um, all the way against the wall. This will give you enough room to squeeze between A and B and make your way to the CD oh, yeah. boxes by the clear top. No, yeah. no, 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 go back. See, that's definitely me. Go up, oh, go up here. No, no, no. It says you can squeeze through to get to the CD boxes where I am now. Now here is C. Oh, by the clear path to the here's, top. Okay. Here's E. Oh, C, D. D. Oh, yeah, derp, 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 derp. Here's derp, derp. C. This is yeah. C, D, E. Oh, so the ones you just pushed are off the screen for the yes, left. Yes, so we're looking at C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, all right, all right. As they are on the screen. All right, all right. Push box E to the music. right. Push E to the right. Like, good thing this is here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, this isn't hurting the pacing or anything. <laughs> After is... the T-Rex fucking fight. You can now push thing we're pushing just, boxes at the I end just, of this game. How did... How in the world oh, I know did this become need. something that, like, needs to be a in every... pushing puzzle. It's this just is what we need at the end of the game when the, the extreme time-sensitive tense music on the no way to the no sense whatsoever. Now push box D downwards. Which one is D, though? I need the map still. It's, the, it's this. That's D. Push it down. And I get this is so easy to solve block. Just push a little too hard. All right, now what? Now I'll move onwards to the next line of boxes. GFH. Yeah. Okay. And I now have a penis of boxes. <laughs> I push one of the balls. Uh, in this do? step, get to the left of the box F, according to the map, and push it to the right. Okay. Oh, okay. Now push box G upwards. G for Jine! <laughs> Don't this forget! This isn't even a puzzle! This is just this is annoying! Not, this isn't even a puzzle. Like this, this is, is not like a like, Soko Bond. This is just if a we weren't move reading shit. this, this is exactly it, what I would have done anyway. Yeah, this is just move stuff. Just yeah, like stop that wasn't a puzzle. Co I didn't need to sit here and read through and that. And utterly break the tempo altogether. Pick right. up the grenade rounds before you enter the fucking ship. I'm gonna take a guess that I need them. Yeah. Now enter the heliport. I'm at the heliport. You okay, Regina? Wow. Where's Gail? 
I don't know. Haven't heard a word from him. God, I What's hope he's he dead. If he comes out and puts on sunglasses, he's Albert Westcar gonna flip out. <laughs> but, oh god, if Chris you know, Redfield fans feel leaps out of there flexing his bicep, I'm gonna All also consider, freak out. Could have been a lot worse. Chris Redfield, the human boulder. That's odd. Why does this game always end damage. with a chopper over Dude, an this open is not area. the end of the game. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm shocked. Oh boy, here we go. Do I have to fight this thing? Yeah. Uh, is it an actual fight? We should have saved Steve before entering this room. What is that? He says ain't a lot here. There ain't no place to run. Is this a fight? He took out the chopper. Wow, that's cool. I mean, it looks like garbage, but it's a cool idea. Again, that's something that we saw in the beginning of the game. Like, in what? The, the T-Rex with the chopper in, in its yeah, mouth? Yeah, in the opening fucking... The T-Rex with the chopper in its mouth? Yeah. And, oh, and, my God. It, it was in the Wait, opening am sequence. I fighting this thing? As soon as we were given control back, um, head forward. The wreck of the helicopter is on the right. The middle of the area, and that is what will save us in this fight. It's completely useless to fight the T-Rex, so start running around the wreckage. Fortunately, the T-Rex did not cross the burning wreckage, so he will have to run in circles following him. Check the far side of the area. If the T-Rex is far away from you, you'll find that Rick is working on the control panel of the busted elevator. You'll have to keep running for the T-Rex until he finishes the repairs. So keep running in circles around the wreckage and keep the T-Rex away from you. Yo, this looks great, also. Will he call upon me when it's time? I have no idea. Oh, after a couple minutes, Rick will walk out of the elevator, fire around at the T-Rex, and tell Rejoina to get in the elevator. Cool, that's happening. Oh, awesome. Regina! You're in Saskatchewan. Wait, who was in the helicopter when it, when it crashed? I... Bill Clinton. This is terrible for my career. <laughs> We're screwed. Hillary, if only you'd released your emails. <laughs> this is what the Clinton Foundation was funded all along. What happened? Awesome. Alright, that was cool. It was. I like not fighting that thing more than mm. fighting it. Elevator shot. We'll have to find another way. Is that a grenade? Oh boy. Oh god, little compies. Oh jeez. Well guess what? Ignore them completely and make your way down the hall. I won't. <laughs> you can shoot everyone. Tastes like chicken, bitch. Oh yep. shit, fuck! <laughs> Dude, <this laughs> that, like, was, that was kinda good actually. Imagine like a zoologist seeing this. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I got back from this island. They were living dinosaurs. Like, what'd you do with them? Like they fucking shot every last one of them right in the head. <laughs> well, did you find any that were did I found ones that were like Smaller than a cat. It was like the size of like a like a street rat. I shot it right in the <laughs> head. Their fucking I easily could have just tossed my jacket over it and zipped <laughs> it up and taken it home, but I didn't. I shot it right in the fucking face. I don't even think it was trying to bite me. I think it wanted to get pet. I shot it right right between its soulful little eyes. <laughs> Where am I going? Well, tell me you're in the materials room. It's damaged. It will not open. <laughs> it's fucking same, bro. <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> That's the name of my Spotify playlist. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god. Oh, you're in the materials room. All right, good. I'm living in a material room. <laughs> and I'm a material giant. Head around the corner and take the card along from the uh, from the dead body. It's the CO pass. Oh god! Oh fucking <laughs> Jesus! Oh god! More chickens! Oh god! I think they're just gonna keep coming out of here. Where? What am I doing? Taking that thing. And then leaving? Yeah, after taking it, read the notes near the dead body. They'll tell you an alternate means of escaping the facility. Apparently, port in the floor B three is where they might find a boat or two. After heading through, uh, reading through this, exit back to the previous hallway. Uh, continue your Do way I down really? and enter the door at the end of the elevator. Wait, exit back to the previous hallway, is that correct? Yes. Continue your way down and enter the door okay. at the end for elevator number one. Bless you. Alright. The liaison elevator number one. What do you mean? Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que tu fais? <laughs> Qu'est-ce que tu fais? <laughs> Mais suis la jeune vie. So, I think I found a way out of here. Right on, girl. Let's hear it. Did you just say right on, girl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu. to the large okay, size elevator. Oh now god. We should, we should be able to get to the underground port from here. Yeah. Then let's do it. Hurry. I'm worried about Gale. Our fearless leader. Fine. Let's move out. What's he saying? Some dumb shit. I want to know what they're saying. This piece of junk must have blown a fuse. <laughs> What's going on? The power went out. Gail, are you on floor B3? Yeah, get the power online now. Gail, it looks like there's a port nearby. There's got to be a ship we can use. Copy. Leave Kirk to me. You two get the power back online and secure our escape route. I can't tell if this makes less or more sense than Resident Evil 1. It makes so little sense. <laughs> I have... Oh, the carrying out room B3. Seriously, absolutely just straight translation to whatever the kaji was. Like, what is a carrying out room? <laughs> I see Daniel studying his kanjis in his bedroom all the time. <laughs> He's watching his Japanese animations. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Head left from where the main gener generator battery part is. Enter the door here for the backup generator B3. Backup generator, more like it. <laughs> They called me you back, won't, back you in won't, the day. You won't. <laughs> the generator. <laughs> I'm the generator. <laughs> God damn it. You won't be able to turn this on without a proper key card, so instead head back to the batteries area and take out the white battery from it. <laughs> Jeez, it's really getting political. <laughs> uh. Done. All right, you can move the shelf located here to find an anaid. Mm, pass. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the battery with you? I, I have the battery. Make with your me. way back to main hall B three. Carrying out room B three. I'm not even quite sure what main hall B three is. I think it's this. Or just talk to Rick, and he'll automatically install the battery. Oh. This is carrying out room B3. Maybe this was written for a different version of the game. 
You mean a version that made sense? Yeah, perhaps. Perfect. This is all we need to restore the power. All Perfect. I'll just take out this bent one and just put it away for my own personal safekeeping for later. <laughs> I'll work on the security system. You you handle our escape route. What? Did he just stutter? Or is you, that the audio you glitching? You handle our escape. You forgot to close the door. <laughs> what now? Once you're back in control, head to the head to the same direction that Rick went and enter the door at the very end, I don't, near the shutters. I'm not totally sure which direction Rick went. Is this a door? Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Hello, Vicar. Oh, sure I will. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're they're ready to explode just like your fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to get him fired up. I just have Dino are, Crisis are you, waiting <laughs> in the PlayStation for him. <laughs> and he are knows. you in control room B3? Yeah, I think so. I'm getting a, a Read the B3 memo at the very card. end. Also take the slag bullets from the box. Now to the other side where Rick is sitting. Along the way, there are two boxes on the wall here. You'll also find a crane key. Oh, God. I can't wait to do another crane another puzzle, dude. Another crane puzzle. I'm fucking so psyched about that. Well, I've definitely reached the system's core. I'm These talking to Rick. These security protocols are brutal. Finally, <laughs> Security protocols are brutal. Is he hacking? <laughs> I th yeah, I think that's what we're meant to um assume here is that he is hacking. He's hacking very hard. You can save all you wish. Why does he always phrase it like that? He's always phrasing it. You can save all you wish. Why is this three plugs and this is one plug? Yeah. Only you can answer that. That's really weird. Uh, anal aid. What if I mix anal aid with med pack? Oh, I can't mix it with med pack L++. So let's try swapping multiplier with the anal aid. Let's do a little mixy mix. What? That doesn't work either? Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm not bad at my inventory now. Oh, resuscitation though? That's cool. I, you know what would be great? Is, oh, if maybe I could do this, maybe. No, see, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't stack them. Like, that's insane to me. There's no way to stack them. So every item takes up a different slot. Is that what you're saying? I think so, but it also... I think maybe something happens with bullets when you shoot that it might condense them somehow. I don't know. Look, a reminder, if you're playing Dino Crisis, <laughs> play it on easy and or play it with an FAQ. Fuck you. I'm sure this is a lot less fun when you're dealing with uh, Are you in dying. the general weapon storage room? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Be sure to equip the shotgun with slag rounds, or better yet, if you have the poisonous dart. Once in here, turn to Regina's left and start running down the hall. You can pick up a resuscitation along the way. You will see shutters in the back wall. Head for them, but before you can... Oh, boy. It's another... It's another DDK. torso. It's another torso with a DDK disc back to haunt your fucking brain. What is that? Oh god. Whoa. What the awesome. fuck are you? Awesome. Oh shit. Is it dead? Thank god. Wow, that was fucking. This is a new kind of dinosaur called this the Thesanos. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh god, there's another fucking one. Oh fucking Jesus. What am I supposed to do? Should I keep killing them? There's a ladder. Don't take it. Why does he say you'll spot a ladder? Don't take it. Why are you fucking mentioning it then? Just tell me where I should go. 
just tell me where you are, Josh. <laughs> tell us where you are. Enter the shutters. You'll be in transport passage. Like, I had to sift through, like, three paragraphs. I probably could have done that instead of fighting those guys and using six shotgun shots. Yeah, but <laughs> I had to sift through, like, three paragraphs, and only by the time I got to the bottom of them... Oh, my God! Only by the time I got to the bottom of them did it say, save your ammo because the uh, dinosaurs take a lot to fucking kill and then enter the transport passage. Like, you could have said that at the top of the paragraphs, so I didn't have to read through all of them, and while I was doing that, you were wasting our fucking ammo. Like, I, I don't understand how this guide is marked as the number one most recommended Dino Crisis guide. Uh, that's why the, like, it seriously the gets, world it is gets, in the state that it's in. Dude, I was going to give it two stars before, but no. Well, I think we're I think we're in one star territory. It's really it's 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 really leaving something so, to be desired. All right, so where am I going now? Are you in I, the transport passage? I'm in the yeah, I think so. Okay, there is another Thesinos. I yeah, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. He's been handled. There's a third and final crane key here. Got it. And also a CO area I have key. Three different crane like how keys. many fucking keys and all, discs do you have? I have all those things. I have all of them. Okay, including the CO area key. Yes. yes. All right. Now you have all three cards. Exit back to the previous room. Remember the ladder near the craters. Why do you say craters? <laughs> head up, head up it, and use the crane cards on the control oh, panel at the end. And here's a new crane interface we will use it to solve the crane puzzle fuck this me. is a game <laughs> that could absolutely benefit from a remake yeah it's a great game with a great foundation that could use a facelift much more than resident evil 4 could but they wouldn't make as much money i need three they wouldn't cards. even make even close as much money like, dude, no. is like, is there a Dino Crisis subreddit? If there is, I'm definitely I'm sure. not fucking right, sub to it. All right, I put key one in. Key card oh one. Oh, my God. Step one. Up, hook, left, down, release. That this sounds is some nice object -oriented like programming. my average date night. <laughs> Who decided that this is something that should be in games? A bunch like of people do, sat around and dude, looked at this and they were like, yeah. different games do you need to control a crane remotely in? How many? It's a fucking lot. You have to do it in Chrono Trigger, for fuck's sake. That's true, actually. You have to do it in fucking Chrono Trigger, dude. There are... What's next? <sighs> Up, right, hook, down, left, release. I, like what? Trip. What are we getting out of this? What is anyone getting out of this? Nothing. It's, it's dude. It's, it's really an absolute not. total grievous interruptus. It just absolutely wrecks the pacing. It like what? It doesn't have any of the vibe of the game. I'm looking through a monitor at this. Like why? I I I just I can't. now. And, and, is, is this and, just and to I'm pad to, time? Is I, it just to pad is, the clock? It is, it is. That is exactly why it's here. I mean, because they are living in a world back in '99 where they needed to pad shit, where they didn't think, "Oh, speed running is going to be a thing that's so great. Let's just not even bother with this garbage because people will be happy to just run through the good things about our game." No, let's, and that's why, dude, today you see it with crafting and garbage like that. They just put crap in that every other game has because they think they have to have it and it pads for time when really it would be better dude, without it. You could have written some more sloppy, ridiculous, nonsensical dialogue. You need more cutscenes. Yeah, yeah. It, like, Fine. Seriously, you could have just replaced this with a ridiculous five minute cutscene that you could skip yeah. and wouldn't make a difference. I don't you know. could have just done God that. God forbid you give them some personality and backstory. 
since I literally... No, no, no. We have no time for that. We need to fit in a second we, crane game. We need game. another crane game. I can't... I don't even have a fucking clue where these people are from. No idea. We don't even know what agency I don't know, they're agency working they're for. With, or even what country. You know, assume it's the U.S. I, I don't USA number know. one, but like... Right, right. I don't know. Is this like a branch of the military? Is this like some spec op shit? Who is Regina? Are they terrorists? What, is maybe she, they're is she terrorists. A ter yeah, she could be a terrorist. Yeah, we have uh, maybe, no idea. Maybe that would be an amazing twist at the end is actually we're all terrorists and we're stealing Yeah, and Dr. Kirk was technology. the good guy Dr. All Kirk was a good guy. That, would, that would be great. Not I would appreciate that. Not a chance is that the ending of this game. But no. I would love if it's actually like, it's oh, more likely why that Chris they Redfield talk about will it? show up with a rocket yeah. launcher and kill Wesker. It would that be amazing if it turns out the reason why they don't talk about who they are is because they're terrorists. And they're trying that to would be shit. great. There's not a chance that's actually the twist at the end. That's a shit. shame. Or that there's Upright any down hook. That's it? Yep. Uh, there's no way there's any twist. No, there's no twist. There's nothing surprising at the end. No. Gail's gonna die. Rick probably will die, too. I'll fight the T-Rex. Thank God we've seen And a, Kirk will die, too, probably. Fourth dinosaur. Or Kirk, did, did Kirk, Kirk, did Kirk well, was, Kirk, was Kirk in the helicopter? Or was that somebody else? No, or was that no, the rescue? I think Kirk escaped. Or Kirk's with Gale. Release right hook. I think that Kirk will probably either get eaten by the dinosaur or maybe do some sort of like uh, Burkinian dino <laughs> fusion <laughs> thing. Like, he'll like... Bang Maybe he might do. Well, do you think he'll do a last-minute Vader redemption? I, no, 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 definitely not. I think he'll like bang a dinosaur and then turn. <laughs> then they'll have like a special human dino hybrid. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, release right hook. Uh, it's seriously, I can't. And this is really supposed to be just trial and error. That looks like an L uh, an umbrella symbol. But it does. <laughs> I did notice that. What? what? Oh no. It should have dropped the F crate, then picked up the B crate. It will return to the base, but the path has already been cleared. All you need to do now is go down. Has the path been cleared? Yeah. Oh, great, great. Then you're done. Head down the ladder and go by the path we just cleared. The top line of crates if you were following my instructions. If you if you were following. Head around them. Yeah, if you didn't go into a fugue state Dude. for the last fucking <laughs> ten paragraphs. Head around the, head around them and take the DDK input disc w i refuse <laughs> i wish that that was an option sincerely all right head around them i'm going back to, to go back to the corpse the torso the, to the torso <laughs> i haven't gotten to see anybody get eaten i've just seen a lot of dead bodies oh, that's cool. disgusting all right, now head back and make your way through the control room B3 back to main hall B3, otherwise known as, I think, the carrying materials. Control room B3? Yeah, go to control room B3 okay. on your way back to carrying materials B3 or whatever it was. Um, I wonder if I can use multiplier with... Uh, but nothing useful, obviously. Sure. Why the hell not, Sunny Jim? I mean, as the as the fact author states, save as much as you wish, as much as you wish. Yeah. Not you should save here. He also sometimes says, save all you wish. <laughs> oh, you're back in the main hall, aren't you? Okay, yes. Head around the large central machinery. There should be another box of grenade ammo here that I forgot to mention earlier. Oh, my God. Like, why, instead of typing that, would you not scroll up a back. few pages and enter and that enter there that. where yeah, it should I, have been? I think I maybe got it. I don't know. I don't... Take like, this at the end of the... Uh, take this. At this part of the game, if you open any box, I suggest you to ditch all handguns as the weak SG shotgun shells keep the stronger slag bolts and the grenade rounds. Well, considering I was just in a room where I could have dumped it off, it would have been good to know there. <laughs> yeah. In the main hall, B3, which is where you are, head around the large crate to the opposite direction of where the control room door is. 
Wait, and I meant the other facility B3. What? Aren't you in the main, the big main hallway? Uh, maybe. Where am I supposed to go now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you now? What was that? That was backup generator B3. Oh my god. So, oh, you know, I might have been in main hallway B3. I just wanted to see. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, all right. This is carrying out room B3, but he previously called this main hallway. So where am I supposed to go? Find a door here. Which You need to y go through the other door that was previously locked and use the CO area key. You can unlock this door. Inside the passageway to the carrying out room. Done. Passageway to the carrying out room. Thank God. In here you'll come up with two of the dangerous black... <laughs> oh my God, fuck. This dude says dangerous black mother. Are you dead? Oh my God, he one shot me. Well, you said you wanted to see someone get killed. This is the first time I've seen a dino death. I, sh I Well, all I had was grenades. Oh, I used a resuscitating medicine. Wonderful. I'm just going to dodge this dude. And what does it say? Dodge him and go? Oh, my God. I'm just going to fuck. Oh, God. Oh, geez, that's bad. Run to the very end of the hall. Enter the door leading into the rest station. Uh, it's definitely cool having them chase you. Pick up the multiplier. I won't. Okay. I refuse. I'm fine with that. It's a display to show messages for the visitors. Uh, Alright, I'm in a DDK device. Oh my fucking god. I'm setting the DDK. I need the code and input though, so I can't do it yet. And that's the port, so this is where we're- this is the final resting place. Oh, here's another <laughs> corpse. Oh, I got a plug off her wretched dead Go to body. the central stairway. It is a female researcher. The white robe is smeared red with blood. <laughs> Must be Menses. <laughs> Go to the central stairway. Oh, fucking piss. You're joking me right now. Oh, come the fuck on. Passageway to experiment room is reached. You need to take the available staircase up the passageway to the experiment room. That's what it wants me to do. Dude, this guy is fucking taking the ass out of you. <laughs> this is great! They're throwing me around like a ragdoll. Oh! oh Fuck. That was intense. That was awful. Oh, is it Central Stereo where I'm yeah. supposed to be? Is it? Yep. And now what? You have to run to an available staircase to pass his way to experiment room. There you go. Nice. Run forward, take an anade. And then there'll be a vent hole. <laughs> Oh boy, that was really close. Oh shit. Should I go to the security pass room? It says visit the door at the end to enter the security pass room. <laughs> did did oh, you visit cool. the door? Yeah. You visited the door. That's good. Yeah, look at this. This is cool. That is cool. I like that. Okay. In here, run forward. You'll see the activated the alarm. Oh, well, I, d I did see that. We have seen that. So quickly head into the small adjoining room via the door and check the computers on the back side of where you're facing to turn it off. The back side. That is a really dumb way to say this. <laughs> Her throat has been crushed. Mm. Doesn't seem... <laughs> seen that happen before. I need an ID card. Do I have one? It cannot be used here. Okay. Uh, what about my... Oh, wait. 
Oh, okay, here we are. After the alarm is off, take the DDK input disc S. Dude, so... If we're on disc S, does that mean, mean that we've, we have like, we've gotten like 18 of them? Hold on. Are they going in alphabetical order? Wait, wait, I, dude, I still am not sure how to turn off the alarm. I can't do anything until that's done. It said, check the computers on the back side of where you're facing to turn it off. That's it. That's all it says. Oh, here. There we go. And I'll take the DDK input disk S from the same table. Before checking the red file on the other table, which you just did, for some more information about Dr. Kirk, and also take the B2 key chip 1. Oh, I see that DDK disk hiding over there. Oh my god. I would have missed it spinning around. Like, can you imagine worst. also not knowing that that was there? All right, so am I supposed to use this computer to rewrite did, the ID card? Did you did you get the B2 key chip one? Yes. Okay. Now exit from the same door you entered from. Oh, oops, I used the ID card. Great. Wait, it's, I shouldn't, so I shouldn't do this? It doesn't say anything about this? It doesn't tell you to. It says, All get right. the B2 key chip one okay. from behind the dead female scientist before exiting. All right. It says before exiting two, now exit this whole room from the same door you entered from. All right. I, this is really hurting my head trying to translate or glean this guy's fucking desire from these fucking wonderfully crafted sentences. Okay. Back in the previous hallway, this time take the vent hole up to the piping check passageway too. So make sure you ch make sure you take the vent hole. I'm going to check your pops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get the vent hole. This is going to be con this is going to be context based. I right, got it. Oh, great. Good thing she has a grappling hook. <laughs> it's a very good thing. In this straight vent, run down the linear path and drop down the vent on the other side leading into the experiment room hall. All right, experiment room hall. First off, as you enter this area, head to the left of the screen and keep running down that hall. There is an L dark near a door, which is currently locked. <laughs> At okay. the end of the hallway are two plug boxes and to the door near them to the researcher rest room. Why would there be different? Oh, there is oh, no good answer. Oh, because the other one has fucking ammo in it. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's fine. I don't really need the ammo, but I'll take the resuscitation. Researcher restroom. Fantastic. Is, is this going to be a toilet? Kale. Yeah. Well, There's your answer. <laughs> yes. I've been drinking here for five hours. <laughs> and listening to Shaggy. Before I turn into a killer. All right. Are you eating on the mic? Not close to the mic. <laughs> What, a key card level A is required to operate this device. Do I have that? No, I don't have a key card level A. All right, so after the encounter with Gale, what? Take the an aid. Also read the yellow journal for some more interesting ramblings. <laughs> also take note of that blue machine on the wall. We won't need it now, but we might, in all caps, need it later. What? Exit back to the previous hallway when you're done. So basically don't do anything <laughs> and leave. Yeah. That's yeah, essentially yes. 
2K, you're pathetic. Can't you see Dr. Crooked votes? Maybe you should be the one watching your back in case someone should accidentally inject you with poison. Oh, my God. Jesus. That's, that would be a horrible way to go. Be a horrible way to dad. So you've, you've exited back to the previous hallway. Head back in the same direction as the vent hole was in. Oh, what a horrible night to have a dad. <laughs> what a horrible night to have a vent hole. All right, and when that. you reach it, head down the screen from there. <laughs> Done. You'll find something on a side ledge. Before you can take it, uh -oh. though, uh -oh. something will occur. Oh, great. Uh-oh. It was very cinematic. Oh, <laughs> what is that? A blue raptor? Oh, God. Hell yeah. Smoke this fool. I did. Unless there's another one. Apparently there was an item here that you were about to take when I you were so it. rudely interrupted. I took it. Oh, you did. Okay. I've used... I'm now in the stabilizer design room. Yep, good. Oh, look, there's another DDK. Uh, yep, it's W. This is absurd. <laughs> Dude. All right, DDK code disc W, taken. Done. All right, now you have to guess oh. where you have to go back to. Storage for the important parts. Where do I have to go back to? You have to go back, exit back to the previous hall, and once back here, it's time to do a back trip. A back trip is, is, as one word. A back trip. I don't... To where? You, you know, just do a back trip, dude. <laughs> Come on, G. Just pull the back trip. Where am I back tripping to? To the last room you were in that had those fucking uh, computers in it, where you didn't have the full code for it yet. Oh my god, there was a second one. What a puss. <laughs> Alright. I am back. It says keycard A is required, though. And are you, I, are you I, at the passageway to experiment room? Or are you in the central stairway? Or no, are you in the I'm, rest station room? I'm in the rest, researcher rest room. Because uh, that is the place where we previously were. Oh, boy. And as instructed. No, oh, shit, no. It wanted you to go back to the vent, climb it, and drop back down to the other side at the passageway to experiment room. I Head see. back down the central stairway and make your way back to the rest station room. Where we got the map from. I see. By the way, when we reach down the central stairway, Rick will give Regina a call. Great. By the way, piping check passageway. I'll check, I'll check your fucking pipes. I think that's the idea. You've got bronchitis. <laughs> You've got bronchitis. Oh shit, where am I going though? Smoke them. You oh, need to fuck. Are you at the passageway to experiment room? You need to go from there to the central stairway to the rest station room. Shit. Alright. I really probably should have been saving some of those slugs to get some ammo because I am going to be crazy low on ammo. If I end up in the last fight of this and unable to beat it because I don't have ammo, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. I'll just shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> I won't care. I won't hesitate. Well, because, like, I should just dodge this guy. Well, tell me the name of the room I should be in. Uh, let's see, Lazarus, door, 
passageway to experiment room. Central stairway. Down to the central stairway. Okay. And from there, make your way to the rest station room. Regina. Rest station room. Okay. All right, Rick called me. Yep. He tells you that he's opened some sh shutters, but the shutters are useless for us. So ignore what he said and continue on your way. Like oh, my God. Once at the rest station, if you had dodged the dinosaurs in the previous room, at least one will bust through the door running out, but ignore it and instead check on the DDK lock door at the far end. This is the W door. I'm in the rest station. There's a locked DDK locked door at the far end. This is the W door. The password is waterway. Fuck. Alright, wait. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Where am I going? The other, the, the, the W door. The password is waterway. Dude, I cannot believe how many of these fucking things are in this game. It's it is bad. fucking real, dude. I really would love to watch a speedrun of this to see how this game is done in an hour and a half with all this bullshit in it. It's, dude, it's ab- <laughs> Disembarkation Immigration Office. Once the door's open here, just run for a little bit forward. Yep. Let's rob some more dead bodies. Get him with the rob sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Regina. It looks like this door leads to the port. Hmm. It'll take a while before I can pop this open. What's he saying? You copy, Mike? Take I'm a while mechanical. before I can pop this open. I got a lizard riding on my tail. I'm heading to the main elevator right now. I'll meet it at the ground level. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we're not the only ones having problems. I'm glad you're amused. But if that guy gets eaten, we're going to have to retrieve the key from that dinosaur's stomach. You've got to save him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, really? Yep. Oh, how do I even get there? <laughs> he says, so I think you should know the way. <laughs> you are kidding. Right. But before exiting this room, take the B2 key chip 2 from it. the terminal behind I where Rick is sitting. Take note of the number that's written on it. Also take the plug from the scientist's body which just gave you the message and now exit. Since this room is a save room, you can save all you want. Whoopity now do. make your way <laughs> to the main hall B3. It's locked tight. <laughs> Why do you let me try? Make your way to the main hall B3, bro. Uh, so it's what's got to happen. I'm really not entirely sure how to get there. So I'm in the save room. I get an exit. What do you mean? Just go north uh, and go. Oh, oh, okay. So leave the room. Make your first right. Follow all the way to the left. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go get another beverage while you're doing that. We're getting a beverage. Just slip in that purse. Get on that beverage, get on that beverage. Yeah. What are your beverage? Have a Mountain Dew. Get a beverage, yeah. Get a beverage. Yes, please. Let's see if I survive this or if the game, if I have if game over is on the screen when you get back. Nope. This is Bobby running solo right here, doing just fine. Oh boy, maybe not. Oh my god, I hate this guy. Oh, not even got blood on the oh, go, 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 go. I even blood on the floor, so we're okay. Serpentine! Come on, Regina. Oh, the carrying out room. Word is bond. 
Oh, yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. Gotta have that protein. That's what Regina fucking knows. She knows. Oh. Oh, dude, the T Rex just electrocuted himself. That was anticlimactic. That's it? <laughs> Did the T Rex just kill itself? <laughs> Did it kill Rick then kill itself? Oh my god, that would be awesome. It, if that's if that was the end of the game, you, I would give you, this game a ten out of ten. I'm a little worried that if I go close to it, it's gonna one shot kill me. In like a a jump scare. It is completely unconscious now. It's unconscious. However, it seems to be breathing very slowly. Maybe so it let's not me. take this opportunity to kill it. Let's well, not no, do that. Let's just do this and dance around. We'll semi grieve. <laughs> a little semi grieve. I've got a. I've got a little semi. <laughs> Every time I see a dinosaur on the Check ground. Check the area where the batteries are and take out the white battery. I'm, I'm checking under its <laughs> skirt. I want to see what's up under. If I, if I, dude, you're Regina and you're in this situation. You're going under that tail. You're seeing what's going on under there. You're absolutely like, yo, is there like a three foot dino dick here? Or is there like a giant dino pussy? I mean, you know, you, the I mean, scalies would want to know. That's for sure. You would be able to smell it from here. <laughs> Honestly, it would be like like overpowering. I'm going to be sick, I think. The stench. Take out the white battery. Now head to the of side of the doors dive, leading dude, to the backup dude, generator. It would B3. have an asshole, which is hilarious. Because <laughs> you could take one of the plugs and shove it up its ass and be like, fuck you. Oh, wait, what am I, I would do? definitely what am do I that doing? with one of the DDK discs. What am, what am I doing? We need to head to where the batteries are here and take out the white battery. I am advocating for <laughs> white battery. <laughs> for sodomizing like an unconscious T Rex. That and only that. That's the only time uh, it's appropriate to withdraw <laughs> consent. We're gonna take this thing and we're going to uh, I mean to to, to now not, head to, to the side head now head to the side door leading to the backup generator B three. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's hurtful. Is it this one? Head Great. to the area where their batteries are here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so make of that what you will. I'm a batteries are here kid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to grow up. I no, and you know what? <laughs> because of that, that's why I started Energine. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the backstory. That's it. I just sat with a single tear rolling down my window and was like, <laughs> "I want to be the giant." Are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, fuck, are you fuck, fuck! 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 What fuck, did you fuck, do? Fuck, fuck. I didn't check with the code. It was red, blue, green, white. Yeah, it is. Mm. <laughs> and this is not even a, really a puzzle. So. No, it's not. This is not a puzzle at all. All right. Well, I did it, and nothing happened. Don't you have to touch the thing on the other side? You have to switch. There you go, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this game has scenes of graphic penetration, and we just saw it. Oh, fortunately for us. We saw those batteries penetrate those holes. <laughs> if you're a child and you're watching this right now, those stop. You didn't Turn this off. After that check on the lever on the side. So this is the machine M should mature. work and the backup generator will kick in, activating the power. Is that what happened? Yes. Now head back out to main hall B3. Which is not what it's called. Carrying out room B3. It's called carrying out room B3. And there was not another version of this. Was there? This is a dual shock version, so... No, there was only one version. I mean, there was all dual shock. Hmm, maybe you're right. I don't know. And enter the large elevator. What? Enter the Pardon? large elevator. In this room? In it says, the head main... back out to main hall B3 and enter the large elevator. 
That's what it says. <laughs> big size. <laughs> yes. Elevator big size. <laughs> oh, Irina's high. <laughs> I got the port card key. Of course, this guy was carrying it because he's a sailor, so he's always hanging out in port. Trying to get us the body a little north of this one oh, has a DDK. Guess what it is? Oh, dude, it's got a DDK, bro. It's really problematic. <laughs> it really, it, it honestly is. And I got an anal plug. Awesome. Let's now we have all is. we need. Make your way back to the disembarkation you immigration are office. Shitting me. Make your back to the. Make your way back to the ice office. I have to pass one of those Theranosaurs again. Yeah, you sure do. I feel like I should have just fucking killed it. Probably. But I'm doing really bad on ammo. Well, then. I have uh, seven grenade rounds, and I feel like I'm going to need them. But I, it's, two of them, I think, kills the Theranosaur, or is it three? I feel like it's three. I, wait, fuck. I'm having a lot of trouble remembering where I need to go. That sucks. <laughs> Did this say the name of the room? Yeah, it's the Disembarkation Immigration Office. This is a... This Isn't is this it. it? No, 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 no. This is a control room. Oh, right, 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 right. Save all you wish. Oh, good. I have four plugs so I can get weapons if I need them. Um, I love that it's not even telling me where I need to go. That's great. Like, disembarkation office? Oh, no. This is where I did the whole puzzle to get the key. Yep. I think it's not... It shouldn't be far from here. Was it up here? No, that was the crane. Ugh. I don't. <laughs> well, you definitely have to go exit south through the save room. You definitely have to do that. So, exit south through the save room. Yeah, because there's nothing up there. That's not the disembarkation office. No, it's not. Okay. All oh, right, that's what I'm talking about. Heat bullets, word. Word. Okay, now we're talking. Now we've got... Boom. No. Grenade bullets, heat bullets, SG bullets. Oh. Uh, what is intensifier? Can I mix that with the ammo? Since so far nothing is mixed with the ammo. No, I can't. So why is that even a thing? Oh, interesting. That's cool. What are you concerned about the audio? What, about my audio? Yeah, unless your mouth is right where it is right now. It's, like, very, very quiet. All right, well, let's see. I need to take the south exit. At least I have a little more ammo now. Got a little something to play with. Passed out T Rex. <laughs> like, let's electrocute it and just have it lying there. Was what's the way to make our, our monster scary? Is have it completely knocked the fuck out. Fuck. I think it's this. I think it's the flashing door over there. 
So it must be. Let's try this way. Unbelievable. I'm a dumb dumb. How's that even possible? Passageway to the carrying out room. Are you close? Please, God, tell me that you're fucking close. I am. I need to do this. They're in a sword. That's right, bitch. That's nice. That's nice work. Oh my God. I'm waiting for my birthday card on Father's Day because I'm your fucking dad, bitch. <laughs> Even though my birthday is not on Father's Day. I'll accept a birthday card because I don't want no fucking boring ass Father's Day card. Like a bitch. I need you to go out and find You're a birthday card. You're getting a fucking tie, motherfucker. I want a, I want a fucking like a sympathy card. I'm sorry <laughs> you had to have me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I want... We have to go to the real, like, sad section. Oh, shit, fuck you, shit. Well, shit, fire, it's this fucking thing again. <laughs> oh, I'm in the disembarkation immigration office. Oh, my office. fucking God. This is where I met my wife. <laughs> I was putting her in handcuffs. Yes. And she rubbed me the right way. <laughs> After a couple beatings, she was on mine. Passageway to the port. What is that? I feel like this game has an underrepresentation of the like elderly. This Kirk's personal lab. <laughs> it's ageist, hundred percent. Gail is not old enough to do like a, a, a granny impression. According or to the uh, instruction manual, Regina is twenty-two. The third oh, so what is her occupation? <laughs> what could she possibly have done? to be in this position at 22. She would have had to go into the military at 18 and excel. What is happening even? What are we? So how are we supposed to get what around this thing? What was that? Either we find a way or we both end up as dino. There's dropping. supposed to be an was energy, a, so a, a third energy, energy vortex here, but I'll like there's nothing to represent that. Other there's nothing to represent that. To show that it like stretched in space time. Okay, so what's happening now? I would love to know the story. Apparently, you are near a vortex, and there is, yes, a DDK disc. Okay. Where am I going? Will I die if I move? I have no idea. Where, where does it say to go? An exit back to the previous room. The disembarkation immigration office. Yes. My no, fave. Yes. Now make your way back to the central staircase. Climb up the stairs and enter the security password. Make your way back to the central staircase. Where? Left? Got yes, it. yes, 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 yes. Left there. and then straight through. It's actually around. Oh my god. Four hours played. <laughs> Painful. It's a little rough, dude. I'm not gonna I'm lie. I'm really curious. Are you kidding? <laughs> Smokes, dude. What are you doing? I'm going to the correct door. Oh, nice. You are going to the correct door. Climb up the stairs, enter the security bathroom at the end. Oh, Lord of mercy. <laughs> what am I doing now up here? I need to get into the fucking security pass room. It's the save room. There's a raptor in here, though. Let's say hi. He's fine. He's good. The raptors are great. 
the Theranosaurs or whatever are not. I don't think that's anything close to what they're. They're all bulky. The chonkers, and weird. as they say. I'm body shaming them. Good. Guess what? It's time to use the DDK disc, bro. In here? Oh, yeah. In this terminal, the terminal you input the key chip data in the. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Yep, dude. It's DDK disc S. This doesn't say that. This is a slot for a key chip. Okay. I have a B2 key chip 1 and 2. B2 key there's chip 1 and 2. There's a, D, there's a DDK chip locked chip door here. Two. There's a DDK locked door here. A DDK locked door 2. It's supposed to be. Alright, I'm, I'm inserting the key chips here. Alright. Alright, I inserted the key chip. Will you take the key chip? No. Okay. Will you overwrite the data of the key chips? Should I be doing this? Well, there's nothing to discuss. There's nothing discussing it at all here, so. Alright, then I'll take the key chip. Just in case. The fact that I might have to come back and do this later is harrowing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Stabilizer. <laughs> That's very nice. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it better when you said when you entered come stabilizer why does it say Saturday baby no I use <laughs> fever yeah I don't know because it's bad because this is very bad this is the worst oh system. oh because there is a way to decode yeah it's it's horrible it's horrible. It's awful. There's no. There's nothing redeeming about it whatsoever. What's the password? What is the password? Stabilizer. You're writing. You're in the process of writing it out. I want to make sure that it wasn't stabilizing. Like stabilizing. Like no. It's good. Stabilizer. After I guess an accident on the way to the since hospital. This is, <laughs> since this is a save room. I would advise you to save before you exit the area. Great, thanks for the fucking parking. Thanks for the fucking free parking. I'm in parts storage, which Good. is also Good, that's where you're supposed to be. What my underwear is. <laughs> Everybody's is. Hey listener, so is yours. Probably, unless you're going commando, in which case word to you, doesn't that chafe? Word to you. You go commando too long, it's like a free space. Is <laughs> what did that say? Who knows? Did you just drain her, her, her giant energy? Yes. She worked really hard for it was, that. It was energine in reverse. It's our competitor. Head forward through the sliding Ooh. door. Once through it, don't bother going to the path leading to the left of the screen because there are two locked doors here we can't open. Instead, head down and unlock the door from this side and enter through it. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh. Yeah, it actually might be better for me to just do it. I just did it, honestly. Is this, I don't even know if this is the door I'm trying to go through. It looks like we've been to this screen like a billion times before. Yeah, but I've, I've of course we're going to a screen I've already been to. Oh, the, the gun got knocked out of her hand. That's wow. cool that that can happen. What are you doing? I'm trying to get... I'm stun-locked by these guys, basically. And you can really take quite a fucking... You can take quite a punishment. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> wow. Researcher restroom is not where I'm supposed to be. Well, now I know what danger actually looks like. No, you're supposed to go back to the experiment room hall. Go out of here, make a right, and go all the way to the end. Okay. When you got into that last... Oh, wait, you know where you're going? Oh, I'm in the experiment room. Okay. 
from where you enter, head up the screen, past the vent hole that we came in here from earlier, but this time open the laser fence beside it. Recover your health. What the fuck does that mean? Like, then I'll get sick again? Are they really sleeping? That's so cute. Oh shit. There you go. Wait, I, I said yes! I said yes! <laughs> no! Fuck! <laughs> Go to the other side of the end, you'll find a big door locked with level C clearance. Since you have the card, you can enter it. Take the resuscitation before you enter. Now enter to stabilizer experiment room. Let me not say the thing about the resuscitation first. <laughs> oh god, dude, look what it is. Look what it is. Oh my god. DDK. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Oh god, and another one of these raptors. Where After I that, head to the far corner of the room. Take care of the single raptor in here if you wish to. Now, at the far corner, there's a cabinet with something inside it, but it's locked. No fret. I'm here to tell you the code. Input the code 1281 in it, and it shall open. These are the final parts for your shotgun. Nice! Oh. That's excellent. Let's see if it kills him. Oh my ah. god! <laughs> what a dingleberry. Alright, now he says something concerning here. Now we have both the D, 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 K code and input discs. But before we go there, I would like you to go on a little side trip. No, what? <laughs> my thoughts exactly. Wait, he says we have the D, D, K. And the input, yeah. We do, we do have those things, actually. Why does he want us to go on a side quest? To what end? I'm checking. Oh my god, dude. I have no idea if this is necessary or not. So, like, we're gonna have to do it. Let's just do it. All right, it says head directly to the security pass room. The security pass That's room. the one where Regina set off the security alarm when you entered. Which seems like a hundred years ago. At least I have some shotgun. Stop. That was it. On your go, fucking go, heels, bro. Oh, nipping at my little heels. All right, what did he say now? Go to the security bathroom. I really do, actually don't know if that's what this is. Well, I have no idea either, so. I would say this is Why not does it. he want us there? This is the little trip he wants us to go on. I'm trying to think about where that room was. It was the very first thing that you encountered when you got to this area of the game. Remember you walked in that thing and you were like, hey, this is cool. And it was like the fucking x-ray type I thing. I do. I'm just trying to remember how to get there. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's this. I legit have no fucking clue. Not even the slightest idea. Well, this fact is no help. <laughs> Like, this is gonna take me to a save room. What I could do is go back, kill those two raptors, and see if it's one of those rooms. Uh, I mean, sure, yes, that's an option. But, like, I'm getting low on rounds. Because I don't know. I'm going to the save room, and then that's gonna take us. Presumably down to facility B3. Is that where the scanner was? <sighs> You're not gonna like this, but I have no fucking idea. I know. I know you don't. But I'm just at least trying to think aloud rather than oh, just thinking okay. in silence. Alright, I think it's through here. Because I'm pretty sure all that shit we saw with those rappers was new-ish, maybe? Security pass room. Is that what we're looking for? I'm here. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Great. Wow, okay. Once you're back here, head into the small inlet office via the door. Yeah. Check on the machine on the side. You will see two slots on each side. First, take note of the number written on the B2 key chip 2. And remember it. Enter the key chips in... Enter the key chips in and enter the code, which is 0392. Great, so I didn't need... This, the, the, at the end of this, we're going to get to the end, it's going to be written by Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> <laughs> I think this FAQ is giving me gastric distress. 0392. Guess what? It's time for a new puzzle, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> and dare I say, it's very easy. It's... It's difficult for me to explain it all in words. It's better if the people do it on their own. Yeah, thanks. I got it. Do you see the solution here? What? On the right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. They say it's the solution's on the screen, too. Oh. <laughs> This is riveting. Sucks so much dick. <laughs> like, as we keep saying, there is no reason for this. There's no reason whatsoever. No fucking reason for this. So when I pound you like this, <laughs> and when I bang you like that, and this puzzle sucks, and it's not coming back. <laughs> so when I'm failing like this, and then I rage quit like that. <laughs> there was a dino crisis, it's all coming back to me. Oh my god. This is uh, fucking horrible. It, this is this is the definition of a 2BD. <laughs> oh, fucking fuck, fuck. Like, how can we most test our audience's attention to continue playing this, this is, game? Right. Like, how? just how much will our customers put up with? What will they, what will they put up with? Like, look at what we're doing. 
There is nothing what interesting or engaging will or compelling about this in any way, shape, or form. No, but the good news is your dad is good at puzzle games and good at bullshit like this, so... Is he? Very. Oh, 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 okay. So, while it's going to take a couple of tries... Oh, shit, oops. Oh, I had the wrong one. While it's going to take a couple of tries to get this just right, it will get there. Uh, we're going to have to do this. Then should be able to mm, should do this. And then that. Oh my god. I'll take the uh, applause SFX. I'll, I'll just, you could add that in post. I don't have that in the, on the soundboard. You so. can add it in post. This needs like a standing of like when Leonardo DiCaprio won his Academy Award. That is what you can What did he win it for? Right here, The Revenant. Really? Yeah. Did you watch that movie? Uh, no, I watched the bear fight scene. I heard the movie was awesome and that I should watch more of it. I only cared about the bear fight scene. People were convinced it was a courtesy Oscar because he's deserved one for so long ago. Uh, for so long, that is. And that they just gave it to him for that one because that was the year. Because they already passed, passed him by on the ones that he should have won it for. On, on like all these other tremendous films that he should have won an Academy Award for, like Inception or Once Upon a Time. Well, actually, he got it before Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. He easily could have won one for that. Have you seen that film? No. Oh, my God, is it good. I tried, and he's dude, so awesome dude, in it. I tried watching it like three separate times, and I kept turning it off because it was so boring. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe I just love that era of Hollywood. That movie, I I was, and not only was I like, blown away, the ending is so unbelievably Dude, fantastic. I still couldn't, I couldn't tell you anything about what that movie's about. Nothing. It's like, it's I'm like, also extremely fascinated. It's like him and Brad Pitt in like a car driving around. It, That's as much as I know about it. I'm also very fascinated by the entire Manson murders, and that is a huge part of the plot. I mean, that's cool, but like, I don't know. It's a phenomenal Tarantino movie, and it's a phenomenal movie in general. And he so wait, is so how so was good the how was the revenant bear fight scene? It's dope. He's fighting a CGI bear. It's really Did good. It, like fuck him up. It's an intense. Bit. It's like I'm pretty sure what happens. Like I don't remember. Do they fall down a hill together? He's just like walking in the woods, and a bear shows up out of nowhere, and there's like a vicious fight. And he, I think maybe they fall down a hill together, and that's how the the bear does die. But like he's in bad shape. He's like rocked. But Does it, like, yeah, spill his intestines out and stuff? I don't think it's that bad. Where are we going oh. now that I've done this and got... Wait, what did I do just then? After the puzzle is done, Regina will automatically take out the key chips if you did it correctly. Yeah. Now exit yeah. out of this room to the parts storage room. Save your game before you go at the parts storage room. Then run forward, pass through the sliding door, and this time turn to the left side of the screen. Hold up. Let's just get to the parts storage room. I told you to ignore this before. Yeah. I'm going to the parts storage room. Yes. Exit out of this room to the parts storage room. Save your game before you go. Let's hope this is the parts storage room. At the parts storage room. Uh, this is the passageway to the oh, I'm gonna area. fucking hang myself. Oh. oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ on the cross. Oh, JFC. <laughs> Dude, Jesus Cristo on the cross, dude. Yeah. I wish there was a JFK RPG. <laughs> Me too. Thank God. Okay. All right. Run where? forward, pass through the sliding door, and then turn left. Nice. Nicely done. You mean turn her right, our left. Um, I mean what it says yes. on the screen. Yes, 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 yes. Then what? Turn to the left side of the screen, and I told you, he says, I told you to ignore this before. Yeah. At the end of the hall, there's a door locked with DDK locks. And since we already have the DDK D disc, we can open this What's door. This door's password is something you've been hearing all this time. Can you guess it? Garfield. It's my dad. <laughs> the password is Dr. Kirk. Is it really? Yes, spelled out, Dr., not Dr. I, like every time we do this, which is a lot, I comment on it and I'm gonna comment again here. 
This is the worst mechanic I have ever seen in any game. <laughs> in any game? In any game. <laughs> it's the absolute worst. That is bold. I hate that she's limping around like this. I feel so bad. Why don't her. you just heal her? I have no healing items at all. You went from having all that stock shit to I have, no healing items? I have items? all these resuscitations, dude. Oh my I have, fucking dude, lord. I have four resuscitations so I can die I'm not four impressed. times. I'm not impressed. I can probably die and be resuscitated. What? A slot to insert the key chip. Oh, I have... The key chip. She better have pulled that shit back out. One of the key chips on the shutter will open. After this one is open, run forward some more and another. Similar large shutter will appear. Use the second key chip here on the panel. This feels it. like the end of a game. And this one shall open but to I've been not that even close. For two hours. Dude. Not, not even, even close. Not even close. Like, what more could. Do you feel like we're at the end of the game? I've scrolled ahead. Dude, we have like 10 pages of the pack left, at least. And how many pages in are we? Uh, like, I don't know, I have no idea. Okay, great. But I'll tell you this, we're not even close to the end of the game. Okay. I really wish she weren't just limping. Maybe we should have played better. I wish she had a little springer stuff. I've been playing great. As if. I think all the commenters will say I've been doing a grand job. If I bet they'll be like, wow, Bobby, this. you really did a great job. Rick, I've located As the main pilot. generator of the third energy. Great. Never since Ikari Shinji has been there been a more <laughs> reluctant pilot. <laughs> That's true. Whose sacrifices have done more for humanity than Uptown Bobby. But that's a also that's a cool shot. We're losing sight of all the cool shots now because some Garbo is happening. Actually, there haven't been a lot of cool shots recently, but this is cool. Will <laughs> this I press is the cool. button? Should I press the button? I pressed it. Oh good. Let's put the safety gates up. OSHA. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm limping. Oh, also, she limps like Leon Kennedy, which suggests she, dude, it's, it's like that the same. It's, it's the same. It, that they are related. <laughs> oh yeah, that's just my cousin. We call her Jine. <laughs> oh my cousin Jine. Yeah, the she's in the special here. Run forward. You'll find the huge shutter blocking away. There's a panel on side. Certain preparations Keychips have to be made. When the shutter will open after one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Forward Hold up, bro, 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 bro. Use the second. Can we, can we it. slow down this a little bit? This one shall open too. I'm trying to make sure with, once you've opened both of the shutters. Have you opened both of the shutters? Have you opened both of the shutters? I don't even. I opened a bridge. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Okay, so I opened the bridge, but there's more I have to do. When your backing control runs straight forward and raise the camera and and, and, and and the camera changes, it'll raise a bridge, leads you to the central control system. We don't have anything. To third do energy now. control room. So just uh, leading into third energy control. Okay, good. Once in here, run a few paces ahead and go down the stairs. Limp. Yeah, down, down the stairs like, nice. a, like a junkyard <laughs> dog. <laughs> like a junkyard dog is given up. Oh on itself. my god. My my lupus. <laughs> I'm sorry to anybody who has lupus. You know, Take them down funny. to the lower floor. One. Is this a DDK? It's a key card B. Great. Well, Take, this right <laughs> Take this right now. Take this right, right now. Right now. <laughs> From here, head head up the screen and read the journal on the shelf. Which I don't need to, but I some can. yeah, some more ramblings about the third energy and the good dock and the pie stock is more like yeah. It. Now sucks. from where the shelf is, head right of the screen and move the cabinet you see here. Behind it is an intensifier. What does that even do? No fucking idea. Some of these things do great stuff. Some of them do nothing. Some of them do absolute pice. I'm glad I moved all that just as garbage. Increases the power power of a particular item. Cool. Let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. See. Oh, it'll increase the power of an aid, the anal aid. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm sure I want to mix them. Great. It makes for more. 
Takes more than one shot. So I made one shitty dart that it specifically <laughs> says it will take more than one. <laughs> that was what the intensifier did. Nice. Now head back to the upper floor by the same staircase we took to get down. What? For real? Once you're back on oh, the upper floor. Oh, I remember floor. that staircase. So did we come all the way down here just to get the intensifier? No, to get the little V card. Oh, I did get the V card. Yeah. Turn to Regina's right and start heading down the screen. You'll see a door at the very corner. Enter it right now. <laughs> oh, let's see what this is, though. Dude, you are not handling this girl very well. Handling her pretty fucking well, given the circumstances. <laughs> given that they are... They haven't handed me a healing item in, like, f an hour of gameplay. If I had known that this is what what her danger looked like I wouldn't have been using healing items before <laughs> I when know. I was in perfect I, <laughs> I realized that like once I saw that I was like oh that's how you're supposed to know how you're in damage so in other words almost every time you used, used healing items prior I to this I didn't need to you weren't even damaged at, at all, all. <laughs> power frequency room yeah good that's where you're supposed to be okay the first thing you want, you'll notice in here is an injured female scientist on the corner Check on her, and 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 her John will tell you that she is dying. Ain't nothing we she can do. She is unconscious. She is dying. <laughs> There's something I can do for her. <laughs> <laughs> now, to the right of the screen, from where the injured lady is, you'll find a big blue lighted panel on the wall. Lady, check on it. Smell my butt. <laughs> check You're dying. on it. Check on it, and you will start another very annoying grid-style puzzle. Did he say that? Yes, he did. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, do you see what we're seeing labeled part A, part B, part yeah. C? Do you see this? Okay. Turn the B part left once, place it on the grid. Okay. Don't turn the C part at all place it on the grid okay turn the a part left once and place it on the grid fantastic okay. exit out of the room from the same door you entered from and now directly opposite of the door you'll find a control panel use it right now This is great. Here. Generator test complete. Remember, a special key card is required to operate the generator. <laughs> wow. All right. Now what? Read the yellow journal here for some info. Don't read the yellow journal. Head back into the power frequency room. Regina will spot the female lady. And uh, some things will happen. I think it'll let out. Yes. Take a scissor? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. She was already dying. Did she explode? She's been shot to death. Well, why is there vomit everywhere? Did she have explosive diarrhea? <laughs> Doesn't look very red. I think she had explosive diarrhea first. 1281. Fantastic. That was the number of sexual partners she had. She was <laughs> trying to brag, but she didn't realize that Regina was at 3192. <laughs> oh, we've already used this to get the shotgun part, so it's useless for us now. Great. Like, why did you tell me to do that, then? Well, this Head is, in the opposite direction. Scene. We haven't checked this area yet. Well, this, this is automatically pushing me in here. In Good. Scene. Are you in the pathway to personal yes, labs? Yes, yes. Here you'll spot Kirk running away. <gasps> yes. And I'm slowly limping after him. 
run forward around the corner and enter the door at the end to enter Dr. Kirk's, Dr. Kirk's personal, personal lab. lab. Oh, yeah. In here, just run forward and a scene will begin. Cool. Regina will oh, be raped boy. by Dr. Kirk. Of course. Or wrapped. A name for myself. It says wrapped, R-A-P-P-E-D. Open your eyes. Hey, yo, freak. Regina. You your precious creation is nothing more than another <laughs> weapon to be misused. I'm pulling out my phallus, but you can call you it Melina. You seem to have a small degree of superficial <laughs> intelligence. It's too Bars. bad it is wasted on one who is about to die. Rick, our target is <laughs> being secured. Report here immediately. Why wouldn't he just like Sorry shoot to interrupt Kirk in your the lecture, fucking leg? How did he get you away from saying... him to begin with? Right. Yes. I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer like selective snake? space to an alternate <laughs> time-space continuum. Metal Gear. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, Third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh huh. And how many people were sacrificed before Makes you made no this sense. discovery? <laughs> Who cares? Like, it's the, the only organic matter that was transferred irrelevant. with these like twenty Let's dinosaurs. Just say that there were many. No mosquitoes, Extremely flowers, plants, rocks. Men. Don't you think? Spoken I mean, like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the well, device. No, no problem. Like John no Wayne. problem no there, the Pilgrim. No problem. Right? Space Where time energy continuum only has enough room for one of us. <laughs> Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Take off your lab coat and give me your Forever 21 Very box. good, Doc. <laughs> now you understand our situation. We live, you live. We live, you live. Now, how big are your nipples? <laughs> Finally, keycard fucking. Okay, I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room. Yeah, I'll floor sit B3. here and watch this harmless oh, fucking idiot doctor that I can just tie up while you do man. everything. Let's get yeah, I'll sit here and do nothing while time. you do all yeah. the I, oh, By the way, I've already get lost the doctor multiple times, but I'll keep watching. The disk contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. <laughs> we don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying this to... Dumb bitch the doesn't devices. fucking have any what? idea to do that down there. She won't make it! It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? Which is the easy method? It requires ammo, but Gail's method is easy. But it requires ammo? Yeah, well, that's what it says. Can you do like a quick to check to see what it says? 
It says from this point you'll run straight and enter Dr. Kirk's library room, and here you'll find Just Kirk, quick, Gail's AB like, gunner, and her beside her. She will store Kirk's prints. Now she's on Kirk ID number, exit the room, head up the screen. We enter here, came out, turn here, take the door back to the passageway, and pass the to unlock her. Uh, you'd have to come in this room if you're doing this, blah, blah, blah. Go from there. Security pass, rest station, cargo shutters. There's grenade ammo. There'll be a single black dinosaur. Kill it now. Check through the boxes. Grenade boxes, two plugs. Elevator, yeah, just two gals. Okay, fine. let's do it. Whatever you do, don't drop your guard for a second. Good advice. All right, before we take this next one, I need a bio break. Okay. Pause. the world this is this all this and we're back and to stuff that little pus we are back regina <coughs> is as regina returns she is as hurt as ever look there's a camera on the floor that's helpful we are in what I hope is the last stretches of this game. Do you guys remember the area where we first fought the black dinosaurs? Absolutely. There was a shutter there from where we took the CO area key. Inside that area was an LVA locked door. That's where we have to go. Actually, it tells me it, I can actually see it. I, well, that's a pleasant change. The question is, how do I kill myself? Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Kirk's library room. Should I be going in here? Yep. And enter the Dr. Kirk. Enter the Dr. Kirk's library room. And here you will find Kirk sitting and Gail is aiming a gun at her. Yeah. In here. Go besides Kirk and then use the FC device on him. Oh, cool. Thank the Lord. In Jesus' name in Bethlehem. We receive. <laughs> it's nice. It's good. It's very pious. Uh, yeah. Third energy is the final weapon. If the third energy reaction exceeds a critical point, it evokes overload phenomenon. When this happens, we can't change or control it. The energy Man, I can't chain imagine what's going to happen at the end of the game. It disintegrates the surrounding air. What does that even mean? The explosion will... That's not an explosion. Will vaporize anything in the near vicinity. We can control the area where the overload occurs. The third energy will become the ultimate weapon. Why... The power of the weapon depends on how much energy we can restrain before the explosion occurs. In other words, it's going to put me to sleep. You need to stop. <laughs> the basic so it's like, why? Why? How is this different from like a nuke? It's not. Like, oh, nukes do not transport dinosaurs to the future yeah. from the past. <laughs> yeah, yeah when that you, is how it is when, different. Yeah, when you use a nuke, <laughs> it does not accidentally bring dinosaurs. Like, so uh, in a lot of ways, you could say that a nuke would be safer. J. Robert Oppenheimer and Dr. John Hammond were not the same person. <laughs> Contrary to what this game would lead you to believe. 100% true. Spared. Yeah, have you no gone? No expense. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> have you gone besides Kirk and used the FC device on him? I'm, I'm trying, but it said it cannot be used here. So now I'm going to get right in his fucking face. And ask him why he looks like Dude, ask he's him. You gotta ask him. the lead singer of Shiny Toy Gods. <laughs> <laughs> Sign my autograph book. Oh, she got on her fucking knees in front of him. I don't appreciate that. And I bet there were some tortling people. Although I have to say, I think the way they have... You know what? This, I feel like... This, I haven't brought this up. But, uh -huh. th but I do think this game deserves some props. For it being 1999 and them handling her as a female protagonist as as people have been begging for the last 23 years, which is it's completely coincidental. Like, 
I mean, it also speaks to the fact that she has no personality, neither does anyone else in this game. You could swap her for anyone, but, like, she doesn't have, a, like, a super sexy bod or, or outfit. I hope one of her alts is, but she does it. And the fact that she's they don't talk about she's a woman. They don't say, this from they, the guy who was hoping that we would get Diana's revenge, revenge dress. dress. They say that would be amazing. As an alt. They say, like, they this her boss thinks she's incompetent because he's a fucking asshole and he hates her buddy even more although her buddy is like a black gay man so <laughs> clearly That's also true. obviously this there's like i don't know what kind of commentary they're making here but i do ap- <laughs> I, I don't do, know what kind of commentary i do appreciate that like i and on look jesus look at that honestly the it looks uh, like dark brand i don't know bit. where the sjw's are, he looks like dark brand where the, where the sjw is at to be like uh okay the old white man is the is the real shithead in this the woman is a hero who it's is a hero just because like and she does not talk about men at all she what's is that the Bechtel test the Bechtel test is two women have to have names and have a conversation about something that is not a man Oh, I guess we're not passing the Bechdel test considering this is all- Wait, no, no, no. No. They, they, what about when she was conversing with that half-dead woman who later- <laughs> but She wasn't conversing oh, with they her. Oh, they weren't conversing. She was simply that's making an observation of, about the fact that she was almost dead. That's true. Okay. So, right, so that's not the Bechdel test. So, right, no, womp, womp. That, has, womp, womp. that has- It has failed it because this game only has one woman of all of the- uh, But there's also only four characters in this game. So, we have speaking roles. Like, I mean- There've been a couple, but she is the, the fact that she's the only woman does not mean she's the only woman in this squad because it's only you in the third energy area. No, I had to leave the lab. I I got his fucking finger. Wait, did I get his fingerprints? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I got him. There's a fingerprint save there already. It doesn't say who's. Well, let's take it on faith that it's his. Oh great. Should I go back and try to do it again? Well, it asked you if you would overwrite the data that was on there when you were doing it. Did you select yes? I think I said yes, but I was really talking some shit about the gender politics of this game. You were. Well, I think it deserves to be mentioned because it's kind of a big deal for 1999. I mean, this like it doesn't seem like much, but with the fact that we're having contact discussions about fucking Aloy's face seem like and much, titties, and it should not be much. It but shouldn't the, be. The sad state of here really culture in general nowadays pretty much demands that we at least comment right, on it fingerprint data has been collected yeah and i think it's great that here you go like here's a great example of how it does and to me it does make it more interesting this game would be way less interesting if you were gail and not regina i suppose that's true regina I suppose Re- that's true. regina as this, like, as you are, like, she's got red hair, she's a lady, she's not the typical protagonist of games like this. Of all Resident Evil, I mean, Claire Redfield, like, uh, probably another good example. I don't think anybody's ever like, you can't do it, you're a girl. Claire Redfield's like, I'm gonna fucking kick your ass. No, dude, if anything, they're giving her more responsibility. Yeah, more and more and more. Ada that, as well. That. Uh, dude, Capcom. Ada, wait, Ada. <laughs> Capcom's whole division that Shinji Mikami was a part of, and that whole this whole group, like apparently, like low key feminists, maybe in the late nineties. I think that's going a bit far. Weird time for. I mean, I don't know. There's no like, there's no none, none of the shit like what fucking Kojima was doing at the same time, <laughs> Merle. <laughs> like where you can literally get Meryl in her fucking panties in the bathroom. That was 1997. This is 1998, 1999. We've come a long way, it's a baby. a lot more respect. Look, look, look. Her ass is not fucking at all out of control. <laughs> her titties are no, they're, they're very present. Home. I would not call them out of control. They are, they are, they're normal titties. Oh my god, can I read the walkthrough for the love of God? Yeah, uh, please do. Okay, where am I going? Go besides Kirk and use the FC device on him. I Re- done. Regina will store Kirk's prints on the machine. I will tell you what his ID number is when we're about to change the, the ID smashing. card. Smashing. Where the fuck am I going? Then the next paragraph is now after you've gotten Kirk's ID number, exit the room. Done. I'm gonna head up the screen besides the door we entered here from in the first place. There is also a third door. Unlock it from this side and enter it. You'll come out directly in the third energy area. Oh my god, no disrespect to people with brain cancer, but like that <laughs> line gave me brain cancer. Oh. I think the guy who wrote this had brain cancer. 
Really? That would be my summation. Yes. Based on the amount of difficulty that I've had up parsing this language, I would I would sued I would assume that he has brain cancer well, or some pa- sort of de- degenerative Wait. cognitive affliction. A degenerative affliction? Degenerative. Are you in the third energy area? Is that a general affliction? You need to be in the third energy area. It sounds like he needs energine. <laughs> Only it will cure any genital affliction. That's not the case. Oh my god, third energy area. I did it. From here, take the door next to you back to the passageway. This looks like fucking Fantasy Star Online. I don't like Fantasy Star I like Fantasy Star I liked, 4, I liked but Fantasy I do not like Fantasy Star Online. I like Fantasy Star Online in 2002. I don't like it anymore. Uh, I mean, it was okay in PSO. I remember Ezra playing a lot of oh PSO my god. And, and me wanting oh, to Oh, fuck. Die. Oh, fuck. Oh, way to waste the fucking ammo. No! Oh my god. <laughs> Smooth. I feel like a waste to not finish him off. We need to head to the parts storage area. Better be the fucking part storage area. Oh, thank God. So, Dad, store my parts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and from this hall, go directly into the ALVL locked door, which comes on the left side of the screen. Amazingly, I knew what you meant. There's some grenade launcher parts in the back side of this room. Take thank them and head back God. out to the previous area. That's it. Yep. Just get the launcher parts. Yep, get the launcher. I got the GG parts. It's GG for these dinos, bitch. <laughs> it's fucking GG Zo. <laughs> Dude, GG. The Regina Custom <laughs> Grenade Pistol. Look at that shit. That is fucking Oh hot. my god. That's I wonder if she'd hot, hold that to my head while we. You know. What? What, what, what are you about to do? Tell me more about oh. how respected the female protagonist is in this game. <laughs> well, we could debate the politics of... <laughs> debate the politics How many polygons yeah. she's made of, because it's probably me. <laughs> Tell, have you gone back out to the previous room after getting the GG parts? Yes. Okay, from there, go to the security pass room and exit from the other side. From there, go to the security pass room and exit out to the other side. Then head down the central staircase, then back to the rest station. Ah, yes! Oh, 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 wow! Bobby's on a roll! Head down to the central staircase. Then to the rest station. I'm bleeding bad. Awesome. But I'm not in caution. I think the blood leads them to you. I don't know. The blood seems like a mechanic that it was not fully thought out because there's no situation where they're not already nipping at your fucking heels. They love to be nipping. <laughs> Right up his asshole. <laughs> Fantastic. Fuck you. You've gone extinct, bitch. Get I wish to the I rest station. Get to the rest station. Please. I really want a mushroom stamp. Don't do that. Oh, there's there's uh, the Tyrannosaurus down here. The central stairway. Where to after? The rest station. I'm not entirely sure where that is. No one is. Fuck. Nice shot. That was a fucking waste and a half. <laughs> I better say rest station. Yes. Oh, 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 thank God. Make your way from here to the main hall B3. From there, head to the control room B3. Um. God, they're really good at biting and grabbing. Sure. <laughs> they are. 
They like reach. Why did they not? That's not a real dinosaur. They can't be. Why wouldn't they just use a real dinosaur? I don't know. What are you doing? I was waiting because their their sounds and their presence are awesome. Seeing their models is cool. Okay. Are they trying to give Fair you a, a hug? Now go to the control room B3 and exit out the other door in there. It soups awk that they want to give you a hug because it's like, I don't really know you. <laughs> it is. And it's like, I don't fuck with you. That T-Rex is still taking a nap. Too. If you want to talk about a way to make the big bad, like, so, so fucking, ugh, neutered. Let's, we'll show him passed out and make you dance around him. Like, for so long. This motherfucker should be gone now, and I should be like, oh, shit, where'd he go? Are you in the control in B3? Well, I am. Great. Exit out uh, the other door in here. I'm just checking to see if I have any... Well, I have some hemostat, and I am bleeding. Maybe I could use a recovery aid to turn that into something better. Oh, sweet. Three med pa- Oh, fuck, though, but those are the... Two med pack Emmer made. Boom. That is. Is it fantastic? Is it's, it good? It's it's what I was hoping for. So and you let's look here. Yes. Diggity dig oh you know what I probably should have used that on my heat bullets. Nice. Smooth. But you know what? What's done is done. You know what really is concerning is there's no knife in this game. So it's like if you run totally out of ammo. You know what that tells me? Is there is no final boss fight. <laughs> well, that'll be interesting to see. Because there's no way they will soft lock you. I bet they would. <laughs> because in Resident Evil 2, you can knife Birkin to death. Yes. In yeah. fact, shout out to Birkin. B what's that streamer's name? Bokka Bok, who oh, I've seen knife Birkin to death like 50 times. The dude who plays like all the Resident Evil games is amazing. All right, general weapon storage. Is there is where I want to be? Yes. I need to go, go to the place. Boss to the left a little bit. Oh, shite. Oh, fucking. It tells. That was an interesting choice. This was the right choice. In special weapons storage. This is where I wanted to be, right? Uh. I can't believe how much garbage they wrote about the third energy. Like, this is not as interesting as the G virus and stuff. And also, there's like two memos about it. There's so many memos. Are you at the LVA door? Um, yes. And I Go through to special weapon storage, thank yes, God. Yes, that's where I am. Okay, in this room, run forward and enter the small door on the top wall. On the other side, just run upwards and take the, the small elevator to the upper floor. Once up, check the glass case right in front of where you are, and they shall open, giving you the actual stabilizer and initializer. All right, this is like getting the Mo disc. Take both of these and head back down the elevator. This is like the Mo disc, baby. Oh my God, I'm going to come. Why? Because I'm doing such a great job. Because yes. the end of this fucking game. Because you're doing such a fantastic job. I'm doing a fantastic job. Uh, look, we're, you're about to see the. You're going to see the end of Dino Crisis. Very. Oh my few, god. Oh, it's the initializer. Where's the stable? All right, I got the stabilizer and the initializer. Now what? Go back down the elevator. They are frozen. 
Thanks. Fantastic. Great. That's good. That's excellent. I, I hope whoever wrote that was really proud of themselves. <laughs> oh, it brings to a world. I mean, all this is really cool. Like, I like this. It's just, it's worn out. It's welcome. And I'll tell you also why is because we are all in this lab shit. The entire game has been shit. gray walls. Yeah, That's I, what I will say. The whole game, I, I don't mind industrial walls. shit like this. And there is a lot of variety in it. And you can do industrial really, really, really well. It's just so much lab and then when it's like oh where are we now oh we're going to another lab and now we're in another dude, lab it's and so more much more ddk it is so many discs so many keys so much lab it's really so dude it's really a lot storage even metal gear solid weapons. has some snow swept fields dude metal, gear, shit, metal dude. gear solid has Yes, for sure. So sub, it's no swept. There's the codec, there's, dude. There's, there's like lot. other stuff. I mean, Metal Gear Solid there's one so much has gray, so dude. Much. Dude, Metal there's Gear so Solid much gray in one this. has so much. You're going through the caves when you're fighting Sniper Wolf. And yeah, dude, shit. exactly. There's, like, dude, you're going in there's the so much variety. area when you are fighting. Every time Vulcan I look up Raven. from the back to see what room you're in, it looks as though you are exactly in the you same room the as you were in before. Melting area where there's lava. Yeah, plus there's, like, Gray Fox and, like, Metal Gear. Yeah, you know? where am I going like, now? You're just supposed to, All it said was go back down the elevator, and then it stopped. I went to, back down the elevator. Take both of these and head back down the elevator. Continue to afterwards. After you're done with collecting or making the two required parts, it's time for us to leave the hunt. Now you would remember that earlier we took the fingerprint sample of Dr. Kirk. Not forget to take it. So you don't even need right, to read that condescending garbage from the writer of this. Thanks. You have to go to security pass room. Uh, again? Fuck! I really should make note of where that fucking is on the map, so like, I can. Why am I reading a walkthrough if you're not telling me how to go I, back so to I the fucking stop place? Stop trying to figure out where it is. Oh. Is there like a T Rex in here? There's two of these guys. Cause the security. I'm seriously like I'm gonna. Well, have I, what am I doing? I have to go all the way back to the security pass room. That's what it says. That is nuts. I feel like the security pass room is. It's all the way back the way we came. Great, I'm glad that dude whacked, whacked me. Alright, I need to use oh my God. a med pack M before I fucking die. I'm being slapped by this bastard. <laughs> dude. Oops, shit, shit, shit. Five hours played. <sighs> this is dedication. This is respect for the craft. <laughs> I'm gonna swing around. I need to make a hard run. Just impotent. Impotent. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> impotent. <laughs> I could just empty grenade rounds into his fucking face if I had him to spare right and now. And like you know that he's gonna come back to life. Uh, yeah. And you're gonna have to deal with him, likely with a rocket launcher dropped from some but, sort of helicopter. Uh, right. By the end of the game. But I've seen you him know that so that's much. I, it was it was cool when it would pop up. Oh, fucking Christ. He'd pop up and I'd be like, oh shit, there he is. Whoa, that's exciting. And now I'm just like, whatever. Oh, come the fuck off. What? How could that kill me when I literally oh just Oh my god, they're going to tear you apart? No, it's going to give me a resuscitator. We'll use the resuscitating medicine. Let's see if I can fucking juke him this time. Nope. 
Oh yeah. Oh, oh juke his ass. Oh, 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 oh. dude, you shoot, dude, dude. We, sh I wish we could pause it so you can see the instant replay of that juking. Timestamp on that juke. Look at this. Yo, that was. I, I, I did get hit. If, it, if I had not gotten hit the first time, time that would be beautiful. Timestamp on that juke. But yo, the second one was. Dude, throw the timestamp on that juke. Dude. Second one was pretty impressive. Gee, throw the timestamp on that juke. Which way did I just come time in? Timestamp on Fuck. that juke, boy. I've used the card. Oh shit. I think I can just take an elevator straight there now. Maybe. Oh. It's possible to access the B2 floor with the card you have now. Yeah, I think that's where I think this might take me. Why not? All you, all I need all I know is that you have to get to the security pass room and use a computer in there that uh asks for Kirk's registration code and ID yeah. card. Yeah. That's all I know. I realize that that's not super helpful, and I'm sorry. Yeah. We'll be okay. Yeah. Where am I trying to go? The security room? You know the one where you yeah, walked yeah, through yeah. and saw like the fucking... Yes, the yes, I know exactly what you're... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's exactly where you gotta go. There's a computer the in there. The the dead lady. Yeah, there's a computer in there. I, again, every time I go in there, I forget to check what spot it is on the map. So we can stop hunting for it every single time and being like, where is it again? Oh my God, that dude was taking a nap. He was chilling. I feel like I killed him last time. First. Oh my god. Maybe it's the save room right there. Okay, we should be just go and go let's just sit on the left. Right. Yes, it's still here. Oh, legendary. legendary All right. Now, it's this saber on, on B2. And what am I doing in here? For There's the love a computer of in here. Of course there that is. That you need to use the ID card with, and Kirk's registration code will be required. The registration code is 31415. Ah, oh, spoilers. Jeez. Oh, shiver me fucking Oh, dogs. you're giving me us. Oh. <laughs> oh. I've not seen a spoiler like that since my street racing days back in two <laughs> 2004 when I owned a Civic. The beautiful creature. Oh my god. With this dead woman, right? Like, didn't don't even shove her off to the side to, like, maybe not look at her as much. What am I putting in here, though? Key card A? ID card. ID card. Thirty-one forty-one five. Great sound. Shagadelic baby. Oh my god. It's me, Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst news I've heard all day. <laughs> I love the swinging sixties. <laughs> Where? All right, what the fuck are Save we doing Save your game now? in this room, and then you make your way to the third energy area B two. Oh my god! It's a good thing I just came from there, so I know. Save it if you haven't. I 
I literally just came from there, which is awesome. Third energy area. Not supportive, <laughs> dude. I'll, I'll is, have our erstwhile like, listeners seriously. know that Pete's face is not Pete. <laughs> seriously, looks like uh, he's he's in the passenger seat, and I am driving a Honda Civic 120 miles in a school zone. Dude. And I'm doing a great job right now. I have a death's head rictus. On I my face wish right we had now. a live Twitch chat who could be like they would be pissed. They'd be like, "Yo, dude, why are you doing our I'm boy Bobby seriously? dirty like that?" He's really I'm trying so hard. I'm so close to the end of my oh, pathetic wait. rope, dude. Dude, this? I think I just passed it. Oh, God. Third energy area, B2. Look, your boy got you back oh, there. Oh, my God. Toot sweet. Oh, my God. Toot sweet. From here, head straight into the third energy control Which room. Which is literally where I just was. But oh, go. I my am, God. Fortunately, I I'm know the map like, now. Seriously, I am... I am... <laughs> I'm so close to having a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's too much. You need a Tylenol PM. I've, <laughs> I've been, you, you need Benadryl. <laughs> Dude, I, I am so close to having a panic attack. Oh, it's it's right. it's oh, it's there's there's some, there is so many labs. Uh, there, there is so dude, much. There's, there's, there's Robitussin on GoPop. <laughs> I'm on it. Dude. I'm getting you some. It has been so tap much, dude. Uh, you know what? You're not the one fucking figuring out what's going on here. Okay, bro. That's true. So you are doing a great job and a hard job navigating. Oh my god. There's no question Dude, about seriously, that. Seriously, the amount of nonsense and bullshit and tripe that I've had to sift through painstakingly to try to glean the you, actual instructions the navigation from this is a very fucking job. dense array of murderous text needs to be seen to be believed. Dude, dude, dude not not giving up on Gee, over it six is, hours dude, of it tank is seriously drills. can it just be stated also viewers dude, it is if you're still watching how good am i at tank drills how smooth have i made it look dude for her to move seriously, around seriously like my hands know. are starting to go numb from like your hands are going numb from scrolling i'm playing like, like dude it where, has right, been, where it, am i going next it has been so bad where are we going that next? I'm seriously thinking that the next time we do this i would actually prefer to control instead because it can't be as bad as what I'm having to do right now. I beg to differ. <laughs> what? And where am I going from the third energy stabilizer room, B2? From here, head into the third energy control room. I'm there. And head for the control panel, which is right opposite of the door with the shot dead female scientist we couldn't access before. Because we didn't have the clearance. Now we have it. I so did. check on the machine and Regina will be able to work it. The machine will operate itself and tell you to input the inter the, the initializer and the stabilizer. With, uh, when you're back in control of Regina, head back the same way we got in. Back to third energy area B2. Alright. I'm pretty sure that all happened while you were talking about how hard it is to read it. Thank you. <laughs> I was a little distracted, but I was do I was I was playing. I was doing my job. This is like Starship Troopers, man. All right, I'm in third energy area B2. Now okay. do I get to play with the fun device? When back out here, do you remember the bridge we raised but didn't cross? Well, now cross that bridge, I and once it. we reach the other end I of the panel, the, the thing on the far oh wall, boy. open it and place the stabilizer in it. The oh. machine will close, and the stabilizer will charge up. Now cross the bridge again and head to the direction of the door, which leads back to the passageway. Oh! But don't enter it. <laughs> All right, I put the stabilizer in. I'm gonna need you to repeat the other instructions once this is done. Oh my please. god, I'm gonna fucking hang myself. Dude, no you're not. Cause I'm doing work. You can't give up on me now. A stabilizer has already been set. You must be my stabilizer. I'm the initializer, you're the stabilizer. Oh my god, that's a bad position to put me in right now, dude. <laughs> Great. 
All right, what are we doing? Oh, I crossed the bridge. I don't know. I crossed the bridge. Now what? Don't enter it. <laughs> the machine will close and the stabilizer will charge up. Now cross the bridge again and head in the direction of the door which leads back to the passageway. Yeah. But don't enter the passageway. Instead, turn right from the door and continue down the narrow path, at the end of which will be an elevator leading down. Take it to the third energy area, B3. Ooh. Say I am. All right, this is cool. This Here, is so run forward cool. and climb the small stairs. Cross over to the other side of the ledge and take the stairs down. Now, <laughs> These are the stairs he's talking about taking down. <laughs> this is a little platform. Now run down the hall and near the middle, where it turns, oh, you'll find yeah. another similar panel on the wall. Check it, open it, use the initializer on it. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> ah! Did you just get a legit spit take off that? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Bravo! We got a spit take! Word Dude, is bought! Oh, that was the end of my Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh my god. You're such a prick. <laughs> oh my god, it's the product of being raised around a bunch of medallions with no sense of humor. <laughs> <sighs> has uh, the initializer gotten taken in yet? It it has been <laughs> it has been accepted. Uh, continue your way go. down this hall and at the very end activate the computer you find. Now make your way all the way back to the elevator whoa, whoa, we took whoa, whoa, to this whoa, whoa, area. Whoa, let me operate it first. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking piss and <laughs> probably drown myself. Wait, alright, so here's the next instruction. Get back to what uh, elevator? Yeah. Which one? All right. Well, pizza's gonna drown itself. I think. I think. Comment if. Uh, comment on who's 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 resilient in this run. What what's gonna happen here? I can hear him draining the wizard. All right. Oh, oh, here's I'm back to the elevator. Okay, cool. Right. All right, I'm waiting for this cuz I think this is going to be a scene and a whole thing. Like, we must, must be coming up on the end of the game. And apparently this is going to start a scene. I wasn't able to kill myself. Sadly, I must, uh, I must report a lack of success in that area. Okay. Did you activate up the computer elevator. you found? Did I you did. make your way all the way back to the elevator that we took to this area? Once you're up the elevator, go back to the area with the bridge again and cross over it near where you place the first item. You'll okay. find a usable computer. Use it and you will activate the third energy generator. Okay. Soon after this, we make the final choice. Oh, wow. Why is choice the choice choice Like, it would... <laughs> I would be a little more down with it if which, like, which choice you made had, like, a slightly more different effect other than, like, which, do the more pain in the ass yeah. thing or do the do less the thing pain that in the ass sucks thing. or one that apparently doesn't okay, suck. Yeah, BT dubs, both, both methods will look exactly They both take you through, through the lab, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rest it's only rest the assured. lab. You're going through the lab it's, either way. It's all lab. It's factory lab. Seriously, that that is my, that's like other than the the, the DDK disc fiasco. Like she's running 
the situation is like dino prices is all lab. It is all lab. It's that is all sick. lab, that's, dude. That's rough. And it's rough. And it, and, and yeah. some of the designs are great. Oh, wait, it's library room okay please just shoot him shoot him he saved dr. Kirk's life and died so Gale dies like that oh my god is Kirk gonna kill him Gale is the worst wow. character I've ever seen. Gale is the worst. Oh my god. Gale sucks ass. <laughs> Gale, they... <laughs> That's probably why they took Wesker down the path they did. To as retribution. Where am I going? Once you're back in control, Regina, you should know where to go. <laughs> really? That's right. Make your way to where Gale is. Once you get there, another scene will begin. I do have three. Okay. Heat bullets. Yeah. Bullets. Kills an enemy in a single shot with a shotgun. That also sounds great. 
Fantastic. Oh, the anal aid. I don't need my bullets anymore. Because I will not use the pistol. They're right. So, but and an anal aid would be great. Let's try to mix. Uh, let's do it real quick. Mix, mix them up with an anal aid and this. Yes. I got oh great one minute. I don't think I'm even gonna need this, but I can do I can do multiplier, and oh I can't do heat bullets. Great, two med packs are made. Fine, great, wonderful. I mean, I guess. This is here, so I might as well use- Oh, cool, more heat bullets, word. Heat bullets. They're flame rounds for the grenade launcher. Oh, let's go in- Let's, let's get in the tiny heat little- Heat bullets? <laughs> that's, they're called heat bullets, they're flame rounds. Do you have even the slightest idea of where you're going? Yeah. Oh, you do? Wow, okay. No, it's not. Oh, <laughs> shit. Get a bitch. What's up, bitch? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, dude, it's the end of energy. <laughs> they really just come in out of nowhere hey, and just dude, end the dude, game. You should save state here. I don't know how many. Res let me, let me, I want to see how many resuscitators I have, but I think this is a really good point for a save state. Just in case. Let's there you go. How much you thank you? I have I have quite a few heat bullets I can do to kill this guy. Heat bullets. Huh. Provided I don't need them for the ending. Will I need them for a final fight? There's no way for me to tell. Oh my god, wow. Dude, you just <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh, awesome. It was not awesome. Oh my god. Get up, Regina. There, wow, he's on fire. Jesus, that sucked. Ooh. The, uh, the ending choice is Dr. Kirk dies, Gale survives, or Dr. Kirk is rescued and Gale dies. Oh, we're, we're rescuing Turk, Kirk 100%. Oh, yeah, and letting Gale die. Kirk, I, dude, I, yeah. Kirk has never wronged me other than <laughs> causing this whole fucking fiasco, but honestly, like... Gale is dead. No, no. I will take the first, the first moment that I have a choice to kill Gale. Gale's a dick. He's a fucking dead man. I mean, I feel like it's like no man left behind, but also like Dr. Kirk, we can take it back for great justice. We take can, it back for great take it back justice. For justice. I'm not taking. I'm not talking about taking it back and becoming friends with him. I'm talking about taking it back so he can stand trial for all this nightmare. And yeah. I get the bonus of maybe I get a promotion off this. Yeah. Fuck Gale. Fuck him. Fuck him. Alright, so now I need to find. Oh, there he 
Oh, he's right creepy. on time. I need to get to Dr. Kirk's office. I think it's on B3. I really oh feel God. like it's very close to here. <laughs> I can't believe it's still playing. It's going to be playing until we get... Until the end of the game, probably. Yeah. Just this extreme panic attack orchestral shit. Carrying out room B3. Okay, yes, because we have to go back around the fucking... Back around the T-Rex. Who, surprise, surprise, still lying here. This would be a great time for him to wake up and fight me. Just for the false sense of security and do a one hit KO be like, ah, Dark Souls. <laughs> Rip, lol. If I get through all this, I don't make it to this dude's room. I'm so pissed. Oh, that took him out. Sweet. Smooth. Juke around another one, though. Dude, what? Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. That was impressive. I'll give that to you. I'll give that to you. Thank you. That's all training on zombies. Oh, there's another one in here, though. Dude, where in the fuck Wait, is we the are place back. Dude, we literally going? just did like a full this fucking loop. Inside. Yeah. Where the, where the fuck are you supposed to be going? Hey, uh, I think I need to make a left to go this way. I can't believe I just, I'm pretty sure I just did a full tour. Great. Maybe it's where I'm supposed to be? There's a cutscene. No. sure he's okay meaning go to fucking well there is another exit out of this room and those what where is it then? it's this not how I entered the room, right? I can't because of the fucking f the damage field. Oh my god. Can you just scroll up a little to see when we got to Dr. Kirk's office, like where we were, where, what rooms we had been to just before it, what the names were? Just so we have a sense of like what floor it's on even. I should have paid more attention to which room it was. But I didn't think that was gonna fucking matter. Because I could go in this elevator. I can go to all floors right now. Herself along the way, you will be taken to the room where Gail and Kirk are. So, so it doesn't. That, it's talking about the cutscene. So that's we gotta go way back up more. Wait, we're slow. Hold up. Hold up. I think you 
got to go back up a little more. A little more. To wherever it first mentioned being in the room with Kirk and Gale. Oh, yeah, they're doing the FC device with... Wait, wait, stop right there. Yeah. LVA door. Uh, the LVA card. Okay. Security passroom, central staircase. Wait, hold on. Control Dr. room B3. Library room. Wait, from there, head to control room B3 and exit out of the door in there. You're almost there. I need to be control room B3 is where I need to be. So it's on. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to see. Is it? Oh, God. Wow, that sucks. This dude just slapped me right in the fucking face. The room that they're in is Dr. Oh, Kirk's fuck. library room. Fuck. Which is, I believe, on B3. Because it says go to control room B3. You're almost there. Wait, scroll up a little bit. Up a little bit. You still gotta go up a little bit. And it'll tell you how to get there. Up. Up. Up a little bit. Wait, no, down. Fuck. Wait, was this where you were before? Because it said go to control. It said you're almost there. I, no, did not, I did not see where it said that. Just scroll back up. Just scroll back up. Just scroll. All right, wait. Uh, yeah, scroll back up a little more. More. Just go back to before. Wait, what was that test? Yeah, so that was... I hate this game. Scroll back up. Where is this? Uh, can, you can't f determine which. Can you just Google which floor is Kirk's room on? Or like, where is Kirk's room in Dino Crisis? I think if you Google that, it'll probably be like, it's on B2. Or maybe it'll show you on a map, like an, on an image. to find what it's actually specifically called. I think it's Dr. Kirk's library room. It's in B2. It's in fucking B2? Does it have a map and show it? Wait, is it in Japanese? Yeah. All right, just show it. To me. So bad. Okay. Cool. At least I know where I'm going now. That's great. Okay. Can you click me back over, please? All right. So sadly, I am on D3. Oh, God. Super awesome. Game really fell apart in the latter half, man. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, for sure. Like I was, I was kind of feeling it at first, but no, it's it. No, the it's, whole thing devolved into Matt terrible Ray laboratory dude, fucking terrible same puzzles, phases. minimal combat, terrible puzzles. The T Rex lies there on the ground for half the fucking game. 
this game is a game that would make a great remake. And I'd be really interested in how Dino Crisis 2 and 3 are. And if they corrected this and were like, oh, more dinos and less terrible puzzles. It's, I mean, the puzzles, of course, as we have stated, are... All right, there's so no excuse for it. Straight and make a right. I was so close. But it's also the fact that every single room in the entire game looks the same. That also is true. It's all the same. It's every time I look up, it's a different yeah. handful and it, and it makes it of very, gray, very hard, textures. very hard to keep track of where we even are. Oh, it was the right door in here. Wow, that hurts. That is painful that it was so close. We were right here. We just needed to go here. Transmitter. Gale. Gale. Dude, every dude, look at this. Every single goddamn fucking room looks exactly all like this. All the same. They all look the same. Every area in the entire game looks the same. There's, there's just no excuse from for as that. soon as you enter the building after you're in that outdoor oh. area. Yeah, the whole game looks which exactly looks the same. different. But then you go back there a couple times, but otherwise you're all inside. Okay. All right, what's he saying? He's saying, fuck my stupid asshole. Gail, what happened to him? I don't know, but Kirk's gone. This is where you choose Gail's method. I'm gonna kill him! All right, I, w I want, what's the easier one? It doesn't say. Oh my God. Which is the one that's gonna need me to shoot stuff? It does not say. The only thing- Is, is this the end? Did I finish it? Uh, see, it. see what's on the All screen here? Yeah. Escape. That's the end. Is it? Is there are the instructions? Yeah, oh, this, okay. you're looking at them. I, yeah, but I don't know if there's gameplay or describing what's happening on screen. About I don't know if there's gameplay. Does it describe it, Mike? You're not here to babysit. Sorry, but I have a conscience. You shoot the T-Rex in its open mouth. Now. Oh boy, I hope I have enough bullets. No. You two get going. <laughs> I'm going after I, Kirk. I have. What? You're insane! Don't you remember our situation? The third energy can't be controlled anymore. Staying here any longer is suicide! I know. I'm not back in 30 minutes. You two make your escape without me. Hey! Do something! Well, he's still alive. Gale is still alive. At this point, yes, he is. Oh, you know what, though? What? It looks like the first one where you save Gale yeah. is way shorter. Let's do that. Thanks. Well, I mean, not that too much shorter, but like... Put your priority on the mission and go after Dr. Kirk, or ignore your duty and go after your comrade. Is it Gale's idea or Rick's idea? Rick's method is looks like the shorter one. Yeah, it's definitely the shorter one. Do it. Okay. Besides, I would definitely not leave Gail. Dick or not, I wouldn't just be like, let's just let him die. I would. <laughs> Fuck that guy. He sucks. He does suck, but I wouldn't be like, let's let him die. I'd be like, we're going to get court martialed. Equip the grenade launcher ASAP. I really hope I have enough. I have three heat bullets and a poison dart. <laughs> and that's it. Awesome. That's insanity. All right, where am I going? Um, out that way. There's no turning back now. There's a box with a multiplier before the door at the very end of the place. Which does not work on... I don't know what the fuck it is. Sadly. Okay. Oh, cool. I can go here now. Oh, shit. Oh, is that the multiplier? Yep, that's yeah, the multiplier. Which is not... Thanks for the crafting. 
Thanks for the free parking. Thanks for the free crafting. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't even want any of this. Alright, I guess I'll just fix this with that, because why the fuck not? Four med pack M plus are made. Great. Bust around here through the, past the central machinery at the other end of the place. You'll enter through a small door near the big shutters. plugs into if I had known if I had known about what caution looked like I would have played differently oh great there's a hovercraft yep in this room from where you are head up the screen and take the small stairs up at the end of this hall you'll find a red box on the wall you should have at least one plug with you at this point open the box the plug and you can find some really awesome items in it like multiplier and intensifier yeah but those don't do anything <laughs> uh, I can access my 9mm rounds. Oh shit. I can access more 9mm okay, rounds. Let's get oh, I can access the. We can't. At least oh, not the sleepy yet. darts. It needs fuel and some repairs before the move. I'll take care of I'm really worried about mixing anything. It looks like this thing is powered by some type of nuclear energy. Yeah, okay. Here, None of this is going to give me this. more. Some really awesome items that won't <laughs> do anything. Once you're done with shopping, head all the way to the other side of this room, past the door we used to enter the area, and you'll find Rick working on a hovercraft. Yeah, I found him. Here, you will have a scene in which Rick will tell Regina that they need fuel to move the boat. Of course we do. Rick tells her that the boat is powered by nuclear energy. What? And hands her a container to put the fuel in. Here, go get some nuke waste. It's just empty. Now make your way to the previous room. All right, should you quick save here? <sighs> Not yet. There just happens to be nuclear waste over here? Yeah. Okay. And you will find huge fuel canisters standing. <laughs> Use the gas tank on those and you now have a full energy tank. I think I can set this. Rick. Leave him to me. You just work on getting that thing fixed. Right. Hold up, Regina. Take this. <laughs> Here, I'll just throw you this nuclear waste. The description said highly stable. Still, I wouldn't want splashing this face that open. He gave me something. It looks like a weapon. It's a plug. We take the grenade bullets. Oh, thank Ooh, God. Okay. Hey. Oh, more grenade bullets. Wonderful. Okay, well, that's uh, that's a relief. Six grenade bullets plus the heat bullets. So let's go ahead and equip the grenade bullets. Because something tells me the heat bullets won't do much. Okay, now where? Now I'll bust back out. To the port? Yep. Alright, this is it. I'm gonna... Oh my god, at 
long fucking This is last. where I administer it. Man, I can't. I was like, we're gonna rip through this. We're just gonna just rip through it. Oh, little did we know. Little did we know, dude. But that's why we're here. Oh my god. Alright, am I just supposed to shoot this fool? What do I do? To shoot this dude? That's it? Is Whenever it gets close to you, it will suddenly pop up a small icon saying fire. At this time, fire one shot with your grenade launcher as quickly as you can. Now bust. <laughs> it's actually kind of good, yeah, to be no, honest. No, it's no, kind of no, good. shoot so do I not even get I don't even get to shoot the rocket that kills him Rick does dude, it dude so much for a strong woman female protagonist we, huh Rick doesn't even throw it to her in the classic style is that it are we done do we beat it is there more gameplay oh the TRX is still standing Oh, he dove into the water? <laughs> wow. Pulling it back into the time vortex while our nuke-powered hovercraft narrowly <laughs> escapes. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'd give it like a C minus. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's fair. I think this game has a lot of really good qualities. It, Dude, it, it has, gee, it has this a game lot of great qualities. Overstays its welcome in a very big way. It should have been Three hours shorter. Dude, at the point where we first thought we were coming up on the end of the game, that should have been the end of the game. This whole secondary fucking second yeah. lab part or whatever, dude, it was so redundant and so fucking obnoxious. There were very dude, there also were only five different dinosaurs, and that includes the two different types of raptors. Oh, th that's a very good point. There was there was the two different types of raptor. There was the big hug giant Theranosaurus. There was the Pteranodons that you see twice. Yeah. And the T-Rex, which for most of the game is taking a fucking nap. <laughs> <laughs> they take the last boss and just lay him out for you in broad daylight, sleeping for most of the game. <laughs> the final fight is cool, even though it kind of has a quick time event in it. It's fine. And it's also essentially the same as the final boss fight in every Resident Evil game. So let's, let's also mention that. Time event. Except, except that it has a quick time it event. Need. Which it just seems like lazy. it, dude. It almost makes it so like that. Well, well they were I don't like, know if you'd even really call out. that a final boss fight. Like really, why would you not just have to turn around and just like empty fucking shells into him at, while yeah. avoiding him? And look, it's like show it. It's very confusing. I would be curious to see you in the boat with Dr. Kirk <laughs> having left Gale behind. It, where like, where do you see the T-Rex running? Where did that ever happen? That never happened. Maybe we made different choices or something. I don't know. 
I doubt that there's choices <laughs> mixed up for T Rex. But like <sighs> I don't know. The point is, the motherfucker overstays its welcome like crazy. There's almost zero the puzzles. I should be close because we're talking about it. the puzzles are terrible. The puzzles are terrible. There's almost no enemy variety whatsoever. Produced and directed by Shinji Mikami. For shame. Unbelievable. Same dude who did RE2 proceeded to turn around and do this and be like, oh, you know what we need is more puzzles, less combat. Agent name Rick Regina. <laughs> and her job. Regina. Stop. Alarm. As for myself, I'm ready to begin my next assignment. Talk. So what are the unlockables Stop. like in this game? I have no fucking idea, but I'm never playing it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, the fact that with an FAQ and you guiding me directly, that it was Stop. this hard to get Unlocked. through it. We lost contact with I mean, again, like, I hate to blame the FAQ, but, like, <laughs> if, I mean, maybe we're just really stupid. No, it's we would, possible if, we're just if really I were, stupid. If I were to do this again, I would do it with a second window open with maps and names of the rooms available just so we could be like, oh, get back to this room because it the, one of the parts that was so hard was the endless backtracking across these samey ass rooms yeah. with no indication Seriously, of what the, the name the was. The whole complex looked like it was designed by the Bungie level and, editors and who dude, made all the flood and the forerunner structures. Yes. Like in Halo. I believe they knew this and that's why every single room has a very distinct name. Clear time, 536. Uh, which which would be great, except that the room names aren't visible on the fucking map. Exactly. Which makes it next to useless. Next to useless. But it's the only way to tell one thing from another. They don't even give me a fucking grade. Oh, maybe they will. Thank you for completing the mission. Despite the numerous difficulties. Despite the dinosaurs. However, you could have done more. I will give you a special gift. Who is saying that? Who is I in this case? You got mad skills. You got mad skills. Dude, that's really? A, I will say this is a great final graphic. Excellent. You got mad skills. Oh, what? Is that an Evangelion plug suit? I think that is the revenge dress. Uh, how I really would like to know how I can um, view the new costumes. Oh, look, it has a little icon on it. Yeah, cool. How do I view the new costumes? I think you have to just fucking start a new game. Yeah, I think you have to start a new game, not look at the options. I think I probably have to load the clear data. Mm. Nice. Oh. Whoa. It's like a plug suit. What? What? That one's ancient. Oh, army type, battle type. What is ancient type? You can't see it. You didn't do good enough. Can you show? Can you check? I do like it. I do like that they were like, all right, now that we've shown her as nice, we're going to show off her legs and make her really slutty. Dino Crisis Ancient Type Costume. I think that's it right there. That's it. That's it. I see it in the second row. It's it, it's like a, it, the um. There's a better shot of it in the second row on the other. Scroll down. It's directly below. Right there. Yeah. It's like a like a. Oh. Oh, that's for Dino Crisis Three. But yeah, it's like a little tiny dress that looks like some kind of cave woman dress. Well, can you search the army type? I'm oh, sorry. The um, not the army type. The uh, if you go back, I can tell you what the name of it is. It's the third one. The one that I think it's a plug suit. Battle type. Can you search Dino Crisis battle type? I think it's a plug suit. Or supposed to be like a plug suit. So maybe this go to the second row, I guess. Whatever the fuck it is, it's not really... I'm not getting a lot of results for it. <laughs> yeah, there's fucking nothing. 
Shows you how much people give a fuck about how Dino do Crisis, dude. How you unlock the army type? Okay. What, you can't select it? Checkpoint. No, I can't. Look, Play this is what I show you what happens. That's what happens when I try to select it. The ancient type, I mean. Ancient. Now go to army type. Oh. Army type I can select. Yeah, select, select, the guard select that. Are out. You're not interested in seeing the support suit? She's not, she has uh, less clothes on in this one. See your gams. <laughs> Obviously. You, know. you want to see if she's got a little camel toe? A little sea toe? I mean, not primarily, but I would not... Um, I would not pass up a look at the camp toe. Stay here, Junior. I want all the boys to be in the outfit, me. too. <laughs> hey. Terrible. <laughs> all right. Was that We're supposed done. to be sexy? Good night, everybody. Final score, Dino Crisis, C-. minus. Yeah, it's... C-? minus. Yeah. You concur? Not, not D for Dad. It's C-. minus. It has... It did. It, this game does a. Do, it has some really good ideas, but fails. Would, I, gl would gladly would take I th a remake. I think that is the best way that we could describe gladly it. It, it, it definitely has some really great ideas, and there's some areas where the execution is awesome, but overall, you, overall, a, it fails. It's a game. I certainly played it and I, I i didn't hate playing it like i hated playing majora's mask there were times that i hated playing it but I'm overall sure no reading I, me the, how to do those things yes but for me it felt so much like playing a mikami survival horror game in terms of like go here go here go here i mean it, re just, it really did the I'll say however that. the puzzles just sucked so much and just ddk Dude, after ddk it's the puzzle design sucked. and the lack of environment variation that just sucked the energy out of me it really that would like for me it's the puzzle design Design and the and the lack of variation in the environment design that sucked the oh, life right out sure. of me for it. For sure, like th there was other things that we you know complain about well, the enemy no. variation, all that kind of stuff. But overall, really, it was real the quick, puzzles real and quick. the and the environment design wanna, that just, just fucking. I want to just talk about my RE2 real quick. Yeah, RE2. We've got just off the top of my head. You go from the streets mm -hmm. into the police station. Yep. I would say that the police station is has multiple drastically different areas that make it very clear where you're at. But let's just call it so, the well, police station. Sh sure, but to be fair, there you know, there's the parking garage under the police station. There's also the fucking the jail cells under the police station, right? right where the kennels are. Plus the are. clock tower and all that. There's at least two. There's the clock tower. There's the outside part where you get can get the valve handle. Where oh, yeah, and the, and the where the helicopter crash crashes, right? Is all that happening? So just that, those outdoor are multiple areas. different sub environments, even in the one singular like, police station. Like environment. One of my favorite areas that back staircase out behind the room with the police office where, oh, the, yeah. where the the two two three six Absolutely. safe is. Yes. Is that the code? Yes, it is two two three six. Wow, I'm very happy that that I got it. Um, that fucking that room with that back alley right there is so creepy Dude, with this plus greener. The other back areas were like the in the interrogation rooms where the liquor jumps through the fucking mirrored glass and shit. Yes, dude. That's they're all very, very different. You have the crows coming at the crow always and all that. That just in just within the police station alone, there is more There's environment variation than across the entire game so of then, Dino Crisis. Please say, then you go into the sewers. Yep. And then the lab? Yeah. Or oh, you do the whole tram part. You do the sewers, then you do the tram, then you're in the lab. Yeah. And there's even different multiple areas in the sewers also because there's a bunch of sort of office areas and sewage areas also. In right, there. right, right. Where you're like straight up fighting the spiders yeah. with water dribbling around Dude, you. even you the Resident gator. Evil 1 has more environment more, variation more, than Dino Crisis. Way more. Resident Dude, Evil Dino one, Crisis, you more. could make... I can't believe they tried to make Resident Evil 1 on a Game Boy. You could much more easily make Dino Crisis on a fucking Game Boy because you only need two colors. Yeah, and it's too bad because, like, what they did... Like, honestly, that's why they gave her fiery red hair. Yeah. So they could add at least one more color to the fucking palette. Yeah. I'm not even kidding around. Like, yeah. I... <laughs> that sentence started out as a joke, but now here we are at the end of it, and I'm actually serious. Yeah. What is it? Can you see what that link says? That says costumes and mini game. It's like ten links down. Yeah. What does it say about what, what's a mini game? Oh, it's like Betty Rubble in Ancient, shooting things right. with a fish. Shooting things with a fish. That's what it says. Weird. How does it say how you get the ancient outfit? 
Oh, you have to do you beat have the game to beat twice. The game twice. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> no, I thank can't you. believe there are people who have done that, dude. <sighs> that's that's shocking to me. That's like that's dedication. Whole lot of promising elements, but overall, well, we did it. Doesn't unlike, come unlike unlike Maskey One, where it was unplay. This game, this game is not unplayable. That's true. That's now, true. Now I think that that also is quite an indictment of Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is unplayable. This Supposed game, a game is supposedly done by the masterminds at Nintendo, and after two attempts, we couldn't even get more than two hours. And this into game, it. as much of a slog as it was, at least we still, with an we, FAQ, it, yeah. we, still we were beat able it. in 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 not that much more time. We beat it. How much more time did we actually spend on this than on Majora's well, if Mask? You, if you say we spent a total of like four and a half hours on Majora's Mask. We spent about six and a half hours on this game. So we spent four and a half hours on Majora's Mask and didn't even make it out of the starting area. Yeah, correct. And we spent six and a half hours on this and beat it. Yeah. This is a game. Majora's Mask is a, a fucked up experiment ROM hack. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. This is a so game, that is, at that least. Is, that, is, that is the conclusion a start, of and our end. experience with Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis uh, is a game. More like Dino Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> 